Morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Now, I very nearly wasn't here this morning. I was very near, no, no, nothing bad, nothing bad, nothing bad, nothing bad. Uh, somebody from Jewelry Maker called in sick, so they wanted me to do Jewelry Maker, and you nearly had Ian here. I said, better, f oh, do you know what? But they've sorted it anyway, I'm here with you. How are you all? Last day before my holidays, woo! Shall we do today's early bird? Okay, here we go. Sewer's extra finger. Look at this, right? Haven't you have to look close at this one? Hold it still. Look, there you go. It's like a pitchfork, isn't it? Now you're wondering what on earth is this used for? Well, if you're putting binding, if you're sewing seams, you're quite close to the edge. You don't want to get your finger really near to the um, edge of the sewing. Uh, you use this instead. It's like a stiletto, but there's the two of them. Let me show you a little picture on the packet here. Oh, I'll take out the... No. I won't take that my packaging, though. Here you go. Can you see that? You see what I mean? So if you're using the iron and you don't want to get your finger too close to the iron, if you've got your stitching and you don't want to get your finger too close to the needle, then you just use this. I know. Let me get a bit of fabric. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something a bit naughty now. I'm going to go in the other set. And I'm going to go to the overhead camera. Look. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Isn't it gorgeous? Right. So look, if you're folding over, right, and you want to press a tight... Now, the iron's not on, obviously. Oh, God, I just banged my glasses on. And the iron's not on, right? But if you want to do something like this, you know when you're doing a tiny, tiny, tiny hem? Look, and you can just do it like that, you see. Then your fingers don't go anywhere near the iron. It's not on. It's not on. It won't do anything. It won't... And, and brilliant. And the same when you're sewing, right? I'm going back. Right, we haven't crashed. Okay, not a direct comparison. We've got to put, uh, uh, something to show you. Oh, yeah, it's almost the same. Different handle. I think our handle's nicer. What they called it? Colonial Needle Six Finger Stiletto. 14 pounds and 74 pence. That's minus 3%. Should be more than that. We haven't crashed yet. 7.99. Uh, do you know what? It's one of those little things you think, oh, I don't need that. But actually, when you get it home, you'll realise how brilliant it is. One, one, one of them, look, is flat, like a spatula. And the other one's pointy, like a stiletto. It looks a little bit, like, insect-like, doesn't it? But, yes, yeah, says Charlie, yeah. Morning, John. D-Mob happy, says June. I am indeed. Uh, there's 12 foot tall Ruth, she's just going home for the day. Are you in later? Hang on, she's just popping in the door. No. You only do two hours and going home? I just thought I'd do part time. She's done two hours on hobby making and she's going home now. You have to stay and do videos, you know. This is my early birth. Not today, don't. Not today. There she is. Hi. 12 foot tall Ruth. Now, the last time we... I just watched you with that lovely lady next door. Oh, and she was like this, wasn't she, making the thing? And you... Normally we give everybody a box now. Uh, you... Oh, you do? Yeah, they have uh, a box. Oh. Yeah, I sit down and have a box and then it's all right. And when are you next then? Um, Sunday, I think. On? Hobby, uh, hobby maker. Oh, she, she hops from channel to channel I'm to hither, this one. I'm hither, she I'm could... not here yet though, am I? So in street. Have you not done one yet? No, oh, I'll right. sort that out. I'm going to Maldives today. Fat quarter, I've got it. Got it down, it's a fat quarter. Don't call me a fat quarter, just get off my... <laughs> Bye, take care. Drive carefully through my village. It's her village as well, but she has to go through my bit to get to her bit, you see. She always puts her foot down at the end of my street. <laughs> She's off like that. 7 99 <coughs> Oh, excuse me. <coughs> Got video? God, blimey. Is it moving? Oh, that's all I was doing. Aluminium handle. Look, no need to serve your pins or your... Where is it on that picture? Oh, there it is. See how brilliant is that? Oh, no, for 7 99 We've not had it before. I've not seen this before. 7 99 Make sure you check out, though. Make sure you check out. Oh, loads, God. Are you eating your, ha are you eating your breakfast already? Or are you on lunch? Okay. Amanda... 
Just waiting for my boss to pick me up. Have a good holiday. I will, thank you. Sue, you're looking very slim. It's uh, No, no, it's that thing where you buy a shirt that's too big. Always works. Ask Hannah. Hannah's coming in her pyjamas today. Lovely leopard print silky pyjamas. Wish me luck. Just about to have an eye operation. Oh, I loved having my operation. Sue, that sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? Well, because I was awake during it all. You could see everything that was going on in the operating theatre and everything. It wasn't, because when they popped my eye out, I could still see around the room. Anyway, 7.99, keep going through. And says, the morning. Oh, Anne sent me that lovely flamingo cushion yesterday for my birthday. Happy, wonderful birthday, John. You so deserve it, lots of love. Oh, Davinia, sending you lots of love. Well, what did I say? Didn't say happy birthday. To no, I was talking about my birthday story that the, the cushion arrived yesterday. And then I went, have a wonderful holiday, not a wonderful birthday. Thanks, Davinia. It shows I need a holiday, doesn't it? 7 99 Oh, hang on. Is that why you have that fabulous shirt on, John, to celebrate your garden holiday? Yeah, but I won't be travelling in this one. Oh, actually, I'm not going today. I'm going tomorrow. So I'm going to go home tonight, clean the house, because obviously Belle's moving in. I need to clean when Belle moves in. And then, uh, then I'm going tomorrow morning, leaving tomorrow morning. I don't know how the cats are going to cope. They've not, we've not been apart for a week before, or just over a week. They will notice. They're very, very um, affectionate at the moment. Uh, Laurie, good morning, John. Love you, Brighton Culture. Have a lovely day. I will. Thank you very much indeed. Right, keep going through for that, 7 99 very popular. Very, very, very popular. It's a funny looking thing, isn't it? But then so am I. Gorgeous, cool, I love the pink handle. It's got grippy on it as well, look, it's kind of, um, what do they call it when it's um, got like a zigzaggy, so it, you can hold on to it. Is that, is that, oh, uh, is it cross hatch or chevron? No, it is cross hatch, you're right. His eyesight's better than mine. Good morning, all. Thanks, John. Nearly lost my breakfast. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Forget people who eat their breakfast. Hannah is. She's just eating the bread roll. It's giving her hiccups. She's now got a cough. E. I I don't think I've ever seen Charlie eat. Oh, no, that's a lie. That's a lie. When he first started, he used to bring a packed lunch. Just eats when he gets home now. Do you have breakfast before you leave? Oh, he has a smoothie before you leave. Did you blow, did you blow the fuse this morning making your smoothie? At 7 99 so did your brother bring you in today, then? Oh. 7.99. Kerry says, good morning, John. And all, working from home today. Got you on to keep me company. Have a wonderful holiday and enjoy the rest. I will. Uh, my son, my Morning, John and crew. Have a lovely holiday. They're not coming with me. I'm not taking them all with me. We are going away in our caravan for the weekend to Gloucestershire. Oh, Rosemary, the one weekend I'm not there. And you could have popped in. Never mind. Oh, Liz on my bottom. Uh, morning, John. Just popped on to wish you happy holiday. Working today, 8 till 4, but I've set to record all the shows today. I hope it works. Uh, keep my fingers crossed so you get off on your holiday. I will do soon. Um, have a wonderful holiday. You deserve it. Fabulous shirt, says Angela. Thank you very much indeed. Right. Should we move on? How many of these gone? 100. 100, though. Just shy of 100 of one of those. I'll keep it there because I might pop it on again later. Shall we do, now, do you know what I've forgotten today? It was Ange, actually, no, not, uh, yeah, Ange. She bought me that lovely sippy cup, didn't she? I washed it yesterday, put it on top of the microwave, and as I put it on the microwave, I thought, must remember to put that in my bag for tomorrow. Forgot. So I'm having to use just a normal white mug today. Now, I keep knock, it's got my ginger water in it, you see. I knock over my sippy mug all the time, so goodness knows what's gonna happen today. Menu, here we are, today's menu. So, eight o'clock, we've got Moda Fabrics. Uh, they're rather gorgeous. I've never seen these before. Like a red, white, and blue. I've got a Hope Blooms quilt. And then is that a Hope Blooms fabric there? Oh, La Boheme. Is it La Vie Boheme, that one? 
Yeah, you can't say most of them, Hannah, let's be honest. <laughs> anyway, then we've got the Orbiter Quilt with Janet Clare, which is stunning. Stunning. Look at that. Look at that. Charlie was busy taking pictures this morning. Oh, what's that? Charlie, Charlie, go back to that picture. Look, go back to the picture. Look. <laughs> Then at 10 o'clock, we've got brand new adjuster forms. We've got the super, super, super deluxe one. We've got the boy or the child, and we've got the man, and we've got all sorts of different sizes in one that we've always ha already had. Then we've got um, more Janet Clare, delights with Janet Clare. Now in that hour, oh my word, can I just tell you, I'll do it, I'll do it here first of all. You see this book, right? We've not had this book here before. However, it's on pre-order now, right? It's on pre-order. I, when, when we were doing the little um, six inch squares for a mile skirt and they all had to be wild flowers, I didn't know Janet then. And I suggested that you bought this book then because look, it's full of, there are blocks, right? Of all the different wild flowers, primrose, crocus, snowdrop, bluebell. And then projects that you could do with them. But look, isn't that a gorgeous book? And they're signed. And they're all signed. Isn't that lovely? That's coming up at 11 o'clock, but it is in pre-order. What, we, what we've also got in 11 o'clock, now we've never done this before. We have got signed, so they're Janet Clare original drawings. Right, original artwork. And she signed them. So we've got that one, look, they're all signed. Now they're prints, aren't they? They're prints of the fabric. Oh, okay. No, I, no. I, the prints are definitely signed. And she'd say in prep that she'll sign them all. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then we've got this one. These are all available on pre-order now. Now, obviously, that yours don't come framed. I'll show you how yours come in a minute. Right now, already on pre-order, this one is the most popular. Beautiful, isn't it? Look, there's the chaffinch. They're all her drawings. Aren't they fabulous? Right, okay. So they are prints that are signed prints, right? Now, just so you know, this is how yours arrive. Now, before you say anything, she supplied hard-backed envelopes for them to be delivered in so they won't get damaged in the post. Look, there they are. That's how yours will arrive, you see. Wrapped in cellophane in a hard-backed envelope. So they're prints coming up that hour. We, what else have we got that hour? Oh, some other quilts. I'll show you those later. I don't want to give everything away. I don't want to give everything away at the beginning, do I? Let's put that there and let's bring that over there. Right, back to the menu. Then, oh, how could I forget? E-Mark portable printer with Chrissy Data. Now, Chrissy's been on once. Oh, she's been on once or twice before. Just once. With Ian on that day when I was in the... Um, none of us were available, remember? And Ian presented on the Sunday. Um, there's something wrong with my stool, hang on. Uh, the, Ian pre presented, very, very busy day. She's got a little mini marker. That is fantastic. It's, it's fascinating to watch how it works. And all the accessories and everything like that. Chrissy Dayton, she'll be in at 12 o'clock. Maybe you bought it last time. Maybe you need some more consumables because you have to buy the little link. The, I'm doing, I don't know why I'm doing that. You have to buy the little link. It's all on pre-order anyway. And what, what? Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Right. Um, that th th three ways you can get in touch. First way is uh, by email. Here's the email, studio at sayingstreet.com, studio at sayingstreet.com. Secondly is Facebook Live, which ones I've been shouting out at him. Uh, looking forward to seeing Janet this morning, says Kath. Yvonne says, morning, John. Enjoy your holidays. I'll miss you. Hurry, hurry back. The other Janet says, good morning, John. Watching from my son's garden and admiring the view over Weymouth Bay. Oh, Jan, that sounds lovely. Uh, good morning, says Donna. Have a fantastic holiday. Claire says, have a good holiday. Rest that voice. Love you, Blackpool, says Patricia. Or, or you can go to the website, www.sayingstreet.com. Click on watch the show live. There we go. And there it is. And then you'll see the uh, little box on the right-hand side there. 
That, they are the messages that come up on my bottom and they'll go through to Hannah and she will send them through. Right, if you scroll down now, you will see everything is on pre-order for the next five hours. So there, oh, that Moda quilt is gorgeous. Moda quilt, Moda fabric, Moda bundle, Moda, 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 Moda pre-cut, Moda jelly roll. What have you done? What have you got? What have you done? Don't you be trying to mess with things now. There we go. Till Moda, 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 Moda. Lots to get through. I, oh, there's a just form there, all on its own, the junior. Yeah, because it's in the middle of the Moda, isn't it? Then we go to Janet Clare. Apron, quilt pattern, quilt bundle. That quilt bundle kit is beautiful, isn't it? 174.99. Then the rest of it. Now, some of these are brand new. And some of them, we've got a size in the red one that you've never seen before. Oh, there's Diana. That's the brand new one. That Diana doesn't look like it's got... Oh, here's Roy. What are you doing coming in this time of the day? No, I haven't called the mannequin Roy. No. He's a real person. What's in the bag? What's he brought? A ruler. It's not for us today, is it? He's brought a ruler. Did you order a ruler? Stripology ruler, Hannah? No. <laughs> okay. Anyway... There's all the things from Janet Clare. Are they all muddled up together, both for her hours? Oh, no, we've been through mannequins. I, I ignored the mannequins, sorry. There's the book. Yeah, we'll meet Roy the mannequin later. Then all of this is Chrissy Dayton's uh, bundle for later. Comes in two colourways, doesn't it, that machine? Oh, there's one with savings on as well. I don't think they're supposed to be there, but never mind. I'll explain all, well, she will explain all of this in the 12 o'clock hour. Okay, the launch bundle is there. It's not the launch today, but you're still getting the discount. Still getting the saving. They, the management have done it. Not us. It's all sorts there. What's that? Ribbon guide. Glossy labels. Got loads. Now, I've got three minutes to learn all this, which comes in at 10 o'clock. Pack of 10 sheets there, wristbands. Oh, look, we're going for a festival. Yeah, if in the, when people have come to my party, I'm not having a party before you all get excited. There's so much, blimey, that's only one hour. Printing tool, storage case. Oh, and then, and then, and then. Right, now, if you missed out yesterday, Hannah's managed to secure a few more of the sewing machine. She, I, I'm not going to say that in case you get into trouble. She's, she's nicked them from Hobby Maker. Just, you know, because yesterday, remember when we left yesterday, I said there's five machines and there's five in, five machines left and five in baskets. Well, this morning I said, Hannah, are there any machines? She went, no, hang on a minute. And she, but I've got some. She's only nicked them from Hobby Maker. And there's the embroidery machine as well. The embroidery machine as well. There won't be a demo or anything. I just want to let you know it was there. Right. Oh, here we go. Look at this quilt kit. Oh, sorry, sorry. I know. I'm, I'm just presuming we were doing that first. Look, hope. Now, I, I, I forget this in the wrong place because yesterday I think Stuart's tummy was rubbing against the table here, and we normally have a piece of masking tape on the table to show us where the overhead is. No masking tape today, so I'm just going to have to guess. Right. So this is Moda Hope Blooms. 167 inch square and a runner you get a quilt and a runner and you get I know you get a little ruler in there thank you Charlie 179.99 split pay 59.99 now I haven't got one of these made up to show you I'm afraid but let's have a look in here then so you've got the instructions first of all so there must be a plique on here then, is there, Charlie? <laughs> so there's all your instructions, your cutting instructions, your circle blocks, your flower blocks, putting it together, Bloom's Runner, 22 by 46, so you get that as well, as well as the quilt kit, you get that runner. Table runner, bed runner, your choice. Okay, but then I open this early going, what's this funny little envelope in here, right? 
Look, you get this as well. Little template look. You can peel, when yours arrives, peel the brown paper off. And it's the melon template. Melon, not melange, melon. Good morning, John, Hannah, Charlie, and Becky, says Margaret. Good morning. Okay, I'll put that one away in there. Let's have a look at the fabric now. Oh, it looks like, oh, oh, this is nice. Looks like there's a 10 inch layer cake in here. Oh, it's beautiful traditional fabrics. Oh, it's this one. Oh, I love, oh, look how that's beautifully folded. I'm going to unwrap it now. Tap it, unwrap it. It's from Hope Blooms from the Kansas Troubled Quilters. Beautiful. Look at these. They're all lovely, traditional. Oh, I love these. Love, love, love these. So there's nothing here, remember, for the quilt and the table slash bed runner. There's your creams. Then we're going to go on to the caramels. Oh, I love these colours. Morning, gorgeous. Perfect guess for the overhead. Gorgeous fabric. Thank you. I've been doing it a long time, Jen. But you never know this place because they come in here at night time on, um, what's that night time channel called? Lifestyle. Because the other day I was watching, I was like, oh, that looks very much like our set. Looks like, that is our set. Anyway, yeah, there was, there was soil in our, our set the other day. Anyway, that was Amelia's fault. She's on gems this morning. She's got that, oh, oh, I've got an added extra bit in mine. Um, beautiful. There are all your 10 inch squares. Then you also get all your, oh, look at that. Now, is that in there? Is that part of that? Yeah, yeah. So you've, look. Oh, you get a big wadge of that one. Then you get a big wadge of the green. Then the green sprig. Then the green berry. Oh, look. So you're getting, uh, mo uh, not masses, what am I trying to say? Larger pieces of a lot of the fabrics that are in the 10 inch charm pack. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. So all of that, all of the instructions, the 10 inch layer cake, uh, the, the melon template, all for 179.99. Oh, got a price comparison. Elsewhere, oh, now we don't normally do this. Normally we show you a price comparison of more expensive than ours. That's £155 there. Oh, so she, oh, well. So we're going to go to 100, we can't go to 155, surely. <gasps> 20% off, just over 20% off. So it was 17999. We saw it for 155, or 159, was it? 155, exactly. And now we've gone one better, 139.99. Why not? It's not competition, but we're winning. And you're definitely winning to get a motor quilt and a motor table topper or, or a bed runner or whatever you want to use it for. Because they both come in there. There they are. For £139.99. Morning, John and team, says Julie Vaughan. Good morning, Julie Vaughan. Becky's waving. She can't see you, Becky. £139.99 is brilliant, isn't it? If you love all those colours, those traditional colours, Oh, that's the border. That first one, that blue one with the flowers, look, is the border. Now, I'm presuming, I didn't read it, you applique the, the little um, petals on, do you? The melons on. OK, another price comparison. Elsewhere, 155.90. Oh, that's 95, 155.95. Here's ours, 139.99. Yeah, I think really you should have just gone to 155, to be honest. She's in a really, compet really competitive mood today. Oh, it's all the antihistamines she's taken, not to mention the bread rolls. Oh, yeah, fusible web. Yeah, so you appliquate the melons. You knew that, did you, Charlie? How? Well, when I just asked you, you said you couldn't remember. He's got his disco trousers on today, hasn't he? 
It's going down. It's enough of this. Oh, that's not the kind of club I was expecting. Do they open nightclubs at lunchtime? They call lunch clubs. Oh, I remember back in the day, we'd go dancing in Reflex in Putney. Yeah, until uh, whatever time it was, one o'clock whenever it shut. Then we'd drive to um, Brixton. And we, I can't say the name of the nightclub because it's a bit rude. But we danced there until the next morning. And then other people would go on to another club then. But we went to Nando's and had chips and went home. God, I don't know how... And then I'd stay up all day on the Sunday and just go to bed early on the Sunday, ready for work on the Monday. Those were the days. Pauline, you'll have to watch the early bird. I'm not going through it again. You just have to watch, the, watch it back in a minute. That's your border. Beautiful, aren't they? Crazy Lorraine, what lovely colours. Oh, she's having a reading today. Oh, let us know how it goes, Crazy Lorraine. And says, morning, John and crew. Love, have a lovely holiday. We'll miss you. Enjoying your book. Thank you. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Has Trudel's finished her book yet? Not yet. Slow reader, is she? Takes everywhere with her. Oh, 139.99. Yeah, of course you do, Hannah. And put pins in it. Hannah takes a picture of me everywhere. Anyway, uh, I'll tell you how exciting it is in Hannah's house, right? Am I allowed? I'm going to tell her anyway. They had a takeaway last night. Steph, the boyfriend, ate all his food and walked away and just left. And Hannah was like, um, what about these anyway? And I finished the food. Had no thought of putting it in the bin or anything. OK, and now, to out, they're so exciting, their relationship, right? So she obviously left for work, and she didn't come in her pyjamas, obviously. She's come in a lovely leopard print outfit. He's put her pyjamas on when she, he's woken up, taking a picture, pretending to be her. Uh, oh, and he's done a horrible face. And she still loves him. When am I back? I'm back on the 5th of... I, th I think my first shift's back on the 5th of July, isn't it? I think. I'm back in time for Hannah's birthday. She nice reminded me. Oh, with Hannah. And who? Stuart's the guest. Hannah's the... Pres uh, not the presenter, the producer. On the 5th. £139.99. Enjoy your holiday, says June. I've, I've got what? How are we going to fit that in here? We've never done that here before, have we? Got horn furniture. I shouldn't be telling you this. We've got horn furniture on the 7th of July. I love Jason. He's great. He's lovely, Jason, isn't he? Anyway, £139.99. Split pay, 46 66 three times. Should be 179.99. We're taking over 20% off. And there's the quilt. Please check out if you've got that in your basket. Very popular. Very, very popular. La Vibo M pre cut. Yep, the 10 inch square. Now, if you like that fabric but you don't want the quilt, this has been a bit. Um, is this, our, is this our studio sample, this one? It, it, so I don't send this one back. Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, sorry, no, it's completely different fabric to that quilt. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, I'm getting confused. Very traditional. So it's nothing, it's not the same fabric as in the quilt. Sorry. Yeah, that was Kansas Trouble. This one is French General, but very along that traditional line. La vie bohème. Beautiful, isn't it? All right, Charlie, I made a mistake. I've accepted it. I've, I've watched it in it.
Parisian Latin Quarter, 19th century, these are inspired by. But you can see, it's more red, isn't it? That more, other one was more caramel, this one's more red. Beautiful. At 47.99, what day was it? Beautiful, look at that one, the swirly lines. 47.99. Nice, is that, is that grunge? Is that a grunge one? Their version of grunge. Oh no, actually it's just, there's no, um, I thought there was gonna be uh, fluctuations in the colouring. It's a nice one, isn't it, that colour there? Chalky, I bet that was done with a chalk paint if it was that old. Old. Oh, look lovely. I love that one for some reason. What, what? Yeah. Oh no, these must be our sample because these ones are upside down, look. Lovely. So Hannah's just, uh, Hannah's got the packet of hay fever pills that I take. And on the back it says, don't take if you have liver problems, don't take if you have kidney problems, don't take if you're old. So she's giving me a warning that I shouldn't be taking them. Yeah, when is old? When is old? That's ridiculous. Well, they were prescribed, so I'm taking them. And they're working. It's just my gastric reflux. I've got gastric reflux I've got to sort out now. Maybe Leanne on the phone thought I was young. Maybe she didn't know I was an old codger. That sounds a very young man who's a television presenter. A phenofexidine, vexofenidine, it's called. 47.99, moving on. Beautiful. Now we've got a jelly roll. Same fabric, so I'm not going to open it. 47.99. 40 strips are two and a half inches wide, 44 inches in length. Hmm? At 47.99. Uh, she is in today. Uh, no, she's not. No, she's not. No, she's not. She's not in today. Only because she's telling me last night that to have a lovely holiday, she won't see me. Yeah. I have that reflux, and the thing that stops it is milk. Trouble is, Lorraine, can't drink milk. I'm even more poorly if I drink milk. Well done. Now... Oh, is it this turn for this turn? Now, I presumed this was brand new because I've not seen this before. Isn't it beautiful? Look, mega bundle. You get, they're really, they're really random with their freebies, aren't they? Because 119.82, you're getting a meter for free. You can have it on split, pay 59.91. Moda, Bell, well, we used to live on Belle Isle. Uh, it was, it was a, an, R, uh, not an army, we're in the army, RAF base in 132 Belle Isle. Were we in um, Brampton? I think we were in RAF Brampton then. But anyway, we lived in Belle Isle, isn't that funny? Oh, it's not the same one. It's not the one in Brampton, this one's in America. I've, not, I've never been to Detroit, so that's not me. I've been to New Orleans, but not Detroit. I've just seen that little, little American flag there. And anyway, aren't they beautiful, red, white and blue? But red, white and blue, but not in a traditional red, white and blue. RF Brampton, have you looked up Belle Isle? 132, is it still there? 
It's really funny because we, we used to live in uh, 15 Gauntlet Road in RAF Manby in Lincolnshire, Grimmelby in, in, um, in uh, uh, Manby in uh, Lincolnshire near Louth. And my brother and Julie went to visit recently and they took a picture of the house we lived in. I remember that house being so glamorous and so big and it's like a bit run down. RF Brampton's not active anymore, so they must have just sold all the houses off then, did they? I was giving them up resolve for my reflux and it worked for me. That's why I have Sheila. Sheila, that's what I have. And we look at these, red, white and blue. Red, white, blue, gorgeous. Do you live in a caravan now? Oh. So Charlie's dad, or granddad, you say? Granddad used to be in the RAF, right? And they were based in uh, Tap Tower in Wales. And Charlie's girlfriend now, who obviously didn't know her granddad, uh, has got a caravan opposite where the RAF site used to be. I love it in Tower. Didn't know you had a holiday home there, Charlie. Well, we've not had an invite yet, have we? 119.82. Aberystwyth. I've just gone tour to Aberystwyth when I worked today to clear it. Have I seen what, Hannah? Sorry. Fifty-nine ninety-one on split pay. You're saving fifteen pounds on this. A meter for free. So that means they're seven fifty a meter. These half meter. Sorry, half meter. Oh, morning, John and crew. Have a lovely rest of the holiday tomorrow. We had a storm the other night, but back to sunshine. The rain was lovely. I'll sit tomorrow. I'm landing tomorrow night, Winifred. Will you be waving from your garden as I come into land? Isn't it Winifred Dorothy? Yeah, Winifred Dorothy. Oh. Anyway, there's your mega bundle. I've not got any little bundles then. Right, let's do some. Oh, Lisa. Hi, John. My grand's 101 years young. Yeah, I think that suppose doesn't consider himself. Well, let's no. She he might consider him not himself to be out yet at 101. We're not saying anything there. But, consider yourself old. Thank you so much for writing such a beautiful book. I'm really enjoying it. Oh, do you know what? Do you know what? I just wrote it as I talked, right? Just wittering away. Oh, it wasn't doing like that. I was doing like that, right? And I'm so happy that so many of you love it. I can't tell you how many compliments I've had. I've, I've yet to have my, fir my first negative. I haven't had a negative yet. I'll get one, but I haven't had one yet. Anyway. Yep. Two bundles left once you've all checked out. Fantastic. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's a real melange, isn't it? Because some, some, I'd say, were very modern, and then others are really, really, really traditional, aren't they? Can I do these first? Because I love these. These are my favourites. OK, it comes in, obviously, red, white and blue. OK. OK. Yeah. White on first. Belle Isle. Oh, God, that's brought back so many memories. Um, by Minnick Simpson. Now, normally there's a quote with Moda, but there's no quote on these. I'll have to have a look at the others there. 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. 7.49. Oh, actually, so the graphics on the bundle are slightly wrong. It says you say £15. You say £14.98. But I just want to be precise, because we get told off for not being precise. We get told off we don't do our prep. Hannah gets told off all the time. She does. £7.49, half a metre. Oh, this is called Cabbage Roses, this one. OK, I don't know who's named this, but they're not Cabbage Roses. Don't want to be rude, but they're not Cabbage Roses. Anyway. It's lovely. Imagine a dress made out of that. Lovely fitted frock. Or 
that really lovely one that um, Rebecca Harrison did recently, like a 1950s f uh, dress. Be lovely, wouldn't it, that? I'm not going to have time to go through all of these. If there's anything particularly you want to see, let me know. Do you want blue or red next? Red's very popular on pre-order. Oh, and I love the background. It's slightly mottled as well. Oh, that's good. Cool. Imagine fussy cutting that. You know the, the quilt yesterday that Stuart did? You could fussy cut that, couldn't you? It'd be beautiful. £7.49 for half a metre. Wow, says Karen from Wigan. That's lovely fabric, isn't it indeed? Beautiful. So the red in the background is slightly mottled. Mottled. I'm just going to take a slurp of my ginger water. You see, when I have it in my sippy cup, it stays hot. That's gone cold again already. No, I'll be all right in a minute. Beautiful. Then I've got the blue. I don't know why I was looking over there. Do the Becca Reed. Got the blue now. Look at that. Oh, that's stunning. Let me hold that one up, actually, for you. Look. Oh, I think that's beautiful. There's no, there's no, no, there's not on this one either. Maybe they don't do it on all of them. I thought Mojo always did a quote. Right, what pattern would you like me to go to next then? I thought we'd do that next, Charlie's favourite. Oh! Okay. That's all right, Nikki. Up to Hannah. Viv said, if I had a fitted dress like a lady of that, I'd look like a bulbous vase. Viv, I'm sure you wouldn't. Wendy's working from home today, so please see you on with the team today. Enjoy your holidays. I'm loving the book. Thank you, Wendy. Right, which colour first? Blue first. So Charlie could have a traditional outfit made out of this. No, there's no quote on this one. Maybe, yeah, maybe they don't do it with this, the Bell Isle. Anyway, isn't it gorgeous? 749, 100% cotton, machine washable, quilting weight, 44 inches wide. Lovely. All the intricate details inside the paisley are just lovely, aren't they? Beautiful. Then I've got the white one next. There you go. Nice, this one, isn't it? Beautiful, very fresh. Love all the little flowers in between the paisleys. Saw Cherry yesterday, I haven't seen Cherry for ages. Had a good catch up with Cherry yesterday. Yes, you are. Yeah, yeah, here, here, yeah, yeah. £10.49, half a metre. And for those who don't know, Cherry is the sales manager, I think that's her title anyway, in Gems TV. Uh, and um, she was the mother of, no, not the mother, but I, got, I adopted Luther and Ghost from her. And she's got a gorgeous little boy called Rue. And she thinks she wasn't their mother, mother, because they're cats. But Colin, our big, big boss, got a bit worried just because I went in and Toby, Cherry's brother, said to me, oh, how are the boys? I was like, oh, Luther ran into the bedroom. He was so excited. He jumped on the bed and he rolled over on his back. And Colin was like, who's Luther? I went, it's a cat, Colin. He was like, just check him, just check him, he said. Didn't want you objectivising anybody. Now, there was a lady on, on uh, LinkedIn yesterday who got trolled because they said she was objectivising herself. £7.49? Beautiful, that's lovely, that red, isn't it? Right, am I going to move on to the other fabric now, did you say? Is that all this down here, the blues and the creams and things, yeah? Okay, I'll be back with you in a minute. I've just got to come and cut them from here. There you go.
Is it a mega bundle or is it just a, all individual C's? So let me show you them all then. So you've got your little sprig flower, you've got your flower on a vine, you've got your big flower in two colours, you've got your little seed head flower in two colours, oh I love that one, you've got your sprig, your leaf sprigs in two colours and you've got your cross hatch, no, hashtag, hashtag, hashtag nearly on his holidays. This one, which colour first? Cream first? I like it because it's like, on the, the background looks like parchment. Oh, this one's got a, putting a song in your heart, this one. Put a song in your heart. No, that's <laughs> Mode of songbook, dove wing stems, this one's called. Oh, okay, I don't know why we're doing this. 6.49. £6.49 for half a metre. It's only till midnight, remember. So hang on. So songbook stems, uh, the colour must be dove wing then. Presuming so. Cream. Dove wing. That's a funny old name. Dove wing. Beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous. Got it in the blue. It's a very dark navy blue, like a midnight blue, this one. Again, going to 6.49. What's the matter, Charlie? It's called midnight, is it? Oh, there you go. Another sound from the pavement. I wonder if Stephanie Slavinsky called it that. I know it's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Looks like they're falling, cascading, doesn't it, in the wind. Beautiful. Big. This one. Again, comes in the cream and the na uh, navy. Cream one first. We are crashing. Oh, this is lovely, this one. Look. Songbook Dove Wing Floral, this one. Maybe it's called Dove Wing then. It's lovely. The flowers, because you've got lime in there, you've got chartreuse in there, you've got pink in there, you've got aqua in there. 6 49 for half a metre. Only stays at that price till midnight, remember though. Lovely. Again, it's got so, such fabulous movement in it, that one, hasn't it? Listening to your dulcet tones in the car, says Dawn. Carol says, good morning. Morning, says Charlie, to you, Carol. Then I've got the navy one, midnight. Now, I can't decide whether that was Charlie or Hannah singing then. Oh, was, what's that, Hannah? It's very good. Elaine Page, you, Hannah, you couldn't tell the difference. Six now, six forty-nine, or were you not doing the Elaine Page version? I didn't know you'd, you'd done a cover of that. Six forty-nine. Did it not hit the charts when you did it? No. I love that. I think that's gorgeous. The colours really, really pop, don't they, with the midnight background? And at six forty-nine, taking a pound off. So you're saving two pounds a metre, if you think about it. You buy two units to make a metre, saving two pounds. Hi, John and team. That says it from Anne. Oh, sticker came off, I'll put it back on. Hashtags. Now, these aren't midnight. This is Dove Wing. Um, this is our sample. You won't have those splodges on yours. Beautiful. £7.49. What's it called? Stitch. I haven't had one of those for ages, but then I haven't run for ages. I suddenly realised yesterday when I was loading the washing machine, the tumble dryer, right, bending down a bit, and I was like, 
I felt like I'd been to the gym for days. 6.49, this only till midnight though, remember. <coughs> Gorgeous. Now, what colour is this one? This one's very monochrome, this one. What? Why is that one called midnight when it's a completely different colour? Who knows? Oh yeah, Hannah likes this fabric, 649. That, those are midnight there. What's the background colour then? So, no, but they're, they're dove wing, those there, you see. Just blow your nose, Charlie. Six pound forty-nine. Oh, well caught. Next. Yep. Yeah. Oh, have I? Which one sold out? Oh, this one. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. Only available in midnight. This. Not a sound from the pavement. Has the moon lost her memory? Yeah. Scattered floral, 649. That's maybe why yours didn't sell very well, Hannah. You only know the first word. Did you wear a tatty fur coat and scratch your ears? 649. Beautiful, isn't it? That's lovely blender, that one. I know for Moja, six foot F Moja. Now I've got the one diagonal one, I've got the tossed one. Diagonal one next. Dove wing first. Oh, that's nice. Imagine cutting that and moving it in different directions. Garland. Oh, I used to love dancing in garlands in Liverpool. Beautiful. It's a nightclub, in case anyone was wondering. £6.49. Hannah and I often have a conversation about how, when you're doing something, how do you know it's the last time you're going to do it? Like the last time I went to Garland's, I didn't know that that would be the last time I'd ever go there. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I know, I know. Oh, thanks, Hannah. Hannah's just said, I've had my last kiss. Oh, only from her, only from her. Well, I haven't had one from you, so it's not my first kiss either. That's the way it goes, because she's betrothed now. Caught in, stepping out. I'm stepping out with my baby. Can't do wrong, forget about wrong. Stepping out. I need my tap shoes on now, but I'm sitting down, I'm afraid. Oh, uh, what's this one called? Oh, Garland, obviously, I know that. Oh. <laughs> This funny noise, uh, Hannah went, sorry, I'm opening my grapes. Nice. 6.49. Come on, go and move on. Did you go on the ferry to Garland's? No, we drove, Anne. I was living in Liverpool at the time, we were on a film. Last time I went, we were on a film, um, Hilary and Jackie. Right, last one now. In the two colourways. Watch one. Darth Wing. Oh, I like this because it's got like a green dot on it, like a chartreuse dot on it. Beautiful. 6.49. Now I've got the midnight, last one, the ones we're going to reduce. Oh, this is pretty. This is lovely in a dress, this one. Morning, says Maria. Good morning, Maria. Six pound forty-nine for half a meter. It's lovely that that could be used in so many different ways. Definitely a dressmaker, dressmaking fabric. That. And you've taken she's just taken a pound off the half meter. Right, this quilt should be one hundred seventy-nine ninety-nine. We found it on the web at one hundred and fifty-five. So what did Hannah do? Dropped it to 139.99. That's how her brain works, everybody. So these are your big bits of fabric. 
I love that green. Very traditional. This is from Hope Blooms from the... Oh, I've been calling it the Troubled Quilters. It's the Troubles. Cancer's Troubles. I wonder why they're troubled. Or does it mean there's three of them? Oh, that's Thrupple. That's Thrupple, sorry. Wrong word. Which would be trouble, which would definitely be trouble. These are all 10 inch charm, uh, charm packs. You get the I, the melon template. You got, now in here, you get the fabric for the quilt and a runner. We've oh, had this kit, 69670. And it's layer cake friendly. That's funny, isn't it? Layer cake, layer cake friendly. So the quilt is 66 inch square. Yeah, they can make it again. Imagine that if you made it in that bright colours. Or you made it in yesterday's um, Tilda. Beautiful. Going Courting was that song, apparently. Which one? Which one was I think? Okay, moving on. One more thing and then we'll go for a break. The Belle Isle in RAF Brampton. Oh, why? Beautiful, it's 119.82, there's only two left now. Just two left, look, once you've all checked out. Look at the price, 119.82 split pay. You're getting 15, you're getting two of these for free. Two of these half meters you get for free. Love it, we've seen all of these, you see the big flowers. You've got your paisleys. Then you've got your lovely ditzy swirls there. In the three colors that is. Then you've got your stri uh, not stripes, they're stars, but they're in stripes. Then you've got that beautiful little bouquet on blue dotty fabric, red dotty fabric, white dotty fabric. Then you've got your very patriotic flowers and flags. American, obviously. No, is that American? Yeah, it is. Why am I thinking it's Australia? What's the Australian one? Anyway, that was completely different, is it? Let's see what's it look like then. Anyway, stars and stripes flag. Beautiful, the whole bundle there. Nine meters, you're getting a meter of it for free. Oh, okay, it's where the stars are. It's got you. And what? Oh, it's completely different then. Anyway, it doesn't matter, Charlie, we're moving on. 119.82. Janet Clare's waiting to come on. Can't keep her old. Can't keep her waiting. She's eager. She's been here for hours. How gorgeous is this? How totally gorgeous. Is this? And the thing you need to do is, I looked at, I looked at her when we were hanging up and thought, oh, it looks really beautiful. And then Charlie took a picture of it from a distance, right? And when you said, Charlie, can you just show the picture of it? Because I love the way that these white bits, they kind of blend. Can you see? They blend into the blue. It kind of blends in and out. It kind of, your eyes kind of move in and out the blue and the white, don't they? It's gorgeous. Fits beautifully with the fabric, doesn't it? And she designed the fabric as well. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not just a pretty face or anything. Right. I'll see you in four minutes from now. Join us for an amazing week of early bird specials. From Monday the 20th of June, we're bringing you some fantastic bargains with bigger quantities and better prices. Join us every day this week from 8am so you don't miss these special deals. Hi guys, I'm Becky Alexander Frost and I own a pattern brand called RJF Makes. RJF Makes is my initials, which is Rebecca Jane Alexander Frost. And most of you might know me as Baffa in the studio when John and Vic say our Baffa when I would message in. Favourite thing to make? I think people know me by now. I like to make bags, as you can see, I've got a few bags behind me. Um, most of my patterns are bags, um, however, there is a few craft style patterns available as well. Claim to fame, I used to previously be on another sewing channel <laughs> with John and Vix and the team. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
and um, basically I used to work alongside some famous um, pattern designers testing for them. What got me into sewing was my mom. Um, when I was five, I was um, standing next to her while she was sewing some bridesmaids dresses for me and my sister. And basically, I asked if I could um, learn to sew. She said I was a bit immature, still immature, by the way. Um, she said, I'm a bit young to learn her words. And basically, she said, maybe when you're a bit older. So my, when I turned eight, I basically learned to hand sew and by the age of 11 I had my first sewing machine. I'm now in my late 30s but still act that 8 year old. My favourite tools or top tips. So I have two best friends. One's called the Bulky Sea Maid, which is this, and one is called Quilt Estate. This will help anybody, the Bulky Sea Maid will help anybody if you're um, got something bulky going underneath your presser foot. This will stop any stitches from jumping and basically missing a stitch. Now this is my best friend when I would come to put in zips and you'll see me use this a lot. I mean a lot. Thank you ever so much and I'll see you all soon. Bye. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family run customer service team are on call 24 seven. Full of friendly, warm hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Now, Janet Clare's with us. Wave to your camera, Janet. There she is, with her apron and her... Got my pinny on. Got your pinny. I love this quilt. Thank you. I mean, I'm not going to go straight Thank to you. it, but it, I loved it when, like I said just then, I loved it when they hung it up. But when, it's actually when you see your picture of it yeah, from a distance. Yeah, when you stand away. When you re... Not that one, Charlie. That, Hannah had one earlier that was the one, I think, from the web. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, because we can see it anyway. But it just... It looks the, really different on the Yes, the it kind from. of blends, doesn't yeah, it? it does. Into the... It's just brilliant. I have so much fun playing with all that. But oh, we can, can go, We can talk about all of that. In a minute, in a minute, in a minute, but I've got to talk to you about this first of all. Now, this wasn't supposed to be until the 11 o'clock hour, but you are absolutely loving it. So I've just got to tell you about it now. Now, it's called Wildflowers by Janet Clare, obviously. Uh, and now, just tell me what, because what, to me, it just looks like a gorgeous, um, scribblingy, doodly book of yes, gorgeous flowers. Exactly. So we, we um, were trying to find all our wildflowers when we were on dog walks. Right. Um, so I did little sketchbook pages, which we've put in the actual book, and we did it as a block of the month. So there's 12 wildflowers, oh. um, and it makes quite a small quilt um, because I just wanted to get the idea out. But you can do anything you like with those flower blocks. Um, you could make three daisies, whatever. Yeah. So it just goes through, tells you a little bit about the flower, gives my sketchbook page, and all the templates are full size. And I just wanted to make a pretty book. I always want to have a really pretty book. But it's very much like, um, when I was younger, there was, we used to have books called The Diary of an Edwardian Woman. Oh, yes. And they're very much like that. Kind of painting. like a little bit of writing, a little bit of drawing, a, bit of a little bit of painting. Yeah. And it's very much reminiscent. Because even though it's a book to tell you how to make things, it's actually a beautiful book just to sit and look yeah. at the colours. And I found it very restful. Thank just you. looking at it like that. That's how I like my books to be. I like them so that then, if you're, even if you're not sewing, they're nice to look yes, at. It's yes, like yeah. a coffee table book. Exactly. Not exactly. just like a recipe. Just, just, just. Yes, I like exactly. to be things to look at. 
The other thing we were just saying, that before I met Janet, right, remember we did a mild skirt, was it last year, the year before, at the end of lockdown, we did the skirt for the 15, and they wanted six inch squares of like, uh, English countryside flowers in English country, and you could embroider it, applique it, block it, do whatever you want to. I suggested in the email that I sent you all that you buy this book as inspiration, not knowing. <laughs> and it was really funny because uh, Hannah was saying we've got the, the book, Janet's book instead. And I was looking at it thinking, hang on, I'm, I've read this before. I know, I suddenly realised, well, I haven't seen it here. It was because I told you to buy it to, to, make, to make, and she's in, she's in Birmingham this week. Amal, the, the puppet, is in Birmingham this week. Not sure if she's wearing our skirt though. 15.99, that book. I'm signing them. The problem? I've got to sign them all when I get home. All these books? Oh, yes, of course you have. <laughs> well, so now, do your, does your stuff come from ours or from you? Me. Oh. Dispatching everything tomorrow. Oh, so they'll all be signed. Oh, like you've got a pretend sign there. Yeah, a little pretend one, yeah. A little pretend I'll one. i just draw a circle around that, shall I? Yeah. That's it. That's it. Pretend then. that's it. No, I'll sign them. 15 99 <laughs> I just want to show you that because it's, it's very popular, is it, Han? Very popular. We're going to talk more about it in the other clock out. I just want you to see it there now. Now. Oh, hang on, let's look at that picture, the picture the child has found. I was now, but you can see it on that. Look how the blue and the white just ble... I don't think it's so clever. It's, thank you, and that's the secondary pattern, and that's what's so beautiful about making patchwork, isn't it? You yeah. get a lot more to play with than yes. you think is actually there. It's so funny, before I came to work at so because my background's obviously in clothes and costumes things, and I'd be like, oh, what can you do cutting squares out? You can't do anything with cutting squares. No, but, but then, <laughs> you when you realise that how much you can do by cutting squares out, yeah. but it's just incredible, isn't it? Right, so this is what you're going to buy. For your £174.99, you get the bag. You get the bag? Yeah, Comes you Comes in bag. the bag. Who's the dog? He's called Hugo the Logo. I haven't got a dog that looks like him. Okay. Hugo the Logo. Hugo the Logo. Now, it's £174.99. There are uh, three split pays of 58 33 Now, how big... That quilt is enormous. The quilt is 86 by 86 inches, so that will go over your double bed. Oh, lovely. hugely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sometimes it's fun to make a really big, striking quilt. Yeah. Oh, it is. Just That's totally. really get soaked up into it and process it and and it's just a really lovely project to have. But also we'll get into it in a minute. Don't be daunted but daunted by the size because actually it's not no. difficult, is it? No, not it's difficult. not difficult. I wouldn't say it was your first quilt because it's on point and the block has got quite a few pieces but the piecing is all simple. Right. It's just an investment of time really if you're of course. beginning, isn't it? But then people buy projects to they're not racing to get no, them made. No, we're normally, not doing this to save time, are we? No, no, exactly. We're doing it because we love it and we want to enjoy it. So it doesn't matter. How no, 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 no. Is, is, when you make something like that, though, is it like reading a fabulous book? When it's finished, you go, it's just a bit oh, sad. I know. I've got to start a new one now. It's a bit sad. Yeah, you just always have to have another one on the go. Yeah, I was like that with checkbooks. I always used to think every time I got a new checkbook, it meant there was more money in my account. So I used to get sad when I finished one. But I've got a new one now. Anyway, so you get the pattern. You do get the pattern. The Orbiter, we'll talk all about that in a minute. Look, I just I just think it's so clever. And it's actually, it's just a just a trellis, really, isn't it? But yeah. it's just very, very clever, the way it works. These are your gorgeous fabrics. Now, these are all your... your They're all designed by me which in we'll the go Astra through in a second. range, yes. The Astra range, beautiful, aren't they? So you've got that one there. You've got the little eclipsy ones there, or the engagement ring ones. You've got the stars, <laughs> the plough and the great, whatever they're called up there. All the constellations. The bear constellations, that's the word. So that, oh, now, why is it called, no, no, it's called a limited edition. Why is it called limited edition? Probably because we don't have many left. Oh, is that what it is? Probably. Fact. <laughs> now, so this fab, but you were telling me last time you were in, you designed two... A yes. couple of ranges, but yes. once they, they do a, a certain print run, and then it's gone. So that so it could be that you can't. Once all the fabric's sold out, which it will be soon, I imagine, yes. Yes. you can't get it again. They don't. They then don't do reprints and re. So you can't then go in three years' time. Oh, let's reprint th th I this know. one. That doesn't happen. It's literally yeah. whatever it's meterage, yardage you they print. The reps was whatever got sold, yeah. whatever got ordered has been made. Rounded up to a sensible number, yeah. whatever that is, yeah. and then that's it gone. So, oh, so before it's even printed, 
You only print what people are ordering. They're only printing what people are ordering. Oh, so if only one person ordered yeah. it, they'd yeah. only print. And they're obviously not printing up to like 13 yards. They've oh. ran that up yeah, to 20 or yeah, whatever. Yeah. But yes, once it's gone, it's totally gone. So that could be why it's limited then. Anyway, yes. should we get the cuts? That's gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that one. <laughs> Thank you. These are all lovely. We're going to talk through the actual design of the fabrics and everything, yes, aren't we, yes. in a minute? I'm just showing what you get. Splodge. Yards and yards and yards you get. Yeah. Yards and yards. Beautiful. Now, is it possible? Look at that one. That's your border. That's, That's your big triangles borders. on your border. Yeah. I love a dark a, a fabric with a dark background. It's yeah, always makes just them really rich, isn't beautiful. it? Beautiful. Really makes things right. pop. Right. Before we talk about it, that's 174.99. I have got the pattern on its own as well. If you want the pattern on its own, of the pattern. Oh, quarter of those have gone. Quarter of the stock of the quarter, kits have gone. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, they'll all go. They'll all go. There's the pattern on its own. 9.99. What I was going to ask is, but it might be difficult to do, is because the fabric's so gorgeous. Hannah was saying she'd want to make a patchwork jacket out of some of the fabric, Ooh, right? Yes. Could she make the quilt smaller and then use some fabric? But then you, because you've yes, got all you of can. this. But what you'll have to do is, because they're set on points, you'll have to go in, like, because that's the block. Oh, oh, I see it now. I can so see it now. To, yeah. yeah. Oh no, you get your eye in. Don't I see. You? I was seeing it's each. On... I was seeing each of these. No, no, no. Yes. A yeah, that's like the secondary pattern. Yes, isn't it? yes, yes. So the block. But no, is... the block is bigger. Oh, and it's set like that. I can see so now. You've said it. I can see it now. She'd have to. You'd have to come in at least a row, which would. So Hannah, don't break. do that. Well, you could, but you're making life difficult for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Aren't you? Okay. Um, you could. No, 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 that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Right, okay, let's talk about the fabric range. Designing then we'll talk about the, the design, then right. we'll talk about making. All oh, right, come on then. What right. do you want to see? I want to know how, did they say to you, we want a Star Trek, not Star Trek, you? No, no, they, did, they never give me any uh, design briefs. I don't work for a colour prediction. I don't work for trends. They want me to come up with something which is really hard. Yeah. And I was designing this in July 2020. We all know what July yeah, 2020 yeah, we certainly was do. like. Um, so I'm sat in the garden and then the dining room trying to come up with something. But we'd watched as a family. Now, my boy, they're not boys. They're like 20 and 18. Um, always boys yeah. um, the boys and I we'd all watched Elon Musk and his SpaceX and we yeah, were watching yeah. that live and I thought if that's caught their attention then maybe I'll think about that sort of thing so I started playing around and I always sketchbook and started playing around with thinking about constellations and galaxies and traveling and what you'd see and what you'd need and here we are. I do work in a tight colour palette. So to your point is in three years time when you say, oh, I've used some of that kit for something else, for a jacket. Yeah. And now I need, oh, I haven't got enough of the cream. I keep my cream consistent through all of my collections. Oh, and my oh, indigo is consistent. So you could buy cream from another collection yes. and the back will be the same colour. The back will be the same. I mean, maybe you don't want to put the flowers in, but maybe there would be a little dot that you could. Because a, a lot of it is to something. do with the scale of the print mm -hmm. and how that that optical illusion is worked by the scale of the print and how you've put the energy of the designs together yes. on the actual fabric makes a big difference. But you can definitely substitute, and we do keep our colour palettes tight as I can. Um, you've just got a dye lot thing. Right. Which doesn't matter when you're patchworking because it's cut into bits. Yeah, of course, of course. So as long as you intermingle. Yeah. Yeah. So there Perfect. you go. Perfect, okay. So, um, but but, but were you not worried if, if you thought it's attracting my son's attention? They're 18 and 20, but most quilters aren't eight, 18 to 20 know, year old boys. I know, but we boys. make things for people, don't we? Oh, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm we're not. always making things. And what happens is that um, a lot of the patchwork fabric available is floral, of which course. is beautiful. Everyone loves a flower. But I like to do something that isn't quite the same as Oh, but else. it's also very gender friendly. I mean, this oh, could yeah. look gorgeous on a family yeah. bedroom, but if you're sending a boy off to university, yes. not sending him off, but he's leaving home, to, yeah. that would be, a, you know, like the talking point, wouldn't I've it? I've just finished a university, well, 18th birthday university quilt. So yeah, they do, they do like the quilts. They like the comfort. Yes. 
and they like the idea of them. Like there's there's always a teenager under a quilt and on the sofa in our house. Okay. But they don't really would choose for themselves something floral. No, no, and that that's fine. And, and yeah. it's whatever. I mean, some people would, some people wouldn't. But it's kind of like I've got a few at home. I've got flamingos. I've got flowers. I've got yeah. plain colours. You want a bit of everything, don't you? I do. But as an yeah. eighteen-year-old boy. Maybe yeah. I wouldn't want the pink flamingos and no, the flowers. No, well, they're, you know, their mum's a quilter, so what can they do? Yeah, They've exactly. got no options. No, they? exactly. And if they send you <laughs> off with one, you have to keep it, don't you? You can't be thrown this away. Okay, so so that's how you come up. So that's you how then... I came with the idea. And then um, I put the idea forward to um, Moda, and they say yes or no, and then I would develop the drawings up. Oh, okay, so you go to them with a simple, with like, a, the drawings like that. With a ballpark like idea, I take a couple of photos of sketchbook page and say, this is what I'm thinking. Because what happens is they've got a lot of designers who work for them, and because everyone is working to their own idea. Yeah. They don't want 30 people to turn in something about space. Yeah. So um, that's how it works. And then when I've got my ideas done, I will then draw them up in neat. So these are in neat. neat. Right. These are neat. Oh, these are the neat ones. These, these are the ones you go to the meeting. Yeah. These are the neat ones. Um, and you can see I do, it's literally just fountain pen on um, watercolour paper. Yeah, hang on. If you just hold that there, Charlie will come in really close on that one. There you go. So now, do you that's have to draw the repeat? Or do you just draw? No. I have to make sure it repeats. Right. Um, but I don't actually do. So you the do that, repeat. so you know that the bottom of that will attach to the top of the that. The bottom of that will attach to the top, and I know there's enough little ditzy elements that if there's an awkward gap in the repeat, then it would fit. Yes. Um, and what they generally do is like a half drop anyway, right. so that would come down to here. Right. Um, but yeah, I just. Um, and the thing with patchwork fabric is that you. When you're cutting into a small bit, you want something interesting in every little well, piece. Well, I was just looking you? at yours then, and every, even the tiniest uh, little, little half square, quarter square triangle has got something got in it. Something There's not a plain. Because if I, sometimes you can think, oh, it's a gorgeous floral fabric, and then when you've made it lost into, it. you've lost it. Because all you've got is a, is a triangle of the background fabric. Right. Sorry, who's on camera here? That's so right. what I do, that, so they print the Grunge. watercolor sheet. Uh, it's not grunge, it's it my not? texture. It's similar to grunge. Oh, hang on, mine can't, we can't are, see that very well. If you, what, is there a creamer one? Can you see that? It's not coming out, is it? No. Hang on, Maybe if you do it from a distance, the like that. There you go. Okay, it can comes see it like that? Up. There you go. It's the same idea as grunge, but grunge tends to swap into uh, more um, contrasting colours. Oh, okay. And mine is uh, my sheet of watercolour paper that I give them. Um, so even my oh, planes yeah, are imagine. plain. Oh, so that's your plane? Mm. That's my plane. That's not in here, is no, it? No, I haven't used it in here. But even no. if you bought a plane, one of my fabrics... It's not plain. It's not plain. And the other thing I do, if you're looking at... Because we do all the maths um, on 40-inch wide fabric, and, of course, the fabric's 42 inches. Yeah. Um, so you've got at least 10% extra that we give you in the pattern. So if you're looking at all your scraps and thinking about what to do, don't forget that you can use the reverse of the prints as well, because look at the, oh, the real yes. subtlety. If you're talking about the different, the, the colours coming in and out and the subtle effects, you can use the front and the back of, of a course. print. Um, and that just makes really exciting effects so if yes. you think well i haven't got much i haven't got any more indigo in my stash i don't know what to do just think that would be enough contrast yes definitely you know. definitely yeah so there's there's lots of things you can do with it but i absolutely adore designing the fabric it's the oh, best go. thing <clears throat> hi john janet couldn't resist the quilt oh sorry Sanjay. quilt jumped into my basket just working on a quilt in origami oh Ooh. lovely that's Susan. my fabric that is, oh, is that? that? I thought she meant she was folding it. No, oh, that's your fabric, is it? No, she's dropping for me. Oh. That's very nice. So I, then, the, I would hand in these original drawings. They will work them up. And then in about a year's time... Patricia's bought it because it would be great with her new wardrobes. Oh. So what, your fantastic. new wardrobes like then? They're navy blue. I she loves your designs. Thank well, you. Well, I, I can see why. They're absolutely beautiful. They're stunning. So... We've got the fabric. You've got the you've got the fabric. Yes. And how do you get from having all those samples of fabric to this? Uh, graph paper is the short okay. answer. <laughs> graph paper. I spend so many hours just doodling on little bits of graph paper. Really old-fashioned, the imperial yeah, 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 big yeah. squares. Yeah. Um, and what I'll do is I'll think of a 
often there's a block so I, I it's called orbiter so I was thinking about sort of circles and spirals and but I didn't want to do curved piecing right um, and every now and again if you get your eye in you'll see it just forms like this little circle yeah 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 there's, there's, um, there's one we, we did not one of yours but it's a kind of um, I did it what Christmas a few years ago and it's all straight lines but when you actually put it up know, it, looks it looks like loads of coloured circles yeah. and you're like how can that be because there's not a, there's not one curved Curve. edge it in is. there but you're right every now and then you look you at that just, and you suddenly see a circle and yeah. that's what I love about the quilts as well when you're up close you're thinking oh that's a nice print and that's a nice orange and then you step away you can start to see the whole yes. quilt and yeah. then if you step away again you start looking at secondary patterns so um, I'd drawn the block and then it goes on to uh, the computer, EQ8, right. um, right. electric, electric quilter, isn't it? I yeah, think. yeah. Um, and you can, you've got this option to set them straight or set them on point, and there's so much energy when they're on point. Yes, definitely. So they're on point, and, and then yet you it need doesn't, it does. It's not. Sometimes when you do an on point quilt, it's obvious it's on point. Yeah. But that I didn't. When you started no. saying it's on point, I was thinking, what's no, she talking not. about? Because I, when you first look at it, you see block, 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 yes. block, 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 block. It's only when you pointed that out, and now my eyes doing that thing. You know, and sometimes you look at fabric and you see the white, and you see yes. the blue, and you see yeah. the white. My eyes keep going from this block to these blocks. To it keeps blocks. jumping between the two. You know what I mean? I know. It's interesting, isn't it? But Pippa made this for me, and she's so good, and she's done a really beautiful job of it. Yeah. But it's a nice meaty project to get into there's enough different techniques the blocks have got 25 pieces right in but half of them are squares and rectangles right so you know you get it's not that bad to make but you're going to be methodical and just really sink in and enjoy and it. is each block the same there's one block that you make but it's colored in four different ways right so you've got four different color options yeah. and of course the colors are where you place the fabric yes and you could play by yourself. So if you just bought the pattern, right, and you don't want to buy the fabric, or you've got, you're coming down with fabric. What I would do is we always do a little swatch on the back of the, and I well, would glue, there, I would glue the fabrics you're actually using. Oh, over to that. those, because otherwise, and it'll be more inside as well. I'll open a pattern in a minute. Um, because otherwise you'll get so confused because yes. you'll be thinking what am I doing instead of that yes yeah you know so if you've got it registered there and the quilt will look st I mean you can make it rainbow you can make it anything uh, yeah exactly and what I, re I always um, really love is you see somebody who's made the quilt and they've they've used their own fabric and it looks like a completely different thing it looks yeah, completely yeah. unique again yes well it would do if you didn't use those colors yes I just, just try to imagine what different. it would look like with different colours. You know what I mean? But if you want that effect, then you need to keep to my shading yes. and the proportions. So even if you did it in green, you still have to have a darker green, a yeah. mid green, a, yeah. and, keep, and the, keep the placement the same. Yes. But if you just wanted to make wild, colourful blocks, I mean that one could be red, that one could be green. Oh. I mean it could be. But then, if you do that one red, that one green, it means these here. Yeah. So you'd have green coming this yeah, way, you'd would. have red coming yeah. that way, and then you'd have your... Yeah, the different there. Yeah. It would look completely, completely different. different. But graph paper, felt tip pens are your friend. Okay. So you could easily draw up the block and colour in and see what you think. Okay, brilliant. Now, stockwise, Hannah, how am I doing with the pan on its own? Okay, not very many of those left, but then the kit, the bundle, we're just looking now. Half the stock's been... Oh, that's the, the pattern again. That's right. The kit... I'll just move across a bit. Oh, gone very quiet. 58, 50. Half the stock has been checked out. Wow. And a third of the quilt pattern's gone and half the stock of that's gone. Right, so where do we start? So we get this home, we get the bag, we go, ooh, we touch the fabric, we, we get the pattern the fabric, out. Then you all enjoy do? it, and yeah. then you start and read the pattern. Right. Which is boring, I know, but it, it's uh, necessary. Yes. <laughs> it's necessary. Um, so that's the block you're making, right. and that's it straight. Um, so there you go, you can see that. And we've got all the cutting lists 
tells you how to break it down. You're making one block, but it's colored in in four different ways. Right. The block has got 25 pieces in it, which is why I said it's probably not your first quilt because yes. there's a lot going on. Yeah. But lots of them are squares, lots of them are rectangles. Right. Eight of them are half square triangles, which you can make eight at a time. Okay. Which we've demonstrated before, and there is how to do that in the pattern. Uh huh. Then the next ones are square in a square, and they are there. Right. That's your square in squares. Yeah. There and there. And I have a little demo to talk you through for the square and squares. Lovely. Okay. So what you have to do is you're, you're cutting two squares basically so you're cutting a square for the center and then a larger square which you then subdivide to make into these corners aren't they yeah, really yeah, yeah. um lots of the fabric that i've used this is pippa and her technical excellence and pernicketiness is she wants the if the pattern is got a direction she wants to keep the direction the same so all of these, look, so you, I don't know whether the camera can see that, but that little stripe there, it goes all the way round. Oh, the edges. I see what she you mean, yes. Mixed it They're up. not all twisty and everything. Now, I would mix it up a bit more because my brain just doesn't go there immediately. Yeah. That's how her brain goes. Yeah, So there's fine. tips on how, when you've cut your squares for your corners, how to keep the directionality of the print so that it really increased the effect. Right now, I've got a tip for how you match these triangles up because the triangles are bigger, as you can see. Look, they're bigger than the, than the, the square. square. So what you have to do is you have to find the center of the square, and you do that by folding. Right. So you fold it over, it's, um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to score it with your thumb. And I'm making mountains, mountain folds on the right side, so they stick up like little mountains. Mountain fold. Oh, you I have see what a you mean. valley yeah, fold yeah, yeah, or a yeah, mountain yeah. Okay, fold. So I've made a little mountain fold yeah. there. And then what you will do, you have to then find the middle of this triangle. And you do that by folding it in half again. But if you fold it the same way as you did the square, I'll just fold this one the wrong way. This uh -huh. is going to be the wrong way. If you fold it so you've got another mountain fold in the middle there. Right. When you go to line it up, it doesn't really want to sit oh, carefully. I see. So what you do is, if you do a valley fold, a valley fold, right sides together, it will hug each other a little tiny little bit. So when you put the two right sides together, together it, sits. it sits on top of each other, and that just helps you out a tiny little oh, bit. Wow. And then you can put the pin there. Yeah. And then all you're going to do is so. Do you want me to sew? Should we? How we do for time? We could move on. Oh, we've got. We're only halfway through the show, so it's up to you, really. Let's sew the next one. Okay. So then all you're going to do then is you're going to sew a quarter of an inch down there. Yeah. Do the next one, and that is your square and square. Everything is made bigger, so you true it up again, cut it down to size. Oh, okay, so so that's a tip that once you've once you've sewn it together, you need to square it off. You can square it. Yep. Get rid of those little ears. Yep. Give it a good press. Always press. If you've sewn it, you press it. Right. Yep. So that's how you make. So look, we're, we've done most of the elements already. We've yep. done the squares. We've done the rectangles. We've done the half square triangles. We've done the square and squares. Brilliant. The next one is the flying geese and this is a new technique to me i actually have been practicing this okay because i've been making flying geese um using foundation paper okay, okay yeah yeah um or a slow way where you cut triangles and you sew them on yeah but this way you can make them four at a time so all the measurements are in here all the instructions are here it's all been through the graphic designer it's all clear okay perfect basically one big Square. indigo square which is your goose i suppose is it in the middle is that the goose uh, that is the goose that's, that's flying. the goose yeah yep. then you're going to the sky ah okay 
Right. And then you're going to do the squares for the corner. Again, the measurements are all in the pattern, don't worry. Draw a diagonal line, and yeah. you're just going to put those on the corners. Now, one it's, there, it's one the there. diagonal line's going in the opposite, because normally when you're doing a diagonal line on a corner, it's going that way, because you're going to sew it and cut it off, aren't you? But yes. it's actually going towards, towards the centre of the, the square. Towards the centre yeah. of the square. And you're just going to overlap them. What you want is those two drawn lines to be really nice, and those to be actually in the corners. Right. Okay, and then you're going to sew with a quarter of an inch seam allowance either side of those. Right. Okay, and then you cut, give it a press, always yeah. give it a press, then you cut on that drawn line. And right. what you can see is before you cut, you can check, do an idiot proof. Is that going to look like a flying geese? Not at the moment. <laughs> but you've got your right sides together. You know it's shaping <coughs> up to do something. Yeah. <coughs> right, so then when you've cut it in half, it looks like that. It's pressed. Right, yep. Yeah. Still pressed. doesn't look like a flying geese, Still does it? Still doesn't look like a flying geese. And then all you're going to do is the exact same. So you're going to put that very carefully aligned uh -huh. and you want that line to come right through the center there okay and then you're going to sew quarter of an inch again from oh, those line, yeah. and then when you open that up again give yourself a little idiot check because unpicking is very boring yeah there you go one flying geese brilliant so out of that square you can make yourself floor flying geese let's turn this up so you make four at a time you make four at a time so you are making eight quarter square triangles at a time, four flying geese at a time, one square in square, and the rest are squares and rectangles. Right, okay. So there you go. Hopefully, that has demystified it because it does look daunting. Yes. You just, also, what the other thing, we were talking about this with the kids the other day, is that that seems like a mammoth task, but actually all you've got to do is open the pattern. Yes. And then the next day, you've got to your iron out and then the next day you're ironing some fabric and then the next day you're looking at the cutting list you just take it down into tiny little chunks. Of course that's what you do with everything in life really shouldn't we? You do I know we get philosophical don't we? Yeah exactly Julianne loves your fabric Janet. Thank you. Uh, Judith says absolutely loving the quilt lots of people coming Wonderful. in. Wonderful right you want a scant quarter inch seam allowance which right. means that you're just inside that seam allowance. Remember my scissors look at that. Uh -huh. um, so do you ever make a complete quilt then because you said who made this one you say Gemma. Pippa. Pippa. So uh, Pippa made this one. Have you ever made this one then? No. no. Um, what happens is I'm such a designer because once I've done all my sketchbook work, all my fabric design work, yeah. all my graph paper, work it out, I know what it's going to look like. I don't actually want to make it. I want to be moved on and do the next oh, thing. Oh, wow. And I'm so spoiled that I don't actually have to make it. Now, I might have, I don't think I even made a block with this. Sometimes I make a block of to course, check yeah. that I've got the scale right. But I didn't with this, I knew, I knew. And then Pippa just does it, you see. She's so good. And then she'll phone and say, um, I think we could make this this way easier or da 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 uh -huh. da and she and then we work it out like that. So I'm very, very lucky that I don't tend to do a lot of the same. Because you can imagine it would be very nice sitting making a quilt all day, but that But I'd that's make, not gonna that pay your rent, be, is it? No, that would be the that would be the week's work, wouldn't yeah. it? That would be done. There you go. So then you're going to cut on that line again, and there you go. You've got very, very neat flying geese. There's one Perfect. there, and there's one there. So don't panic. Everything is good. And if you make a mistake with your cutting, don't throw your scraps away. Just sew it back together again, and then cut your blocks out. Because we are, I think, we're probably the only generation who start with complete pristine brown fabric. Oh yes, fabric. Yeah, of course, because that started off with it just being. Yeah, scraps what we of had. fabric, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and if you look at some vintage quilts, they've quite often got a seam because they didn't have a big enough yeah. piece. So don't worry about it. You're just going down the traditional thrifty route. And as I say, all the mass is done, so it's much bigger. You've got plenty of fabric. And just read your instructions. Brilliant. And have fun. Yeah. So you've made your how many blocks? 
25, did you say 24? There's 25 pieces in each of those Oh, 25 blocks. pieces in each block. So, you've, so you've, you've, done, you've made your blocks. They've got four different colours. So you have to pay attention to what colour goes where and yes. what print goes where. Okay. Then you sew. So in, normally with a quilt, you sew it across, cross, yes. cross, cross, yeah. cross. So you sew that way. You sew the row, the blocks together and then you put these setting triangles in. Okay, there. so there's no bias. It's still, so, it's no. still sewing yeah. squares together, but you sew a row of one, two, three, four, five, yeah. as you normally would. Yeah. And then when you get to the end, you, you add on a triangle yeah. and then the next row, so that triangle makes it that long. Yeah, so the next row it. is like one, two, th however many across, there are down there, across. plus a triangle at the end. Yeah. So now, are we working with any biases? I don't think No, because... So. How did we cut those? Because you want to cut those, how do you cut those triangles out there? Bec only because you don't want to bias around the edge, do you? You cut on the diagonal. So you're cutting across the diagonal. Right. That's the diagonal there, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So the diagonal's in the end. And what, we've, what Pippa said to do was, when it's all pieced together, if you do a stay stitch right the way around it, it will keep that, that bias yeah. properly. But you're not sewing a bias seam. That's no. a self. That's on the grain. Yeah. So that's all, the grain. That's all the your seams are stable yeah. seams. There's no. Yes. The only time you've got a bias is when you put your well, binding around the, the edge. Yeah. And also, if that gets pleated, I could live with that, couldn't you? Yeah. Oh yeah, totally. But if you do a little stay stitch, it'll keep it neat. All of these tips are in the pattern because I've used what I know and then Pippa has put a whole other layer on top. So they're good, you're sound. Just so what, follow what, the pattern. What it is, is you're the designer. Like I'm going back to put this yes. to my costume thing. Yes. So a costume designer would come to me and they would draw a picture and go, ideally this is what I'd like. As the maker, I would then go away and go, well, actually, I wouldn't put velvet there yeah. because it's not going to drape, or I wouldn't really put a seam there because it's not flattering. Mm -hmm. So we're going to create what you want, yes. but we're the, um, you're the creativity, and yes. we are the, um, I don't know what the word is, the kind of um, person that puts happen. it all together, the, the, the person who puts it together yes. and, t and then says, this doesn't really work. So you work as a team. It's a real collaboration yeah. and lots of people, and there's more than one way. So if you don't want to make flying geese four at a time, don't worry about it. Just do your normal technique. Yeah, 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 they're yeah. still going to be flying geese. Don't worry about it. But sometimes, like I found when Pippa said, well, I always make them four at a time. And I think, well, I don't. But when you play for an hour in the studio, I think, why don't I make them yeah, exactly. four at a time? Exactly. But you as know, you say, some people, sense. some people are doing it because they love yeah. having a rectangle, two triangles, yes. <coughs> excuse me, yeah. and sewing it together and beautifully just, pressing it that's back. That's it. Yeah. That's it. So just do whatever you're going to find the most joy of in. Of course, yeah. Because you're making it you're making for joy. It. You're making it, not for joy. Yes. We haven't got, got friends called joy, have we? But you're making <laughs> it for the enjoyment of making it. For the enjoyment it, yeah. of making it. Yeah. And they are beautiful things and they get better with age. Yeah. Um, Oh, you and see, I, I said that the other day. I love throwing mine in the washing machine. Yeah. And letting them all do this. Yeah. And yet Mandy Shaw went, said the other day, oh, you never put a quilt near a washing machine. And I'm like, mine do. Mind you, hers are hand embroidered, aren't yeah, they? Yes, so maybe yeah. she would be a bit more worried Ooh. about things snagging. Still going But in. no, my quilts, sadly, are always, you know, being hung on walls, being talked about. The ones we've got at home, we don't have that many. The ones at home are used. The dog's on them. The, the guard, dog's under cat, them. Yeah, yeah. They're in the car, you know. And they are washing and shrinking and crumpling and getting softer. Uh -huh. And they're getting better. Oh, yeah, definitely. I agree with you. I agree. Yeah. I just also, I also think if you make this, so like, like you said in the first day, <clears throat> you get the fabric out and you think, oh, it's too much. When you finished it, yeah. that sense of achievement, yeah. when you have this yeah. and you go from your cutting table or wherever you're sitting doing your sewing, going, I've made this. And all your hours are there. Yes, yeah. They're all there. They're and all kept. They've just been stitched. Yeah. Whereas all that, what were we talking about? You were wandering through with a cup of tea and I was sat there just scrolling on my phone. What are you looking at? I don't even know. Yeah. I just picked my phone up to do something. Yeah. 10 minutes later, it's still in my hand. Yeah. That 10 minutes, you could have had a couple of flying geese Yeah, made. exactly. <clears throat> I just think it's I just think the sense of achievement that I don't understand also oh hang on just read this first love these fabrics the quilt is mesmerizing Janet is such a talented designer from Kate Thank in Merseyside you. I also think the quilting industry I've had so many quilts made for me I don't think I'd better give them away oh no you see how did Pippa part with that um because you're a boss that's yeah. why but, um, but you know what I mean like if you made that 
Yes, what an amazing, generous gift to give somebody. But I'd yes. be like, I'd be giving it and keeping hold of one corner. So like, if, you if you ever want to part with it, it's mine. Yeah. Um, Pippa gets paid in fabric. Oh, no, I don't, I don't need to know that. She wants, she wants to just make the next thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's exciting it to be in fabric for her to be sewing in fabric that's not on the market, yeah. that no one else has seen, yeah. she works pre-pattern. Uh, and that's what she enjoys. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like, if I make, used to make wedding dresses for people, yeah. I would love, I love making it, and I was happy to give it to her on the day, yeah. but it was like, that sent, as they walked down the aisle, yeah, all the family would be crying because it's the bride, and I'd be like, yeah. I made that, I yeah, beaded no, that, that, I did that. And that's what's so fantastic about it. It is an amazing it. thing to do. Yeah. And it is so good for you, for your mental health and your energy, and just feeling like you've, done something with your day yeah. even if all you've done all even if you've threaded your machine up you've wound a bobbin and you've got a pile of fabric yeah that's that's better than but it's it's the getting doing it isn't it that it's with you many just of us get we'll yourself moving exactly because you? we'll sit there and go oh i've got to do this if you, as soon as you do that first thing you have thing, to make yourself yeah. stop but as soon as you've done it that's it. The yeah, world's you don't want to stop then, no, do you? No, exactly. Once you get started. Right, before we go, I've got another quilt to talk through. We haven't got, we haven't got the kit or anything. But before we do, how are we doing on this one, Han? Fewer than 20 of those left now. One. So, oh, I want you all checked out, single figures. Once you've all checked out single figures. Wonderful. Uh, John Thank and you. Janet. Oh, that's a book. Somebody should write a book, shouldn't they? Jan yes. Uh, watching you both <laughs> is a joy. You're both so knowledgeable and so willing to share. Thank you so much. The quilt is stunning from Sharon. The thing is, oh. I always say, I only learn what I learned from people being generous to me. Oh, yeah. And I don't think you should keep, keep hold. Well, it, let's it, face it. Did I invent how to sew a no. quilt? Uh, no. Did you invent how to design one? No, no, you did not. No, I didn't. So it's not mine to be protected no. over. But also it's the joy of sharing. Absolutely. It's the joy of giving. I love giving presents, whether it's not your birthday. I, what I hate, this is what I hate, right? If it's somebody's birthday, I hate that fact you've got to go to the shop going, oh, it's Hannah's birthday, I've got to buy something, I've got to buy something. Yeah. Where, no, 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 I'm just saying Hannah, because I, I always Hannah's know what birthday? to get Hannah. But no. you know, if you, you're in a shop and you go, oh, Hannah would love that. Yeah, that's better. That's much better, isn't it? I yeah. did get her a brilliant birthday present last year. I had to drive hours and hours to get it. Drive for hours. Has she, have you killed it yet? Oh, she hasn't killed it, I've got to a terrarium. Beautiful, beautiful terrarium. Anyway, the people in the shop have now opened a shop about two minutes walk from Anna's front door, but that's by the by. But it's that thing of giving, isn't it? It's, so if I'm the same with, if I know a tip, well, my book, my new book, all it is is full of tips. Tips. You've and, and, up. and secrets, well, not secrets, but stories of my life and everything. I don't mind. I'm not going to tell you something I don't want you to know. No. But, but knowledge wise, you can have whatever no, I've you got. just share it. And also, there's always joy in the learning. There's yes, always something yeah. new to learn. Well, like and you, you've been doing a hundred years, and yet you've just learned. You you've thought, just learned about well, that. Well, I'd seen it geese. make them for a time, and I thought, but I know how to make a flying geese, and you get a bit stuck, don't yeah, you? Okay. And it actually, it wasn't hard. All it did, all I had to do, was actually read the blooming instructions. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> right, talk to me about this then. This is uphill down dale. Pardon? Uphill down dale, right, and my got, mum what? made this. Oh, my which mum now let's get in the right way. Oh, it's long. I think it. I think it's more of a single bed. So I think it's that way round. So it's tall and skinny. Oh, okay, okay. And the pattern was written for layer cakes, those ten-inch squares that right. Moda do. Yeah. Um, so you can use your leftover layers cake, or you can just cut ten-inch squares, obviously. Right. But they are little mountains and it's a delectable mountain block which is really really fun so this quilt size is because i used all of the pieces of the layer cakes right but if you are using your scraps or buying yardage for it you can obviously make it any size that you like oh okay I see. Uh, the technique will be exactly the same and they're not on point it's all just vertical rows so mum had fun doing that for Aww. me i know um so yes, delectable mountain blocks, really, really fun. Um, my eldest has a delectable mountain quilt. That's what he chose for his quilt. Oh, okay. Delectable mountain. And they are, they look much harder to piece than they actually are. Okay, so this is the pattern 9.99. Yes, the fabric is long gone, I'm afraid. That was flight. Was this one of yours? Yes. 
it was flight. Um, um, but the beauty of using the layer cake is that you've got the um, the contrasting fabrics and the tones, and it all works together. And they all work together. And exactly. it all works together, and there's no waste. So basically, you need two 10-inch layer cakes. Yeah, so they are 42 squares, aren't they? Yeah, 42, 42 dark and 42 need, pale. Exactly, so you need 84 10-inch squares. Right, okay. And so what do you do with them? Right, so again, this is something that looks more daunting than it actually is. Yeah, because it looks like there's lots of angles and sharpness. Oh, it just looks you're having to cut and you're doing everything. This is the block. That's what you're going to make. Right. And this is just using two colours, whereas what I did with the, what my mum did, yeah. was that she made lots and lots of these, and then we split them up, and I'm going to show you how you split them up, Brilliant. so you make a scrappy mountain. But okay. this is a two colour mountain. Okay, so that's your first thing. Pattern, same as always, always been through the graphic designer, always really clear instructions, tells you how to lay it all out. Uh -huh. But what you've really got to do is to think about how the tones of your fabric are going to contrast with each other because you really want contrast now i did cut myself some squares here you go so i just got four squares here so i've got a rich indigo color and i've got a cream right. and you think right that's really good contrast that's really high that's really easy what you'll happen find is if you open a layer cake you've only got a set ratio yes. depending on what the fabric collection is like and if you have paired up your darkest with your lightest you might then not have enough contrast going forward. oh yeah because the others as you get to the end might be because you're then thinking oh, i've only got mm, i've got all of these and they all look the same yeah so what i would do is you would go something like that and that so the gray the mid gray and that and then put that tones together and then you know that there's enough contrast of course. and do all of that before you do any do all of that before you do anything yeah. so that's that's one energy that's one block of energy you just open whatever you've got get your scraps and think well that contrasts with that and if you have trouble seeing it you can squint or take a photo just take your glasses off take your glasses off and think yeah that's yeah, fine yeah that's fine there you go that's fine so that's that's tip number one. Lovely. Think carefully, and then we are making. Yeah, because it's human nature. You automatically you would go. put the dark. And you the, do because yeah. it's the the easiest thing. Yeah. And then you're gaily sewing along. And then because you haven't split it all out. Yeah. And then you're thinking. And that also, all if you do that, same. make the quilt up. The ones that are the brightest and the darkest yeah. are going to stick out way too much they from the others. They stick out the they? best. Yeah. yeah. So there you go, that's right. tip number one. Okay. And then you are making the ever omnipresent half square triangles. Right. Have I ever made a quilt without a half square triangle? Well, can you make a quilt without them? <laughs> you can, but it's boring. Yeah, okay. Boring quilt. So you're making a pair of half square triangles. Oh, huge though. Yeah, they're nice and big. Yeah. And then what you have to do, I'm trying to get in the right camera here. What's that fabric there? Yeah. This was flight. Oh, that was from this, 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 this guy. That's gorgeous. Actually, I do have some. I, look, I should be doing better sales, shouldn't yeah. I? I've got some in my Astra fabric. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. Okay, so half square triangles. Now then, you are going to subdivide these into strips to make your mountain peaks. Right. Let me just try and get that. Mm -hmm. There you go. To get these peaks. Okay. And it's very important that you orientate these the right way because okay. you've got a pair and you need a pair of them to make the one mountain now if you put them side by side like that you are only going to make two halves of a mountain but they're not going to sew together so you have to have one like this yeah it's in the pa it's there it's all you have then. to remember and the other one you have to go like that right and then you're cutting them into three strips measurements are all in don't worry cut them into three strips and then tip number two mm -hmm. you have they look let me see I've got a bit of juggling around to do I'm trying to get everything on camera so that is one half square triangle yes uh -huh. and then this is the other one so let me do it how it was so that one would have been like that yeah and this one will be the other way around so okay you can see them okay so what you have to do is 
Are you ready? Yeah, go on. Go on. Right, we're ready. So we have to do this one needs to be here. Yeah. That one needs to be there. And that one needs to be there. Can you see? Yeah. I've got half a mountain. And that one needs to be there. That one needs to be there. And that one needs to be there. Okay? Right. So that is all well and good if you are making completely matching. Yes, if you've got the two colours. Points. And I will do some sewing if we've got time. The only point that you want to match if you care about matching is that. Right. Because there's nothing else that lines up. So oh, as long no. as your strips are the same length, don't have, that doesn't match anything, that doesn't match anything. So the piecing is much easier than you think. Uh -huh. But you want that to, to be nice. But what you do is if you want to make scrappy mountains and you'll, you do all your cutting, all your sewing, you've got it all organised, you will not remember. Because look how similar they are. Yeah. They're so similar. So what you do is you get yourself some bags. So this is left one and I put all the strips that are in the left hand block Oh. in there and then that's number two yeah. so I put that in there and then what you do is when I made Joe's quilt and I think my mum did the same when she made that one is you would then do lots of sewing lots of cutting and then you've got bags of these strips all in different and two they're different all scrappy, tones and they're all over the place they're all in different tones and then when you come to make your block you just grab one from one one from two one from three there you go, and it's all ready to go for you. How brilliant. What are you saying, Han? So that's the four. Oh, yeah, yeah, and this is good for people like, who struggle to do random. But this way yes. you literally just pick one out there. Just now, pick one out, and it will all work. And even if you think the individual mountain block doesn't work, when it's in the quilt, it will. Yes, yeah. And how do you feel? So if you were to pull that one out next to that one, would or, you put that one back in? Yeah, because that's not random, is it? No. Well, it um, is. It is random. That would be... So by the time you've done one, two, three, yeah. that's block four. And I don't think instinctively you would pull the same thing out of the sec the next bag. Out, out from three, out from four. Because that one would have come out of bag three. So then you're going for bag four. And I don't think you'd have picked the same anyway. No, but probability, if you did math oh, so level, what's the probability of you pulling one out? The probability the is the same. And if you were doing completely random, you'd have to be true to what came out. But... Yeah. But, but you'd put it back? I probably would. Yeah, OK. Yeah. So there's your half square triangles. Yeah. There's your mountains. And then you just sew them together. You just sew them together. Oh, look. look how oh, I see they look. now. Yes. So oh, no, I think one. I'd have to put back because it's so obvious, isn't it? That yeah, if you, were you would. To put... You could see. So this is in flight. And then this one is from an e... Um, I think this might be an even older fabric collection called Wordsmith. Right. Can you see it's only just enough contrast? Yeah, no, but, but, there, but there is a contrast, definitely. So that you can make matching ones. Um, now, and would you, would, sorry to jump, but would, you, would you mix, like you've got there, three different of your ranges? Oh, yeah. So if you're using scraps from home, you'd use any ranges if you're not using your 10 inch squares. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. And there you go. So you've got. Um, you can do them, this is how we've got them laid out, but you can offset them so that you, you can start making oh, different Oh, I patterns. see. I'm just going to pull that down just a tiny can bit. Can you see it down a bit? Message of Jan on our bottom. So how clever. So if you go like that, that's how we've made it. That's what Mum did with yeah. the one that she made. But you can go half and half like that. So the next block would be starting. Oh, see, yeah. See, you can really start to play with it. So um, and it's it's really really fun. I'm quite addicted to delectable mountain blocks. Absolutely. Jan says my mind was working on two and a half inch strips, diagonal joints, and lots of wasted fabric. No, Jan. No. It's very clever, isn't it? Yeah. And again, I did not invent it. It is just something that I've discovered and played around with. Yeah. So again, it's a joy to share it with you. And we all got to use up the fabric that we've got. It's yes. all lovely having all of this. Yeah. That's all fantastic. Absolutely gorgeous. We out business if people didn't buy those. But there will be fabric left over and people need ideas of what to do yeah. with the fabric that's but left also, over. But also, if you bought this, you're going to have some left over, aren't yeah, you? Absolutely. Which will go into your scrap, scrap yeah. box. So then eventually, just you'll make, make a block for this out of it. Just make. You know when you start sewing, and um, so that the, the machine doesn't chew your fabric up, you do like little stop and starters on waste yeah. fabric. I 
when I'm organised, I'm not organised at the moment at work, but when I'm organised, I have a little pile of things like half square triangles sat next to me, and I do all my stop and starting yeah. with those. Oh, okay. And you just have a stash of random bits and bobs yeah, that yeah, you've yeah. sewn together without even really noticing it. So if you make yourself half square triangles and then keep them in a little set pouch so you know what they're for, get yourself a little numbered whatevers. Yeah start slotting them in you will have a delectable mountain quilt in no time it's very Fantastic. satisfying that looks so hard doesn't it it's like what angles that and yeah oh, no no there's none of that though is no, there none, none of, of that, that at, all. at all and that is the only point you want to match okay now you are coming back in an hour but i've got another I question am. so how far in, i don't want you to give any secrets away but how far in advance do you work like you were drawing those in 2020 but was that bit held up because of covid what would it normally no, be that, that um the fabric was delayed but my design schedule's the same same right so i have got we are waiting for a collection called to the sea to be delivered now so that's designed and done done and designed done ordered and the fabric's due the to fabric arrive is due to arrive right. Then the one after, I'm going to get these all wrong. Tony will be shouting at the television. Um, I thought you brought him with you. He's here, yeah, but he's not. He's um, in the apartment. We rented an Airbnb last night. Oh, okay, get you. I know. We're getting the hang of this. Yeah. Um, so we've got two to see coming. Then the next one after that is called a Bon Voyage. Then the one after that is called Collage. And then I have handed in drawings for the one after that. So I am like three or four ahead yeah, 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 of yeah. what's of what, yeah. available for retail. Fantastic. And my next design deadline is the 1st of November. So I'm waiting for an idea so I can start sketching. Oh, so it's not even here the yet? Next one. I haven't got not even here yet. But you've got no. to give it in by the 1st of November. 1st of November, I haven't even thought of anything But that anything doesn't matter. Yet. And what's lovely is, like you say, you don't go... Other designers are going, oh, well, in, in September 2024, turquoise is going to be the colour. You haven't got to worry about that. You just design in your colour palette. Yeah. In your... Yeah. So it doesn't matter what year it's going to come out because you're going no. to be in your colour palette. It's in my colour palette. And what I have learned is that the ideas come from life. Yes. So what I need to do is I need to go around the V&A and I need to go and watch oh, a Oh, nice Stuart's at a party there this week, so don't be going there this week. It'll be a mess. We have to talk about your apron before we go as well. Oh, my pinny. So the pinny, pinny. Uh, I haven't got anything here. Have I got a pinny apron? Have I got um, a pinny We have got one knocking around. Yeah, yeah. I've probably put it on the trolley no, for no, the next worry, hour. No, no, don't I'll find it. Talk to me about your pinny. So my apron. Yeah. Um, it's crossover back. Very, very comfortable to wear. Comes in um, sizes from about an extra small to a 4XL, and which is the dress measurements for a UK 32. And it's a proper graded nest. They're all there. It's fully there lined. It's got darts, got pockets. But the joy of it is that you embellish it and personalise it. And then when you are trying to get your energy together after work and the kids have gone to bed or whatever you've had to do that day, you just think, I promised myself I would do 10 minutes sewing. You put your apron on and you immediately start sinking into the right frame of mind. Yeah. So that's what it's for. And you have one for your sewing, one for, one your, for sewing. your cooking. Yeah, one for gardening. Yeah. You could have a waterproof one for when you're doing whatever. You know, washing the dog. Washing the dog. If yeah. you've got a dog. Um, I know a lady's got nine. She's made nine. Because she's got like one for this and one for that and a Christmas one. Oh. And, blah, 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 blah. Um, and we've also got a child size version. Uh, yeah, I don't well. know where that is, but I'll show, I'll show it to you. Uh, have we got the child size one? I don't think I've got a pattern with oh, me. It's online, but we have got a child size apron here. I knew I'd seen one. So somewhere. we're all over. We've all put things into different parts of different hours. There you go, that's the little kitty one. Yeah. So it's exactly the same as mine. They're fully lined. Um, they're easy for dressmaking, you know. You yeah, can yeah, dress yeah, make. yeah. There's very easy dressmaking. What's this underneath That's it, uh, That's just a little child's dress. I needed something underneath. And um, that's my patchwork fabric. So you can make them in patchwork fabric. Oh, just, yes, exactly, yeah. yeah. Or make a patchwork one. Well, well, also, a, a child might not want the embellishments or, you know, you don't want to put no. a badge on a child or anything. Do you? No, oh. or put their swim badges on or whatever. Yeah, oh yeah, I have not even thought about it. But then they can't go swimming in it. No. Unless they're going to be an air hostess. Because they have to go <laughs> swimming in clothes, don't they? Anyway, so that's the little artisan apron. £12.99. pence. Oh, I'm exhausted. Now, you're back in an hour. What are we doing I in an indeed. hour? We're doing, oh, in the prints. In an hour, yes. We've got the prints. We've got bird prints. The book. 
we've got a plique quilts and wildflowers book which I'm going to sign. Free motion demo, so I've got to find the foot. And oh, have you not found the foot? No. Oh, okay. But I've got an hour to find a sewing machine foot. I, uh, I'm, you know I where you we're are. Okay. You're not at home now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, we're going for break. After break, I've got mannequins. Now, I've got something else after break to say. I'll tell you when I come back. I'll tell you when I come back. Brand new mannequins uh, straight after this break. bird specials. From Monday the 20th of June we're bringing you some fantastic bargains with bigger quantities and better prices. Join us every day this week from 8am so you don't miss these special deals. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting, to toy making, needle felting, and of course, applique, which is my favorite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP, even if you check out multiple times in one day. 
Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Here's me and my friends having a bit of a shindig, a bit of a party. All right, to come here often. Anyway, got new mannequins today. We've got brand new mannequins. Let me show you. We have got the junior. That's coming up later. We have got... Oh, now, you saw the man on my birthday. This is Malcolm. That's Malcolm, the mannequin. We've also got uh, my regulars, Cherry... But I've got Cherry in... Oh, my hair's gone a bit flat in that break. I've got Cherry in different sizes today. And I've got Sapphire, who is my leg model. But let me introduce you to this one. Now, this one comes in so many sizes. I've just got to blow my nose, I'm afraid. Um, look. Diana. Diana, and she comes in several sizes, does Diana. She's a super deluxe model. Uh, in fact, I don't think she's called deluxe. She's called... Um, oh, just got Diana. She's got a, a prefix to Diana, like super deluxe or something like that. Because look at the dials going on Diana. Not just your little ones that you just... Um, she works in exactly the same ways as our normal mannequins, but you've got different dials. But before we do that, I'd like to tell you the sizes that Diana comes in, so you can make your mind up as we're doing it. So here we go, so we've got Diana in extra small, uh, and that is a 30 to 37 inch bust, a 22 to 29 inch waist, a 31 to 37 hip. Now the UK dress sizes are intended as a guide only, please go by the measurements, but we're saying a UK size two to 12. 2 to 12, right? Then we've got, and there's, and there's the graphics are in. Oh, are they in? Okay, I don't know how much it is. Yeah, I don't know how much she is, that's all. 179.99, interest-free uh, interest payments, split payments of 59.99. Right, so that's the extra small. They're all the same price. They're all the same price. Then we go to the small. Uh, and the small is a UK size 8 to 14, only by guide only, right? Go by the measurements. P please go by the measurements. What are you trying to say to me, Ham? Oh, OK. I think my um, talkback's playing, because in the break I couldn't hear Charlie, and now Hannah's sounding like a chicken. Right. 
Small is 33 to 39 and a half inch bust, 25 to 32 waist, 34 to 40 hip, and as I say, UK dress size for guide only, 8 to 14, that's the small. Then we've got the medium. The medium, 39 to 45 inch bust. We've got a uh, 30 to 37 waist. We've got a 39 and a half to 46 hip. And for a guide only, we're saying a size 14 to 18 UK dress size. Please go by the measurements, because obviously you can go to one shop and a 14 is completely different to another shop. So that's your medium. Where it's in large. Now the large is a size 18 to 22 uh, guide size, size guide. That's 44 to 50 inch bust. 37 to 43 inch waist. 46 to 52 in chips and as I say a guide of sizes 18 to 22 UK sizes then we go to the extra large which is a size 22 to size 26 guide we've called extra large fuller figure uh, so this is a 48 to 54 bust 41 to 47 waist 51 to 57 hip UK sizes 22 to 26 for a price guide a uh, size guide <clears throat> so the way it works is like a normal like a normal adjuster form oh god video let's have a look at the video it's in somebody's attic this isn't it here we go so here's the Diana <clears throat> comes in the largest range of sizes of uh, five different sizes we've got all five for you 12 dial adjusters which i'll talk you about in a minute unless they tell us here we go they're at the bust the waist and the hips uh the medium eight part body now we haven't had a long part body since the other day have we there we go that's the neck can be adjusted i'll show you how to do that in a minute by a filial knob cherry red nylon fabric allows adjustments to the back length to get your perfect size and then a really really oh i was going to use the word sturdy really really sturdy um base so it's not going to wobble anywhere now you can't use these for trousers this is dresses, skirts, blouses, coats, anything. You can't do trousers on here, just so you know. So 179 dollars What I love is the fact that we've done every single size at the same price, right? Because I've watched other places where they've gone, the small and the medium, 179 the, med the large is 189 and the extra large is 200 We don't do that. We don't do that. All the same price. Now, you know on the normal ones, you, 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 you've got a little dial and you just press the dial like that. On this one, what you do is you push the white leg. So at the moment, we're on the 47 or 119. I've got the, I've got, what size have I got here? Have I got the extra large or the large? Um, did not look at the book, at the box. Anyway, look, literally you just turn this, press the white in, turn it, look, automatically opens to that size. So if you can, if you think, well, I want a bit more space on the back, press it in turn it oh hang on I can't I, it's, I've got to get to it from this angle sorry press it in and turn look there you go press it in and turn it and it opens automatically for you so you can do that what now what I suggest you do is if you want to take it to the larger size the largest size it goes don't turn the first dial up to the larger size because it'll put strain on all the others so what you do is if you were going to go to the size 50 on this one I would turn it up to the 47, turn that one up to 47, turn that one up to 47, turn that one up to 47, then 48, 48, 48. Because I just think if you try to turn that and the front bit went to 50, it might put a bit of strain on the one that's under the arm, that's all. So I'm just going to turn the underarm one. Oh, there you go. There you go. It's really easy. So what you do is the dial itself doesn't move. The, 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 the bit on the inside moves like, like that. Oh, there you go. You see, look, move it to different sizes like that. So you get 12 of those, four at the bust, four at the waist, four at the hip. If you want to change the neck size, what, what you do is you push that down and turn. Right, oh, hang on, there you go, push it up. Charlie promised me, done. there you go, look, look, look. 
That's the way you do it. You push your finial down and you twist it round and it opens and closes. You'd have to grab the lady like I did. She's now a very short lady. You also get a hem guide on her. So if you're doing a skirt on her, oh, I can stand in shock because I've got my posh shoes on today. Well, I, had my, I didn't have my show shoes on the other day, did I, you see? Right, so there's the hem marker. The hem marker has fallen right down to the floor because I just did that to it. But you can literally lift the hem marker. And what you do is you put it the height you want it from the floor. It's on up, this one's on upside down. Hang on. There we go. So you put your pin, oh, hang on. What you do is you mark it, right? And then you've got your measurement on there and you can put your pin, put your pin in there and you mark it where you want your hemline. Fantastic. Uh, you can move her up and down to any height. What height do they go to, Hannah? I forgot to look at that. They usually go to about six foot, don't they? Okay, don't worry, don't worry. And then, look at this, you can change the neck to back waist as well. So you can add extra length onto the back as well. 179.99, this is your Diana. I'll show you the size chart. I'll tell you how to how to do it. They all slightly differ, differ slightly, don't they? So they, oh, look. So uh, 180 will be uh, six 12s are 72. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm working out the feet, six 12, 72. So she's six, she's just under six foot, the extra small one. And the extra large goes to six foot three. But look at the nape to back waist as well. You can range it from 15 to 17 on the smaller sizes and from 17 to 19 on the medium, large and extra large. And if you're going to... A fuller figure. Yeah, we've called extra large fuller figure here, which is a much nicer way to put it. Um, you can drape on it. You can pin into it. You've got your polyester cover. These come directly from Adjuster Form. So they do ask for 10, up to 10 working, working days for it to be delivered, but they're usually much, much quicker than that. But uh, after COVID, they did have a bit of, uh, I'm saying after COVID, they, they're still, um, you know, kind of asking for a little, the, the, the two, full, uh, two full weeks, it were 10 working days. You do get a year's um, manufacturer's guarantee. So if you break it, it's not covered, but if something goes wrong with it, the dials break or the fabric uh, where it tears away or something like that, then they would take responsibility for that. Uh, it's a just form, 179.99, split pay, 59.99. <clears throat> and shall we just look at the size chart for this one again? Because this is the widest size range that we do do on any mannequins. Going from the extra small. Now remember, always go smaller than yourself. Don't go larger because you can make bigger, but you can't make them smaller. So there's, we've done the extra small. That's the small one there. Just comes in the one colorway, this one. Then we've got the medium. Oh, that, oh, that was extra small. This is small, sorry. Okay, then we'll do the medium. So you can see the sizes on the chart. Go for the one that's smaller than you. And also, the re look at the range. And now, the other thing is, is if one, if one fits and the other doesn't. So, like, what you need to do is if it's the right bust size, but then the waist is much bigger than you are, go for the size down and pad the bust. Do you know what I mean? You don't want to have one that's got the right bust size, but then the waist is too big for you because there's nothing you can do about it then. And then large. I'll move her out while I get the next one in. I'll go for the junior next, if that's all right. And then the extra large, which we've called, oh sorry, that's still the large there. And then the extra large, which we've called fuller figure. Now that's the dress sizes, the UK dress sizes on there, they're for guidance only. Go by the measurements, not by what they've said there. 179 pounds and 99 pence. Now, do you do a lot of children's alterations? Also, also um, children grow, 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 you know, they grow so quickly don't they you're going to be constantly on the make making um making more children's clothes this is ideal because you can make the mannequin bigger as your child gets bigger i know now this one's 139.99 again you get that you get the um pin cushion at the top 
Then you get, I mean, the, I'll show you the size chart. It only comes in one size, this. Just comes in the one size. But obviously, you've got the 12 dials to change the, sh the size of it again. You've also got the hem markup. You've also got the very sturdy. Yeah, yeah, have it at your height when you're working on it. Because you don't want to be doing this all the time, do you? Like pinning like that. So you can have it your height, right? But the body shape could be the sh shape of the child that you're making for. It's called Junior because it's obviously for boys or girls. Got the size chart here. There's only one size. Here it is. Oh, there you go. Children, grow quickly. The junior is based on a child's torso and can change with your child. 12 adjustable thumb wheels on a child's eight-part body. Sapphire blue nylon fabric with a foam backing. You can pin fabrics and patterns to the torso. Comes complete with a sleek and easy-to-use metal tripod for quick assembly and storage. Try telling Becky that. The pole and stand is calibrated and includes a pin grip hen marker. So the sizes. The chest goes from a 24 to 32. The waist goes from a 20 to 30. The hips go from a 26 to 34. The nape to back waist is 11 to 13. Now, it says it goes to 60 to 5 foot 3. But you don't, apart from unless you're making a bridesmaid's dress, or a long dress for the child. You wouldn't, because obviously, what, as Hannah was pointing out earlier, you, the child is down there. You want it at your height so you can work on it, don't you, really? But again, look, you've got the co Oh, these are very substantial cogs on this one. And it'll change with your child as your child grows. We've got a little video of this one as well. There's no... Uh, let's have a look at this one, then. The junior is based on a child's torso. Change with your child. One size. 12 thumb wheel adjusters for easy adjustment for the chest, waist and hips. Wide flexibility, because you can do all sorts in this, can't you? Adjustments to the back length to get you to the perfect side. Oh, there you go, look! That's how it works. Oh, I've not seen that before. Pink cushion at the top, because you very rarely will have to change the neck size. Vibrant sapphire blue nylon fabric. The, and there's your um, tripod stand. Beautiful. So, this is your chart, your junior one. 139.99, split pay of 69.99. Now, these are introductory prices because a just form have told us the prices will be going up in July. We have no idea how much they're going up. Could be five pounds, could be 10 pounds, could be 20 pounds, I don't know, I don't know. But the prices on all these that I'm showing you, the new ones I'm showing you, the prices are going up in July. Now, I don't know if our regulars are going up as well. I have no idea. I would presume so. If these are, and these are an introductory offer, I'm presuming they're all going to go up. So, it's 139.99. Yeah, we'll do mail now. We'll do Malcolm the mannequin next. Here's Malcolm. Now, Malcolm, again, is only one size. Here we go. 159.99. Three split pay, three split pay of 53.33. Do we have the size chart, please? Oh, here we go. There we go. Oh. Uh, so this form is based on a male torso and allows the creation of trousers. Features 12 adjustable thumb wheel adjusters on a male body. The body is covered in a charcoal grey nylon fabric with foam backing. Uh, so you can pin patterns and fabrics to it. Comes complete with a sleek and easy to use metal tripod for quick assembly and storage. The pole and stand is calibrated. I wonder if what they mean by that. So, uh, one size, 37 to 45 chest. Waist, 33 to 41. Hips, 39 to 47. Nape to back waist, 16 to 18. And it goes to 77 inches tall. Now, th this man... It'd be no good using this one for Charlie, because Charlie's got pecs, apparently. This man hasn't. But you could pad them up. You could pad him up. Oh, I can't change it, because Charlie's in the room. No? It's like he's just running back to change the button now. Again, you get your 12 dials. You get your 12 dials to change the, the chest, the waist, and the hip there. And the same again at the side, down there. 
and the same at the side and I'm down the centre back. So if you need to add, so for me, I'd need to add it here, wouldn't I? So I'd make my chest to 42. I won't tell you the size of my waist, but I'd need to add a bit of padding on the front there. And then, or what you could do is, because if you've got a wider back, you could literally, is, he didn't move then. Oh no, he's not. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Charlie makes them his own height. So this is what we do with Charlie. This is what we do with Charlie in the morning when we have a meeting. We have to lift him up to the table height because he can't be there. Uh, no, no, no. We have to do this because you've got a wide back, Charlie. So we're making your back wider. And then if we're adding pecs to him, we turn him round this way. And we turn... I was going to say we turn him on like that. We don't turn him on like that. Oh, hang on. And then obviously we get padding out for his waist. You can't change the legs. No, no, you can't. Oh, I do apologise. Can you see? Can you see you can change the leg on that one? I should not. So you can do trousers. Of course you're going to want to do trousers. Of course you can. It's because I was so busy holding up there. Because it's got this cut. We don't do this to Charlie in the morning. Got the cut out there so you can pull trousers on. And then it moves across to the side. So you can put the, you can put the leg through the trousers, the trouser leg, while you're doing the trousers. Oh, God, video. None of us doing that to Charlie in the morning, obviously. We never used to do it to Elliot because he was too heavy to lift up, you see. And he was wide enough as it was. So it comes in one size, allows for the creation of trousers, 12 thumb wheel adjusters for easy adjustment for the chest, waist, and hips. Wide flexibility in your creations. It includes an offset column that enables the creation of trousers. Look, 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 I love that bit. I love that bit where you can slide that bit down. Oh, I didn't do the neck. Uh, sturdy, easy to use metal tripod. It's funny they're all in the same room, isn't it? And then the way you can change the neck size is just by, see with Charlie, you have to, because he's got quite a thick neck, Charlie. You have to can make it, make it to Charlie's like that, after the meeting. Anyway, and then you just wind him, wind him back in like that if you need to. 159.99, split pay 53.33. You wouldn't do so much draping on a man stand, but you could, when, once you've got the... Well, what else would it be? What we called it. Male, male. Uh, anyway, uh, you wouldn't want, basically you want to... Um, Drape on it, but it's very good for putting your finished garments on and everything like that. £159.99. Now, we've got the classics here today as well. We didn't have these last week on my birthday. Would you like to do sapphire or cherry first? We'll do sapphire first. Now, sapphire is always the most popular. This is the one you're used to seeing all the time. Now, what I'm saying to you is, <clears throat> all the new ones that we've got, we have been told that they are introductory prices and the prices will go up in July. If the prices of those go up in July, I'm presuming that the price of these will also go up in July because it's all from the same company, isn't it? So again, now this one here, this one has a little dial. And where's Becky gone? Oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, it's got a little dial on the top there to make the neck bigger or smaller. You have got the 12 dials again to make it bigger and smaller around the body. But this one also has the trouser thing. So this is has a cutout at the crotch. Has a cutout at the crotch there. I've got no camera person, so I'm having to do it all myself. And as you can see, that one already has to stand to the side. So when you put the trousers on, the pole goes through the leg of the trousers. So now, would you like to know the sizes of... Uh, sapphire. Here we go. Now these <laughs> come in. Uh, now we don't have. Do we have all four of those, Hannah? Yeah, yeah. We don't. So we've got small, medium, and large. We've called them A, B, and C for some reason. So the small one A is thirty-three uh, bust. To 41, 26 to 33 and a half inch waist, 
36 to 44 a hip, 14 and a half to 16 and a half uh, naked back waist. Now, for a guide only, sizes 8 to 16. That's your small, right? Are they in now then? Oh, they're coming in now. There they are. So we've called it a super deluxe, so deluxe leg form in sapphire blue. That's small. Medium. Oh, look, split pay, split pay, split pay. Now, obviously we'll have split pay uh, when the prices go up as well, but it's worth taking advantage of now, isn't it? Anyway, uh, the medium, which we'll bring in now, which we've obviously called B, 39 to 47 inch bust. 32 to 40 inch waist, 41 to 49 hip, and then 15 to 17 naked back waist. A guide, for a guide only, sizes 14 to 20. That's your, that's your B, which we've called B, they've called medium. Then we've got the large, which we've called C, size C, I'm presuming. That goes from a 45 to 53 bust. A 38 to 46 inch waist, a 47 to 54 hip, oh, and then you've got your naked back waist 16 to 18, and then for a guy, size guide only 18 to 24. This is our most popular selling, highest selling brand, one of the whole brand that we've got. Oh, hang on, so there's the neck. There's the dial on the top. I'm not going to push it down because the whole stand will go down, but press it up. Oh, no, there you go. Come on. Oh. I, I don't want to push too hard because we haven't... There you go. We haven't set her up totally to be fixed to here because she has to be packed away after each show. So there's your neck. Then, as you say, you've got your dials down the front, down the sides, and round the back. Most, most of them only have one at the front. They don't have them all over. We've got the cut-out crotch there. No, cut out crotch there. Uh, and as you can see, I don't see it there, you can move the leg to side. We've actually got a, have we got a picture on the, of the... Um... Okay, don't worry, don't worry. You can move the leg across. So inside there's two sockets that you can put the stand in. You can have it down the centre if you want, or to the side. And when you put it to the side, you can pull trousers on, and then, then the leg goes through the trouser leg. Got a video for you. There you go. So Deluxe, the classic with a twist. Available. Now they've got it available in four sizes. We only have the three sizes. I wonder what we called, anyway. 12 thumb wheel adjusters. And I can't all of them. Here's a close up. There you go, that one's got the long eight part body, that one. There, oh, there you go. There's the underneath where you can put it into a different offset. It. There's the extra long back. <laughs> and there's your um, adjusted. Oh, it's got, oh, and it's got a magnetic pin cushion, that one. That's it. No, it's just a pin in pin cushion, that one. That's the pin in pin cushion. Most popular of all the ranges that we do is your blue one, your blue sapphire one. Okay, and now last but not least, I'm oh, crikey, it's only half past. Last but not least, cherry. Now, this isn't the cherry I was talking to in the office yesterday. It wasn't me sitting talking to a mannequin. That, I said to, I said to um, Charlie, come meet cherry, and he was like, this is cherry. No. Anyway, should we look at the size charts before I tell you about these? Here it is. So this now go now now. I think for the first time only we've got this in four sizes. That's what I was told upstairs. So I do have them in all four sizes. We've never had it in four sizes before. So have we called them the same? Yeah, extra small is a twenty-eight to thirty-four bust. Twen oh oh Mr. Oh 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 oh.
They're 159 pounds. Anyway, that's a gen that this isn't me doing shopping telly baloney or anything like that. Or th this and the blue one are 159.99, split pair 53, 33 over three. This one's 144, split pair over two. Back to the size chart. So this is gonna be interesting when we go to the next one, isn't it? Uh, 28 to 34 bust, 23 to 31 waist, 30 to 38 hip, sizes four to 12 UK dress size for guidance only. Right, now let's see what happens when we put the small in. I know. Hey, right, if you want the extra small, that will be changed after today because they're meant to be 159.99, right? So I have no idea why the extra small is less money. But anyway, if you want the extra small, buy it today because it will go up to 159.99 tomorrow. Definitely. Right, the small is 33 to 41. Uh, bust 24 to 32 uh, waist, 34 to 42 hip, and 15 17 back length. Sizes 6 to 14 for UK dress size guidance only. Medium, now these will all be the same price now. Medium will be 159.99 as well. There we go. So, 39 to 47 bust, 29 to 37 waist, 40 to 48 hip, and then uh, sizes 14 to 20 for size guide only. That's your medium. We've always had these. These are our general stock. We've had these for ages and ages and ages now. Very, very popular. So that's the medium. And then the large. Oh, hang on. We've called it full figure again on this one. Yeah, so 45 to 53 bust, 38 to 46 waist, 47 to 55 hip, and it comes dress size 18 to 24 for a guide only. Right. So this again is like all the others. You can change the neck size. You've got 12 dials to make it a different size. Now, in the little film, you see the body, this bit here sliding up and down. You have to go inside to do that. I can't do it from the outside here. I'll do the video in a minute. Uh, now, this one goes, comes on the tripod stand, and it does come with the hem marker. It just went in the move from the other studio to here. We've lost the hem marker. There's no hem marker to show. There's no hem marker, and it comes on the tripod stand there. And you cannot do trousers on this one. Not being negative, just telling you. It's, that it's the, traditional, the traditional shape of a mannequin, you see. Doesn't have the cut out there and you can't move the leg to the side. Okay, let's have a look at the little film. Here's the little movie. Dresses for any, any skill level there. Just taking a sip of my ginger water. Oh, oh, did I miss the slidey bit? Oh, see, that's a long body part as well. Gorgeous, there's the neck. Handy pin cushion. Vibrant cherry red fabric. Now, if you've got any questions, I've got my iPad here, but if you've got any questions you want to ask me or anything you want to say about the mannequins that you've already bought, please message in. Because I'm, I can come back. I can come back to these. So I've done all the ones I've got today. But I need to talk to you about the sewing machine. Um, also, this one here, if you get this in the extra small today, you get it at the super low price. Just put the extra small in. None of them, only the extra small is that price. Bring the size chart in, so Charlie, so you can see. There you go. So if you want the extra small, 28, 28 to 34 bust, uh, 23 to 31 waist. 30 to 38 hip, or uh, um, dress size for guidance only, sizes 4 to 12, then get that today because it will go up to 159.99 tomorrow because that's a genuine mistake. You can only have that one on two split payments, I'm afraid, not the three. Okay. 
Okay, right. Now, any questions on the on the um, adjust forms? Just let me know. Remember. The prices will be going up in July. That's not us, that's not us doing it, that's what we've been told by Adjust Form. Please remember, it's a 10, they come directly from Adjust Forms, 10 working day delivery, uh, and uh, a one year warranty from Adjust Form as well. But that's a manufacturer's warranty, okay? Now, the reason I'm over here, have you got the envelope and the letter and the, um, sorry, the, um, oh yeah, and you've got the little envelope as well. Uh, this machine yesterday, when we went home yesterday, can you not get to it, don't we? This machine yesterday, right? When we went home, there were five in baskets and five left, right? When I came in this morning, I said, Tan, I've got any machines left. She went, no. She went, wait a minute, wait a minute. Because she was in the gallery on Hobby Maker the other day, watching what goes on. And they had this on the Hobby Maker show the other day. So what she's done is, because she's got the passcode, she's gone into the Hobby Maker stock, and I don't know how many she's got, but she's taken some from Hobby Maker for, of, for us to have today. Now, the price is £399. That is how much this sewing machine costs. £399. Look at the split pay. Now, you only have to go to the Facebook fan page to see how many people love this machine, how many people have got it, how many people are saying how brilliant it is, how many people who've got their brother machine had it for 40 years with no problems, anything like that. So it's £399, split pay of 133 Right, let me take you. This machine has 250 stitches. If you look here now they come there's there's a hundred of them and then 250 250 stitches now some of these are the reverse of these at 399 pounds now what you do is I'm gonna have to um, wait because she's gonna need to just to come if you can put it on the front of the camera then you can move yeah right so on the front of the machine what you've got here is you've got your go faster, go slower. You've got your little... Now, this here is what stitch numbers you're on. So, and they're really easy to change, look. So you just choose which stitch you want off there. In which, so that, that's, you can drive, uh, go up and down in your tens, come up and down in your ones and twos. Then this here is your stitch width and your stitch length. These here are your modes. So you can go through your different modes there. Not only does it have 250 inbuilt stitches, it also has. Oh, now, Stuart had had his brother for months and months and months. Didn't realise there was an alphabet in the top there. The alphabet's up there, all in uppercase, but looking three different. You've got your capital, you've got your scrolly joined up writing, and you've got your uh, outline. But also, if you look in there. You've also got numbers and symbols and all sorts in there for a machine that costs £399. I know, it's brilliant, isn't it? Oh, message from Phil Phyllis. Uh, super machine, best money you'll ever spend. Love it. Use my noise non-stop since it arrived. Phyllis in Gretna. Oh, Gretna Green. There was somebody on Vanessa Feltz, um, on the Vanessa Feltz show yesterday. Run, to Gretna, run off to Gretna Green to get married. Anyway, uh, right, now, let me also show you that it comes with an extension table it comes with a hard case now Stuart taught me something oh taught me something yesterday he said whatever you do don't take that polystyrene out there that's part of it that's not part of the packaging I didn't know that I would have taken it straight up but no oh that pan okay Hannah's got a backpack the same if you take the foamy thing out the back the whole, the whole bag collapses right so this comes off obviously for you to put your table on your feed you can lower your feed dogs here uh now in here this is so clever look at this look at this this is where all your uh, feet are so you've got your buttonhole foot in there you've got have you got the list of uh, the feet that you get because you not only get these but you also get a whole envelope worth of other feet as well with it, it comes a standard
that comes out there. You can put, your, Stuart put sweets in the bottom of his there. You put other gubbins, like your needles and things in there. So you get your quick unpick. You get your, now these um, are nicely fixed into here. Stitch in the ditch foot. Whoops. You've got, sorry, <coughs> Becky's just getting me the envelope. There you go, the stitch in the ditch foot there. Uh, you get your quick unpick. You get your applique foot, your open toe applique foot. You get your sewing on of button. Now these, now when you come to get these out, these are well and true, they're not going to fall out. I think that one's just got a bit wet. Oh, there it is. The button, sewing a button on foot. You've then got your whoop, zipper foot. Now, the zipper foot, you see the zipper foot here, you can move the foot, you can attach it there, or you can attach it there. So you can do both sides of your zip without actually moving your needle. Then you've got this one here, which is your over edge foot. That's your over edge foot there. They've all got little letters on because when you put the stitches in here, it tells you which, which foot to put on. I'll just put those to one side because you also get this little envelope here. And this has got extra goodies in it. So you've got your needles, you get different needles. You get, oh, sorry, there you go, needles. You get a hole punch there. You get your rolled hem foot. You get your pin tuck foot. You get your movable, you should just loosen off the screw at the back. And you've got a movable uh, but, um, zipper foot. You've got your bias binding attaching foot. You've got your Teflon foot. He said, I don't think they call it a Teflon foot because the Teflon foot is um, branding, but it's for when you have slippy fabrics. And, oh, this one's your gathering foot. No, is it? No, uh, is it gathering? Gathering, and you can also put your fabric inside there and it can gather your fabric on to another piece of fabric if you want it to. You also get your added uh, thread spool you do get thread caps as well. You get three different sizes of those. And you get a screwdriver. All of that for £399. It's fantastic. And everybody who's sewn on it, I've yet to have a go on this. I've not been sent one to have a go on yet. But everybody who's had a go on it says it's just the most brilliant machine for that price. And it's got what, sorry? Yeah, and, bro oh, brother, what did Stuart say their catchphrase was yesterday? Not their catchphrase. By your side. By your side. And they are both the machine to be by your side, but also the customer service team are impeccable, apparently. Just impressive. And you've got the name brother behind it, haven't you? How many years have brother been going? Do you know what I mean? That if, if, a, if a company aren't any good, they're not going to keep going, are they? £399, split pay £133. Uh, you get the alphabet, the three alphabets, uh, 250 stitches. Uh, what, is it a two or a three year warranty on this? Three year, three year warranty on this one. Hannah's remembering these things, I'm saying them. Three. Um, anyway, 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 at £399, it's a fantastic price for all of that. And it's not frightening, it's easy to thread up, easy to do your bobbin, everything like that is very, it's not too heavy either. Apparently, you see, now, Stuart said yesterday it was not 10 kilos, right? But I think it feels lighter than that. Maybe I've just got more muscles than he has. He did keep going on about how old I was yesterday, didn't he? Anyway, 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 um, what else can I tell you? Oh, I know, a bobbin that pops in at the top and you just thread your thread round there and it cuts off so you don't need to do the old-fashioned pulling the thread through or anything like that. No, no, bobbin at the bottom here. Beautiful. Okay. Oh. Okay, the only price comparison we can show you. We can find it second-hand, but not, well, obviously there's no point in showing you that. How much is it then? What? Uh, go to their website? Are you sure? Same machine, same sewing machine. I can't see a price on there. Can you put it on the big screen, Charlie, please? <gasps> same sewing machine on their own website. I don't know if we're supposed to be showing you that.
Just so you know. No, no, I had not to change that because you know. So just show it again, £799. Inclu well, ours includes VAT as well. Ours is £399. Same machine. And three, I don't know what they're posted packaging, 395 posted packaging. If you've already bought something today, it's included in your posted packaging. Now, the other machine I've got to talk about, I haven't got it out at the moment, I haven't got it out here, is the embroidery machine. Now, on the day they launched it, Tracy and Stuart launched this a couple of weeks ago. Actually, let's work it out. It was the day after, uh, after Dulcie's party. So it was Sunday, was that the 1st of June or was it the 31st of May? No, because Dulcie's party, uh, what, but the, it, was the, it was the sun, uh, the Monday, the Monday, sorry, the Monday. Oh, did Dulcie have her party before her birthday then? I could have sworn it was on her birthday, her party. Anyway, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. So, Monday, the 30th of May, go and have a look on YouTube because Tracy and um, uh, Stuart launched this, this uh, machine, completely sold out. We've now got them back in stock. Um, now, I need to tell you, this has Disney, right, has Disney um, designs on it. I've got to stress to you, you can use those Disney for yourself or for gifting. You cannot sell them, right? You must not sell them. But you can't find them, can't get them anywhere else. Stuart was saying yesterday, they're not available anywhere else at all to buy even from Disney or anything so there was something that they're in the machine already but apart from those was it 25 or 45 20 Stuart said 45 yesterday but I want to check 45 Disney stitches right Disney designs however there's loads and loads and loads of other designs there are frames there's all sorts of things going on right it's a four inch hoop and you're not limited because you've got a USB, so you can download other ones. What you've got to do is when you download them, is you've got to make sure they're compatible with the uh, Brother machine. Oh yeah, Brother release monthly, but you can go elsewhere, if you go elsewhere to find them, right, you've got to, you've got to make sure that they're compatible with this machine. Or you can design your own. You don't. Oh, that wasn't mentioned yesterday. You get four bobbins filled with bobbin fill. Four pre-wound bobbins with it as well. So you get the hoop. The hoop has a little chart on it so you can see um, where you're going and everything. It has all the different designs on it. £599 split, pay 199.66. I know. Now, I normally do machines at 12 o'clock, don't I? So I'm thinking it was 12 I'm thinking it was 12 o'clock. Thought I was going home in a minute. I'm not. Right, let me remind you about this quilt behind me. Have you got the kit there? Didn't you ask, don't you want the kit for this? Yeah, right. I'll do this first then, because I haven't got the kit. I've got the early bed first. Only because the kit, oh, okay. No, no, sorry. Right, very quickly, early bird. Oh, sorry, yeah. Oh, blimey, I'm way off the mark. <laughs> There you go, very durable as well. 9.99, no, uh, no it wasn't 9.99. It's a sewer's extra finger, this. One is a spatula, one is a pointy. Brilliant for if you're uh, pressing and you need to get close to the iron. Or, oh, you're coming in, right then. Or a spiky one to hold it like a stiletto. At seven pounds, nine, 10 pounds. Now we did find it for sale elsewhere. One like it, not a direct comparison. But it wasn't seven ninety nine, that's for sure. The grip on it is substantial. Look. Yeah, not going to fall out your hands, is it? It's unusual. We sold hundreds of these at eight o'clock this morning. Not a direct comparison. Here it is. Oh, that's right, fourteen seventy four was it, or something like that. Yeah, fourteen seventy four. Not a direct comparison. Just showing you at one like it elsewhere. The same principle, not the same make. Seven ninety nine. I know. Now, very quickly before we go to Janet's hour, uh, the quilt behind me because that'll be coming off the wall now. Um, we had a kit for it. 
It's beautiful, this fabric. Gorgeous. Your, it comes directly from Janet. Comes in this bag, so you get that tote bag. 174.99 is on split pay. You get all this fabric. I mean, there's so much. You get the pattern, obviously. Four, once you've all checked out, there's only four left. There's only four left once you've checked out. And it's not yours, uh, Charlie, till you check it out. 174.99. 174.99. So you get all this fabric, and this fabric, and this fabric, and this fabric. All designed by Janet. And this fabric now it's limited because what they do when Janet does a collection they work out how many people want to buy it and they round it up and that's all they print off so once it's all gone once all the different suppliers have sold it it's gone gone completely so that's why it's limited and look at it let me just step out of the picture how beautiful is that and it's really easy it's the same block each block has 25 pieces it's the same block just sewn in different colour and different um, combinations of the blue and the cream and then sewn on point. Don't, you don't have this one as a starter, Charlie. So don't do this one as your first one. Oh, this one, no, because this one belongs to Pippa. Anyway, we're going to break now. When we come back after break, Janet's here. She's got a book, she's got signed prints, she's got quilt patterns and she's got, oh, um, Free motion embroidery demonstration. We'll see you in about five minutes from now. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Join us for an amazing week of early bird specials. From Monday the 20th of June, we're bringing you some fantastic bargains with bigger quantities and better prices. Join us every day this week from 8am so you don't miss these special deals. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. 
For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. you check out in one day you will only pay one postage and packaging so don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out you will only pay one pmp even if you check out multiple times in one day miss the live show don't worry we recorded it for you never miss out on your favorite presenters guests and makes ever again Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Janet's back, Janet's back, did you have a lovely break? I did, I had a nice chat in the green room. There's always so many interesting people around. Oh, the, uh, the hobby maker people yeah. in. Oh yeah, lovely, yeah. fantastic. Did anyone make you a cup of tea or anything? No. Oh. I didn't want one though. Oh, that's all right then. So. Just as well, <laughs> isn't it? Problem. Coming on parched an hour later. <laughs> right, got gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous things to show you. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run through everything that we've got for sale in this hour, then we'll get on with the demos. So, the first thing is the Wild Flowers book. Now, I love this book, I think it's beautiful. It's like a little diary book for $15.99. Uh, what we'll do is actually, I said I was gonna show you everything that was for sale first, but I'm gonna get Janet to flick Flex through the pages. Through. So I've got an overhead camera here. It'd be nicer to see it from the overhead camera next door, wouldn't it? So for $15.99, so what was this book all about then? It was originally a uh, block of the month, so I released it, a, a wildflower a month from my email club. And okay. then we've, we've made it into a book and I, 
did my original drawings. It's really a lot of my work and all my ideas are just from enjoying and noticing what we've got around us. Um, and I've always got a dog, so we're always walking the same, you know, the same routes. And the wildflowers really don't know, they just make a difference, don't oh, yeah, they? They just bring you the time them, on, yeah, and you exactly. really notice. So that's what it's all about. So um, that's my Betty, my lovely Betty. So you've got a template for a traditional wild English wildflower for every single month. And obviously I've brought my originals here, but they've been so nicely printed. Uh -huh. So you've got primroses and bluebells. So lots and lots of little tips and ideas. So this is like the little story part of right. the book. And then you go to how you actually make it because, of course, you need to know exactly all your dimensions, uh -huh. how to do the applique, lots and lots of photographs, lots of tips, lots of tricks. So there you go. Brilliant. So where are oh, the templates? Lovely. Are they the ones? Are they are they at the back or are they? There you oh, go. there you go. All there. And then that's my handwriting, which you can then trace and embroider if you want. I'm going to show you how to do that later Brilliant. as well. Um, but you can, if you've got beautiful writing, use your own. It'd be yeah. much nicer. So there you go, that is the wildflowers. This is one of my fabric designs on the back cover. What's and that papers. one then? That was in a range called a field guide. Uh-huh. Back in the day. So you do do florals then? Sometimes, but this sort of wild floral, wild not florals. like a bouquet type, yeah, 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 your yeah. blousy ones. Can yeah. you not draw those then? No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> probably can't, I've never tried. Um, I have got a floral collection in, up my sleeve like three or four down the line but again it's not it's like not, a traditional yeah. floral so well, there we you wouldn't go. expect them to be traditional no from you, would we? no 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 so there you go look you can see how nicely they've uh, that's oh, the original wow. and look, that's the you've done all the work for them i did this is such a nice part of my job you see i get to genuinely sit and play and doodle and and paint and get and your paint, paint box out yeah so when, when they print the book, do, do you and the, the, the design, do you have a designer design the book? Like the a, an graphic editor? designer lays it out, so that's yeah. Hayley, and then we work with a printer, they're very local to us, and we actually go down and talk oh, to self, them, pick it's up It's all self-done? Yeah, we, yeah, we self-publish all yeah. of our books, yeah. Um, so we, we always say that we don't work with people that we don't like because, you know, you work really hard running a small yeah, business. Yeah. So going to see the printers is a nice thing you know, you want to enjoy doing that as well. And also they have to understand your ethos. It's no oh, yeah. good going to a printer who normally does, I don't know, butcher shops or football or something no. like that. I'm not saying that they wouldn't understand floor, but if your printer understands what you want, it's yeah. so much easier, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. When you say, I want it like zushi, they'll know what you mean by zushi. Yeah, me? and we choose the paper and we talk a lot. We go to see the first proofs coming off the printers and we take the original artwork with us and um, I mean, when we did the bird prints that we'll come on to, I mean, we were there for hours and hours getting the colour balance right, because of course you alter the yellow and that knocks the cyan so, yeah, off exactly, and all of yeah. that sort of thing. So yeah, our printers are fantastic. Aww. So there and you go. So that is fifteen nine nine, and it will be signed, remember? Yes. They are all signed. They haven't been signed yet, though, have they? No, they have not been signed yet. So I'm going to sign them as and when we know how many we need. Well, quite a lot from today. <laughs> uh, fifteen ninety nine. that's a gorgeous book. Uh, yeah, gift, a lovely gifting book as well. Um, but not just for, it doesn't go on your reference shelf. It goes on your coffee table. It's out. There's one of the ones you want to flick through. I think it's a feel-good book, isn't it, really? Uh, fifteen ninety nine. Right, I'll come back to that because I need to show you all the other things I've got in this hour. So where would you like to go next then? The bird quilt. Here we go. So this is a pattern early. Big brown British birds. Big brown British birds. That's an unusual title. Oh, well, you're getting to know me now, aren't you? Yeah. The big brown <laughs> British birds. So one of my best friends is Dutch. I met her when we were at art school and um, her English was good, but she didn't have space in her brain to learn all of the English names for birds. Oh, okay. So everything was oh, a big on, brown Charlie. British bird or a small brown British bird. Uh, and that's, it's become a bit of a running joke for us now. Right. So they are the big brown birds. And lots of our birds are brown, actually. Are they? Well, the ladies are normally brown, aren't yeah. they? Like a blackbird yeah, lady saw, Yeah, brown, we saw a female oh, blackbird the other day. Saw a female blackbird the other day and I wondered what it was. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and they've got, I've just realised now, so it's not just blackbird. It's no. blackbirds like to sing. I know. Starlings roost together. So, 
I do like doing a bit of research and learning a bit while I'm designing and I like things to have a story and a meaning uh -huh. and um, so I was thinking well I don't really know a lot about all of these things and then I just wrote a little phrase for each oh. bird which you can leave off it's entirely up to you um, and again it's a small quilt but it's a small quilt because I was finished with the idea right it's not doesn't need to be this small and there's no reason why you couldn't have multiple blackbirds and or all pigeons in one row or whatever you yeah. like you can lay that out however you like and nice fusible applique a bit of hand embroidery very simple sashing but what you could also do is if you only wanted to make that many birds you can make a block a simple block yes. you know like a, a star mm -hmm. or anything like yeah, that you couldn't could, you to go yeah, in, an like a sampler that would be lovely and then the birds are dotted with yeah. if you want to make it into a bed size or something yeah, like that absolutely you could use all those orphan blocks that you've got knocking around that you've exactly. practiced on or whatever yes yeah, so a nice little nice little project lots of different techniques to get into brilliant so that was 9.99 for the pattern we haven't got a kit it's just a pattern you, you'd use your own fabrics there you go big brown British birds Bex just coming now. There we go. At 9.99. We're going to be doing demo from that later. But that's the pattern for big brown birds. And again, all the templates are full size. Oh, the templates and everything in there. Yep, yep. For every single bird. Yeah, open, open it, it up. Yeah, open, open it up. up. Open it up. Yes, all the templates are in there. They're all full size. All the words are there. Can I also just say that you use really good, high quality paper, we don't do. you? We do. It's not... So I had an uh, hour meeting about the paper. Oh, did you? Yes. But it, it means you're going to use it over and over and over again, doesn't it? Apart, yeah. from, apart from the fact it feels no, we, nice. Honestly, if it's got my name on it, we've been quite fussy about yeah. it. Yeah. So there you go. Um, it tells you how you get started lots and lots of photographs all the way through lots of little details because i do lots of free motion on it i mean 2008 i made my quilt oh blimey. so you can see they age well don't they uh -huh. and these are the, the phrases you can write your own that would be really nice if you wrote your own phrases yeah about them. and there you are Aww. full size so it's not a jigsaw puzzle so you can see the jay's body continues and you put the wing on top yeah, yeah and the more you split it up the more energy you've got into the bird and you can give them a little bit of character if you're making multiples just changing the angle of the wing will make it look oh, like yeah, a different yeah, yeah, bird yeah so there you go gorgeous and they're the big brown birds they're your big brown birds well they're not all brown they are brownish brownish they're definitely brownish. But if you want to do it brown, you can do it at the point of the colour you want. No, you can do whatever you like. Gorgeous. Right, so that's your big brown bridge bed, 9 99 That right. goes there. Next, Hannah. The counting sheep pattern. There you go. 9 99 Beautiful. Get sheep. Do you want Charlie's to get? got a silly it's a pattern again only. You're going to get that out as well. You're I gonna will. Open it up. I'm going to open it. I'll give you that one to open. Oh, no, I'll, I'll tell you what, you oh, open that. I can do that because I'm fiddling. Yeah, yeah I can open that. Yeah, and I'll hold this up so you can see it. Okay. We'll get there. There you go. Teamwork, that's what it is. Teamwork makes the dream So work. now I saw you put a post on uh, one of the social medias this week when you were saying, I'm just getting ready for my Sunday Street show. And there were shelves and shelves and <laughs> shelves of quilts. of quilts there i know a big avalanche of quilts just waiting to come down okay so what do you get in that pattern counting then? sheet now the, i had a brainwave once upon a time i was trying to make i don't think we've seen it here i can't remember what you've had i was trying to make a quilt with horses on and i right. wanted the horses in different positions and i was trying horses are quite hard to draw are they well they are for me uh -huh. um and i was trying to draw like six horses in different positions and i realized it was almost impossible and then as i was making dinner this is what you see, your ideas come when you're having a life yeah, doing yeah, yeah, things yeah, yeah. don't they they don't come when you're sat at your desk i thought i don't need to draw the horses i just need the templates to move so lots That's not of a my horse. no, this is my sheep. I have got a horse pan. The um, so this is the lamb, and oh, what it means is word. that you make your little poseable. I've got lots more. You make your little poseable sheep, and there's different heads. And look, this is a head on. This is a head on body. 
So he's at looking. Bottom, he's actually it? looking at you. Look, oh, and then so you the can put on. you can put that head on, or there's another head, and then there's lots of little. See, look, you can uh, see. Uh, and what it means that I get bored quite easily. Right, really. And when you, yeah, really, it's a shock, isn't it? Yeah. So what happens is when you are doing something where you want multiple sheep on, and you've just got to trace and copy 20 of the identical ones. I find that quite dull. But the thought that you can just reposition their little legs and have them running and yeah. everything is really, really good fun. So there you go. That's how you make your sheep. And the idea was the counting sheep was, it's that old thing about counting yourself to sleep. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it being a little toddler quilt or something and they're actually going to sleep under counting sheep Aww. and they'll learn their numbers maybe but it's a nice little project to do it's just the nice size the, the my quilt is 42 by 50 inches which is just for a little one it's a it's really nice enough, yeah. little size so all those templates in the pack they're all in there yep they're all in there let me get it down yep so they that's what you can get and also uh -huh. you change the combinations change their color oh yeah 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 um and you can see so look all the numbers they're all reversed for the applique and what you do is you just put little split pins through them there you go and Aww. they're only printed on one side so you're not cutting into your instructions oh yeah but i wouldn't want to cut the pattern i just, fo I'd just photocopy, photocopy it. it yeah you can photocopy it onto card and yeah. then you've got them but yeah you can reposition them and um it's just fun. Yeah, it's, it's lovely, just isn't it? Nine pound ninety nine for that pattern. Uh, Jenny Jackson's message in. She oh, says, Jenny. "Hello, John and the lovely Janet. Can't wait to see you at Festival of Quilts. You going to Festival of Quilts? I am. You got a stand? I keep waiting to be here on the day Jenny's in. Oh, uh, we won't. She's very, we won't meet, will we? She's in. She's in once a month. She only does about the seventh, eighth, or ninth of each month. So you have to well, there liaise. You go. We'll have to liaise." Uh, Dawn says, "My mind is blown. What an amazing way to draw moving animals. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, if you." Oh, I don't, oh, oh, that's uh, right. Okay, so Lowe's talking about the embroidery machine. Yeah, you can get lots and lots of um, things offline, different embroidery things offline. Right, so you, you got a stand at Festival of Quilts? Yes, and I'm going to visit you in your. In our you, lounge? Yes. Oh, well, are you? Of course, I'm going to sneak off. Good, come on the Saturday or the Sunday, because I'm there on the Saturday. All right, the then we'll do. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, it is, we're having a lounge at Festival of Quilts. We can, it's, you have to pay for it, just come and meet people. So, like, I'm there on the Saturday and Sunday. Stuart's going to be popping over from his stand. Jenny Jackson's going to be popping over from the Dukey stand. You're going to be popping over from And they will nail down times, presumably, so people know yes, when we're going to be, to be there. And yeah. it'll all be organised. It'll be fun. It'll well, be really fun. Well, it might fun. be organised, but I, I'm definitely there on the Saturday <laughs> and Sunday. And then I'm doing a talk in the theatre on the Sunday at one o'clock, which you do have to buy a ticket for. But anyway, that's by the by. Right, so now, is it time for pictures time? pictures really now we've never done anything like this before no so, neither have we these to, are our first so these tell me first. what these are then let me do i'll do the bird one first well i like to make the little art textile pieces um but they're not really that easy to make a pattern for because they're so sort of esoteric and i use vintage bits and bobs yeah. and all the rest of it but people really really like them and um so what we thought we would try is making a beautiful art quality. I mean, when I say art quality, they are on beautiful textured paper. Very, very expensive, beautiful paper. It's from Italy. Uh -huh. And we saw them printed. So we have got these lovely art prints, really detailed, of some of my textile pieces. And you could buy them individually or you can buy the set. And There's the set. But if they're on such expensive paper, £30 for three is gorgeous. Yeah, they're really, they are really beautiful paper. You are saving, you are saving when you buy, how much are they normally then? £12.50 each, but you get three for 30, so £7.50 you're saving there. Let me just move and that They look lovely when they're all framed up. Yeah, I'll show, I'll show um, you them now. So they're the three, so you've got that one. What's that one there then? That's a robin. And he's actually got a military badge on because he's our national bird. And they're oh, very territorial, yeah. Yep. I know they're very told I've got one that comes to my garden every single day now, a little boy one. And he sits, I've got, um. Uh, a fire, you know, thing yep. you put your logs in, I think, and he just sits there. And I've got, I've adopted uh, my friend Cherry's cat, and the robin will sit on a ch the back of a chair, the cat sits on the table, and they have like, they don't talk to each other, but it's like they're communicating Amazing. to each other. The cat doesn't go for the robin or anything, it's just 
Wow. I, I, just, I, I first of all saw the robin and thought, what's it doing? And then I looked, they're loose and they're big. They're big, big cats like this. And I was like, oh no, oh, no. I'm now going to witness robin. something I don't yeah. And they didn't at all. They, and they don't bother each other at all. They just well, communicate. There you go. Anyway, that, so that's that one. That says hope is the thing with feathers. Yeah. This is about Jenny Wren and Beatrix Potter. Uh huh. The better I like brown. She did all the laundry. Ah. Uh, Mr. Um, Tiggy Winkle. Yeah. Jenny and then. Wren. And then this is one of my original artworks for some fabric that I had at Botanicals. I think you had that. Yeah, Did yeah, you yeah, have yeah, yeah. So there you go. That's that's that. So that's so one of my original. That's the set well. of three. If you that's like, the right, set I'm going to do them three. individually now. Um, they don't come framed, but I'm going to show you what they could look. They, right. I need to also say, don't panic about how they're going to come to you during the post, because I've read on the paperwork they come in. Uh, they're all going to be a board back envelopes. They're all fine. So they're going to be fine. Even, you know what I mean? Don't so worry don't about be thinking, it. oh, are they going to get bashed as they push through the letterbox? They won't. They'll be in hard backed envelopes. Yes. Because they come straight. They don't come from our warehouse. They come no, from Germany. No, they literally. They're on my shelf, and they're going to go straight. Through. And they're all signed as well. They're all signed. They right. Which one do you want to go to first hand? Oh, the, all the birds. There There's one with all the birds on. So this is just, this was a pine, cheapy pine frame, picture frame that I bought in the supermarket or something. I just painted it grey uh -huh. with a tester pot. But you don't get the frame, you, you get the picture, the but it's £12.50. And also if you wanted them to be square, you could do that and then put the sign the, the, um, the little motif at the back, on the back of the print. You oh, yeah, I see what you mean, yeah. So rather than put it all in like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, you could make it the frame them so they're smaller. So £12.50. Do you want to go into that one or the one in, oh no, there you're right then. We're in close live, but there you go. £12.50. All the different birds, that's beautiful, isn't it? Hannah's just noticed a worm on it. Oh yeah, a little worm. Oh yeah, worm. there's a little worm on there. Couple, couple of little ones. Yeah, and an egg. egg and the little flight pattern. And oh, that's that. That's their flight pattern. Yeah, gorgeous. <laughs> right, £12.50, that's all the birds together there. Which one next? Okay, so let's go to the Jenny Wren next then. The little wren. I do like wrens. So, so now, in real life, this is an actual. That's that's about real life size as well. Uh huh. Um, that one might be tiny, tiny bit bigger, but yeah, that you can see all my hand stitching that's on there, all the fabrics that I chose. So it's a picture of a thing that you yes. hand stitched. Yes. It's gorgeous, yeah. isn't it? I, I think you've got to get the set of three, really, haven't you? They do look. look lovely. They do look lovely, and then they're actually numbered, so the, you you know you've got a set. And we d we designed a little icon at the bottom, so you know you've got birds one, birds two, and birds three. So right. you could always drop a hint and say, well, you know, I'm collecting a set. Oh yeah. Only got Will one there be two. more then? Um, I don't know about birds, but we are. If these are popular, then we will develop more. Okay. Beautiful. Twelve pound fifty. You don't get the frame, obviously. You get the picture, right here. And then last but not least, we've got the robin. The robin. Which says, "Hope is the thing with feathers." which is oh. hand quilted and then they've got that as a proper army badge i don't know any more about i've got it my than dad's that. raf badges like that they're on his um uniform yeah, and they're things really like that really precious aren't they yeah so, That's so, so the, the cute. idea of the piecing in the background it's like union jack yes. sort of that sort of flag sort of thing and lots of free motion on it brilliant so lovely isn't it what's that plant there that is probably supposed to be some sort of imaginary dandelion. Oh, okay. Like wishes, something like about, you know, when you blow the dandelion yeah, 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 to yeah. wishes. Oh. That's probably what I was thinking. It doesn't look like I was actually looking at a plant when I drew it. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, £12.50, that is. Gorgeous. Right, and the only other thing I've got to remind you. Oh, the bundle again. Okay, bundle again. There you go, there's all three there. So you're saving £7.50, buying it in the bundle. Gorgeous. Oh, Becky's going to sneeze, everyone. The camera may go all over the place. <laughs> She's desperately holding it in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, live TV. Yeah. And Priceless. then the Priceless. pattern, I've just got to remind you about this pattern, <laughs> the artisan apron pattern. Artisan apron pattern. Um, 
proper gradedness goes up to UK dress size 32. 34. Um, 34, there you go. Oh, 32 comfy, 34 snug. Yes. But it's easy to adapt. What you want to do is just make the shoulder straps longer. You can make the, you can really customise it. It's very, very simple for dressmaking and then you'll have the best time customising it and embellishing it. But, uh, and you don't have to customise it all in one go, do you? Just, as the years no, go just, by. No, just, just let it grow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just let it grow. Yeah. Twelve ninety nine. the pattern for that. Gorgeous. Right, so what are you going to show us then? I was going to talk to you about some free motion and using the fusible applique. Oh, lovely. And I have some wild flowers that I was going, and a little note to myself to remind me what I was doing. Okay. Uh, so all the templates are full size. That's fine. There you go. And what you want to do, am I in my right spot? Yes, what you, you want are. to do is think about it as I said it's not a jigsaw puzzle so you can see that's the bond web and I've just traced the leaves the stems anything you want in a different fabric you have to trace separately right and I just extended the stalks a little bit so they go under the flowers and then you're going to put the flowers on top and then that's the flower in the fabric right so very very sharp nice scissors there's always a hair on everything isn't it I leave the studio and I think that's really clean and I get here and I think oh, uh, whose is it though probably the dogs uh, probably the dogs okay so you do your fusible web and then try and put like you could go straight like that but try and put a bit of energy in it and then I've got the flowers poppy there and I will cut out another one so you're just the fusible is like a double-sided sticky tape for fabric uh-huh so you're going to do notice you move the thing not the scissors right move the thing not the scissors and then when you've cut it all out you've got to remove this paper uh-huh we didn't get the iron set up Never mind. We'll just use our imagination. Okay. Um, and then you've got to remove this paper. So what you want to do is, if you peel it from the outside, then it will start fraying. So you just want to fold it over your finger and score it with your scissors and then peel the paper away like that. And then the glue is left on there. You've got a very fine coating of glue. Uh -huh. And then you will layer up. You put things wherever you want them to be so they're exactly how you like them. And then you press, 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 press. And then with the hot iron. And then from there, you can do whatever you like. Perfect. So I'm going to show you some free motion uh -huh. in a minute. I haven't got a poppy ironed on, but I will show you a doodle. I will doodle. Um, that is a daisy that is more finished. Right. And we will talk about doing the, the embroidery right. soon. So there you go, you can see I did all of the leaf underneath with the daisy. So I put that down first and did the stitching on that right. first. And then I put the daisy stalks on and stitched that. And then I did the daisies. Oh, okay. Because it's much easier than trying to, you know, just avoid bits of the leaf. You actually just do it up in layers. Right. Okay. And then I, what I wanted to do with the Irish chain is to show you... You probably already know this, but these are little one inch finished squares. Oh, cute. Um, they are lovely. Mine are quite wonky. I don't, I genuinely don't care. But if you were to cut one inch squares, one and a half inch squares, and then sew them together, you'd be there forever. It's got so and, you and make, the machine would chew them up. Oh, and everything, yes. Yeah. So you make stripes. Right. And it's all in the book how many stripes you need to make. And then you will subdivide those into nice pieces. So again, oh it's not as difficult as it might first yeah. appear you can definitely definitely do it brilliant okay shall i do a bit of free motion yeah please so uh, oh i see so to get the change you just make one two three four five of those and put four blocks of, i'm just looking at the quilt behind you here yes so you just yes. make that block and then that creates that line that, and chain. that line. Yeah, yeah, that's the Irish chain, yeah. Brilliant. And then these are just plain squares, which you gain. You could do any colour you wanted. Yeah. You don't have to um, do whatever. Right, now then, hopefully I've set this up right. We will find out. So the free motion is my favourite little technique to do. Right. Um, and as we were saying, if you want to learn something, 
just go for it yes. if you want to stay and just have a nice calm evening sewing then you could hand embroider them you could do a satin stitch you could do zigzag anything you like just make sure that you're enjoying it but if exactly. you do want to do the free motion it's really really good fun right so all you need to do is get a little darning foot and drop your feed dog so that all the machine can do is lift the needle in the same place uh-huh and then you put your presser foot down and then just guide with your fingertips. You're just going to guide the, the fabric round and keep it moving all the time. And then you can write and draw anything you like. Okay. So literally just no pressure on your fingers, just let it guide. If you keep to the bond, I've got wadding here because I'm just on a scrap piece of fabric. Uh -huh. But if you've got the what the bond web under your flowers, then your machine will be perfectly happy stitching on that. Right. If you've just got one layer of fabric, the, it it's a quilting stitch and it wants to be more stable than that. So that's why I've put a bit of wadding on just okay. for when I'm playing here. But if you um, you want to draw when you've done the applique you can literally just draw round and add as much detail to all the flowers as you like. And I love it because it's really quick and very spontaneous uh -huh. and everything's got a lot of life in it. If you haven't got wadding, would you put some iron on interfacing? You could like do that, that yeah. yeah. You could do some stitch and tear. You all available on the website. Tiny, tiny little movements with your fingers to alter the... What are you doing? I'm right. doing a little flower now. Oh. I mean, I've had lots of practice, but it is only practice. It's not that this is difficult yeah, or yeah, that yeah. the machine needs to be fancy to do it. It is just practice and a bit of confidence. So I've got a sheet that I can free motion round, but I didn't get my poppy organised. Do you want me to put the iron on? Um, we can. I'll put it on if we get time to. We, we get time. It. So there you go. Yeah. There. Should Perfect. I take it off the machine? Yeah, yeah, let's take it off and have a look at it. Have a look. There you go. And what I was going to do is I thought... Did you just write your name? Yeah, I just wrote my name and drew a little flower. Um, so you can see how quick it is. Yeah. So what I thought you could do if you just did the uh, um, individual poppy... Yeah. Just got to get in the right place. You could write, remember that me when this you see, which is quite quite sweet. You can really personalise it. No, it's not. It just came to me when I was oh. prepping. Well, I'll see. Um, but the thing is that the book isn't just for the quilt. You know, there's you can make cushions with it or do whatever you like with the templates. Right now, then, let's find a poppy. We've got super posh iron. We've excited We've got about super this, posh aren't we? It hasn't switched on. Oh, did this table get unplugged? Ah, there you go. Never mind. No, no, I'll put it on the Very other side. Very excited about our new iron. Yeah. It's going on the show tomorrow. The iron's on the show tomorrow. Not used it before. Right, so I'm just peeling off some backing. But we'll need, don't we need things for the next? Oh, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Are we organised? We are. You're organised, it's, it's on. It heats up, I filmed a promo video for this yesterday. Heats up really, really quickly this iron. Does it turn itself off if you forget After about it? After half an hour it does. Yep, yeah, that's but good. But because, because it lifts, it, when it's ready, it lifts itself up off the table like so this. So it won't scorch anyway. So it won't scorch anyway, it switches off after half an hour. But you can't see me anyway, so that's fine. Okay, right, let's get ironing, shall I? Okay. Right, how exciting is this? I iron left-handed. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Right, so, the fusible is now exposed. So if I go into iron, I might move things. So you literally just do a press. Oh, it's a bit of a responsibility, isn't it? Using this brand new. <gasps> Wait for it to pop up. There you go. There you go. Oh, it's fun. And it's very feels very light, actually. Yes, yeah. And when you first get out of the box, you think, oh, it's oh, a very God, heavy iron. Oh, God, what am I going to do with this? Yeah. But actually... That's very satisfying. Yeah. Well, that's a genuine reaction because I've seen these advertised, but I've never used one. Right. Well, a little wish list item there. Uh -huh. Tomorrow, it's on the show tomorrow. And then you don't have to show it like I that. You don't even have to do you that. Like you that. just leave it down. Yeah, but anyway, I'm moving this away now. You've finished, you finished ironing. I've now. finished ironing. Right. I can't play 
any no, longer. No. I've got work to do. Yes, get on with it. We've got work to do. Right, so flowers. Let's get sewing. Now, you could change that so you're doing red thread and I have got a pale bobbin in and I'm going quick. But you can see how easy it will all build up and you can make something really, really pretty very quickly. Oh, there you go. And you can just go down the stems back up so just you're really just doodling with the sewing machine and actually the more confident you are with things the better the result will be it will look freer rather than it being quite stilted if you've been worried about it and you're making all of these blocks individually so if you're not happy you can always make another one it's not uh -huh. like it's in the quilt and yeah. then you think oh I'm going to ruin it you're making this all Individually, right? I won't do it all. I'll get to writing. Uh, love, you're relaxed and can't approach the sewing, Janet. It makes it therapeutic project. It, it makes it the therapeutic project Thank should you. be. I love the only so iron from Susie. That's our Susie, Susie Duncan. That. That Another is message. very nice. I tell you, I think that's going to be popular tomorrow. Love this iron. Only problem is remembering that my other iron doesn't do the auto lift. Yes, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> because you can tell when a designer comes in or an expert comes in, they're sewing and they're like, why is the foot lifting on my sewing machine? Because they're used to it at home. Yeah, so you forget your iron. Yeah, exactly. Remember me. So yeah, the books are a starting point really, aren't they? Uh -huh. And I think you can really just think, well, I've got a little present to make for somebody or a card to make for somebody. Yeah. What templates have I got? That I might be able to use and adapt. Yeah. When this, I'm going to spell something wrong in a minute. When this, but you can see how quick it is. And it is all about practice, isn't it? You mustn't be it's frightened. Just practice and just have a go. Because it goes against everything that oh, you're taught as a sewer. Absolutely, it really does. It's like the iron popping up, you're yeah. just not expecting it. There you go. So you can stitch all the way round, all the way round that. You could, I've only done a tiny, tiny little bit, but you can yeah, see yeah, yeah. how quickly. And then you could you trim all that away and fold it all under. And you can make a really pretty little card or a little um, something to put in a frame. Yeah, yeah, you don't have people. to make the quilt, do you? No, you don't have to make a quilt or make the quilt and then use it again. That's no. what we want. We like things that are really good value and will last and last and give exactly. you lots of inspiration and also also things. spur your imagination yeah um, so when you made the quilt you didn't do did you make all the blocks then quilt it once it was all made or did you yes do? so you make all of the blocks so they would have been embroidered and free motioned and then they would have just been on pieced, the fabric yeah just on the fabric yeah. because that bond web acts like a stabilizer and yeah. you're fine and then it would have all been pieced together so Irish chain blocks alternately uh -huh. and again you can make that any size you like of course it's but gorgeous, it's quite nice it? that it's small because there's a lot of work in there and yes. there's something yeah. about a small size makes it quite um, up close it's more of a decorative thing than it is yes. a rolling round on the sofa yes. in, isn't it yes exactly that and then this is all being professionally long armed but it's the quilt is small enough for you to be able to do that oh yeah 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 as well it's not so daunting have you got a local long armor that you use i've got my one? elf she's not that local to me actually she's in billingshurst so it's an hour or so's drive but yeah she's really really good yeah she's so it's because really again good. it's something you want to trust isn't it because Absolutely. you've made the quilt and then if you want you've um, sent it off to have it uh, quilted if you don't yeah. trust that person or they don't understand your ethos it's like Tula Pink isn't it she only uses the same yes. lady every single time because they they connect with they each just other. know I yeah. don't even give the elf any sort of the instructions elf. I call her the elf she, she I think she must sit up all night to get stuff done for me because I've she's had a quilt back to me in 24 hours oh. before and do we not, does she not have a name name then? She's called Carolyn Clark. Okay. But I never call her that. I no. call her Elf. No, but people, if they're looking you know, from the phone book. I know, Carolyn Clark, Sussex Elf Quilting. Do you know what she calls me? 
Uh, don't Meryl. you think? Meryl. Meryl Streep, because I'm on the telly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Meryl, she goes, all right, Meryl. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Right, what's this? Right, so, templates. How do you get the writing on the, the fabric? Piece, yeah. So again, a bit of stitch and tear, and I've literally just traced the template from the book. Put it on top of your fabric, got some embroidery thread, and now I'm just going to do it. It's fallen apart in my bag. Yeah. But you can just do little split stitches. And you can do this with your children's handwriting. That's how I've got lots of my writing and their drawings uh -huh. on my apron. Oh. I've traced them onto some stitch and tear, and then you can literally just put it anywhere just do lots of little stitches so that's how you get the handwriting on there and as I say if you like hand sewing then just do as much of it as you want to you well, don't yeah, have you to do, do knots and all sorts of things on yeah, it yeah you? you don't have to do free motion and there's so many beautiful embroidery stitches that you could use to add to the flowers you could bead the centers you could do lots mm -hmm. so there you go that is how you do it so all calm all calm or quick that's what I like yeah calm and meditative or quick and then it goes to the elf gorgeous <laughs> does she bind it for you as well or do you have to bind it when it comes back uh she normally puts the machine sewn side on for me and then i do the hand binding because oh, okay. i like that i like that bit well you'll be thinking up your next project while yeah, you're stitching sitting it. up the sitting there and doing although if i'm on a deadline and you can sew yeah you quite often get handed a bit of <laughs> binding to do Morning, John and Janet. Silly question. There's no such thing There's as a no, silly question. No. But do you not lower your foot on the sewing machine when sewing like this? Yeah, I did. And it's sitting very high. And I don't know whether I've got it set up right or whether it's just the foot I chose. But yes, you do. That is lowered. Yeah. And it's designed... Um, that that machine wouldn't have let you sew because no, it beeps it was, at you. Yeah, so yeah. it is it's right. So it is sitting quite high, but that's because it's for quilting. But um, yes, you absolutely have to put the foot down or you get this big bobbiny mess. But yeah. it's designed to have, it's got springs, it's designed to have that bounce. Yeah. So it's, so good it's question. not a silly question at all. Good question. Yeah. Right, I'm just split stitching now. What do you want me to prepare next? What have you got? Um, we can. Did you say you wanted to do a cow? We can or do a bird? some sheep. We or can do some sheep. There was something you said before we started. Don't let me go without doing this. Well, I, I was going to show you how to um, do the embroidery, but I've done it on the daisy. Okay. I'm just finishing my D now. Oh, right, talk then. amongst yourselves. Yeah, talk amongst yourselves <laughs> while she finishes this one. <laughs> I will get my sheet ready. Okay. And we can do some more free motion. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you want to show? The other quilt pants, okay. Right, I've only got one of them here, the big brown birds. Let's get some sheep ready. Can you give me the other quilt pattern back, please? Because you've stolen it. Have I? Yes. What have I stolen? Well, it's sheep. yours. You haven't stolen it. Taking it back. Sheep. Thank you, sheep. There you go. Right, so this one here is your big brown birds. Pattern only. All the templates are in there. At nine ninety-nine. Gorgeous. And then we've also got the sheep. I will do a whole roundup at the end, don't worry. And then we've got the sheep one. Counting sheep. Oh hang on, it's wrong graphics land. There you go. Beautiful. And again, all of your all of your templates and everything are all in there for your movable sheep and your numbers. Numbers are back to front because obviously when you put them on the bonder web, they come out the right way around. Right. Oh, look. See, a little sheep. Little sheep. And they look so different in different fabrics. I mean, this looks quite bold, but actually it's still kind of got enough texture. Is, it, is that one of yours? No, it's not actually. Oh, no, she had to look twice. It's floral, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's not mine. That's not mine. And then a little number. But wouldn't that be nice for a little first birthday card or something? Yeah. Be nice on a bib. Yes. Baby grow. Yeah. Little jumper. Yeah. Little sweatshirt. Back of denim jacket. Yeah. There you go. 
So I will show you. So basically it's the same. You get the templates. You've got the little sheep who moves around. Yeah. You get him organized how you want him. Trace round him onto your bond web. And then you are ready to do your sewing. Whatever sewing you like and are going to enjoy the most. Right. So I'll go back to my sewing machine. It's not a bad day job when you get to sew, is it? No, exactly. I can't complain. You just sew, colouring in. Yeah, sew, colouring. And drawing colouring, on graph paper. Draw on bits of graph paper, do coffee. Nice. Yeah. Do you get biscuits as well? Phone the elf. Sometimes. We try to restrict biscuits. So oh, do you? Yeah. We try to just have them like on Fridays and things. We're quite boring like that. We've got an office fruit bowl. That's what we're like. Oh, no. Mind you, it's often empty. But yes, yes. we've got an, uh, the fruit bowl's more likely to be full than the biscuit tin. Okay. So you have biscuits because you'd eat them all, not because they go yes. on the quilts? No, just because we'd eat them all. But only on a Friday? Well, yeah. We're not big... Um, biscuit munchers. Oh, okay. Maybe that's something that we need to improve on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does look quite high, that one, doesn't it? It does, and I've got a couple of loose stitches, so I've not spent enough time getting this set up properly. Oh, okay. You talk um, to me, Hannah. It's definitely user error. Right, I'm just going to try and put a bit of texture in my sheep. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn him around a bit so I can see him. Oh, yeah, who's that? Who's that? Oh, here, the message, message, message. Oh, lovely. Caroline says, lovely show. Great to see you both. Apologies if I missed it, but what is your angel policy, please? Um, so uh, you can make any... Thing for gifts and for charity quilts, but please don't profit from my designs. Perfect. Good, good way of putting it. Yes. Meryl, good question. I've moved. Meryl. No, no, it's from her. Oh, Meryl, yeah, she's I've not moved. I know, but I haven't been yet, darling, so I still think of you in your little shed in Billingshurst. Looking forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks from the elf. I'm going to see her for her elf, and it'll be near her birthday. We usually Carolyn. Go, usually go and have... Fish Do you mind chips? if I nick that? I love that nickname. I'm going to call her Meryl from now as yeah, well. Yeah, Meryl. If you don't mind. Just call me Meryl. Yeah. So you're not very good at answering messages on Facebook, are you? No. I sent her a message last time we were on. So the first time she was on, I sent her a message going, oh, I had such a lovely time working with you today. Nothing. Nothing. Crickets. Nothing. Crickets. You thought, oh, little madam. And I thought, oh, she obviously <laughs> hated me then. And then she just said to she said, I don't work with people I don't like. And they're like, oh. <laughs> But she didn't. She did reply eventually. Going. Oh, yeah, I've when just, I saw it, I've just found this. Sorry. I literally, as soon as I saw it, I replied. Yeah. I just. It was yeah. just a long time. Between... It was just a long time. I'm sorry. That's I right. do that quite a lot. I, I have know to that say. Now. I said, it's like Hannah. I can send Hannah a message, and four days later, she can reply something. to it. I don't take offence. I know. Question from Heidi. Will Janet be bringing the Wordsmith fabric range back or a similar one, Heidi from Yorkshire? They won't let me bring Wordsmith back. That was really, really popular and I'm glad you liked it, but they won't let me bring that back. That's long gone because this is Wordsmith fabric. So Eagle Eyes, <laughs> she's seen it. That's can you, not, can you not do one that's a bit similar? I might be able to get something similar. It depends. Right. It all depends. They really like me to do my geometric and my blues and something a bit more away from the florals. Oh, That's what see. they really like me to do. Right. Because lots of people do florals. Yeah. But the Wordsmith was really popular. Right. And but you think as business people, they'd go, oh, that was really popular. Maybe we should. Yeah, but it's kind of like one and done and they want to no, move No, no, no. I, under oh, I also yeah. understand that completely yeah. as well. But, but yeah. it's just kind of like, in this day and age, you think, oh, you know, they could, not you, but they yeah. could make they more could money, make could they? Yeah. Anyway, yeah, carry yeah, on yeah. with the sheep. I'm carrying on with my sheep. There we go. So it really is quick, even when you're on the television. Yeah, it's Meryl. It's nice and quick, Meryl. There we go, Meryl. It's funny because my friend Jenny looks after Meryl sheep. She's a costume person I used to work with. <gasps> and every time Meryl does a film over here, she looks after her. 
Is she nice? Yeah, absolutely adorable. She seems like she'd yeah. be nice. It's funny you think, you meet, I, I, when I was working in the film industry, there was one actress I was so, I'm not going to mention names, one I was so desperate to meet and she was vile. <gasps> she was so vile and it was really So disappointed that you're crushed. I was crushed, I was. It's not fair, is it? No. Okay, right, so let's do some tracing of a word, shall okay. we? And then I need to tell you that, you know, in the last, in, in Janet's last hour, we had some of her fabrics and it was all in a kit and people were asking about making the patchwork jacket. Hannah's managed to get what we can by the half metre and the book with the pattern in it to, to show you how to do it. But I'll do that in a minute. I won't take away from <gasps> your time. Exciting. I just want you to know I've got that as well. There's a little bit of the fabric left, isn't there? Yeah. There's not much. Not much. Oh, gosh, no, it's not all of them. Not everything, not everything. Claire. Well, no. the new one should be here. It should be here soon. Do you know what day you're in next then? Or no. does that depend on when the fabric comes? Um, oh, you don't? You, you haven't got your diary? No, the date will be... It will have been organised, right. but no, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It will be when I when it crops up. You need to bring husband in with you one week and then... He we knows everything, Well, that's yeah. what I mean. He can be there for he knows feeding the answers. I have suggested that he comes and does TV with me because he does so much of the, the product development and liaises with everybody and, yeah. you know, he runs the whole business. I'm just the art department. Well, he could, we could sit him on a chair he in the corner there. He could come in. There. Oh, he'll be delighted. he will be watching at the Airbnb going, oh. Well, do you've had to leave by now? It's 10 to 12. Don't you have to check out by 12? No, we asked for an extra hour and she let us stay for, let him stay for an extra hour. Oh. If you don't ask, you don't get. No, he just exactly. very politely said, look, we don't really need to be kicked. Because an hour's not long enough to do anything. No. And he'll have been working. Yeah. So, um, there you go. So he's yeah. there for Next an hour. Next time we'll have him here, though. Yes, let's, he can sit on a little stool there and answer all yeah, the yeah, technical yeah, yeah. questions. Yeah, perfect. Oh, you'd be delighted. <laughs> it's sarcastic, some reason. Yeah. <laughs> He's a bit... Well, live TV's quite daunting, isn't it? No. It is. Were you nervous? Uh, not as much as I used to be. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm going to... Very strangely, I'm going, I've copied pigeons, so that's what we're going to embroider yeah, on. Yeah, that's the strangest pigeon I've ever well, seen. Well, uh, maybe I'll draw a pigeon on it. Maybe. Maybe. We won't worry. We don't worry about anything, no. John. You, you've... You know this now. You've stood next to me for three, two hours now. You know this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, don't worry about anything. <laughs> it's only sewing. It's only sewing. Right then, while I get organised, you want to tell me about this jacket? All right. Oh, listen, tell us what to do. I'm producing from the floor. Right, OK. Well, I want to see it. My mum wants to make a patchwork jacket. So, on a, a, in this book, right, this is the latest sewing bee book. Um, it's got patterns from this year and last year and a couple of weeks ago they did a patchwork jacket and everyone went crazy about it and people put their pictures all over the Facebook page the fan page right so the book is 26 99 with the patterns and all the instructions hmm or oh, what's the size range it's on the front is it no it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. So anyway, the book there, is each one the same or are they all different? Here you go. 8 to 22. That's not too bad. Is, is this the book though? Hang on. No, that's just standard ready to wear measurements, that one. Oh no, each one has a different one. Each one has a different one. So hang on, let me get the, um, let me go back to where I was. Here you go, patchwork jacket. Right, this one goes from an 8 to 22, bust 40. Uh, up to a bust, this is finished garment size, not body size, 40 to 54, that's your bust finish, that's your um, garment finish size. So there, that's in there, each, each one has a different size chart with it. Yeah, I did, yeah, a, a, a very limited amount of these, 26.99, because you all wanted it for that, oh, for that pattern. There it is. Also, a lot of conversation about how you finish the inside because they just left them raw edged on the oh, show, didn't yeah. they? Oh, yeah. And they could have made them... They, you could tell they weren't quilters. Yes. But, but it's a no, nice no, no, project. Yeah, nice project. Nice project. And there's other projects in there, not just the quilted jacket. Lots, lots of projects in there. There's 28 projects, I think. 28 projects in there. So that's less than a pound a project, if you think of it that way, isn't it? Okay, that's that. And then all your patterns come in the separate envelope. Now, the fabric... We've got left of Janet's. 
So I've got three blues and I've got four creams. There you go. You mean the, the, the star signs, yeah. Constellation. Here you go. Now this way you can buy it by the half metre. They're all very limited though. Beautiful. £7.49. 100% cotton, 44 inches wide. Fewer than 10 metres in the whole company and we won't be getting any more. You won't get any more. Won't get any more. Can't, not won't, can't. We know the designer, she's very difficult like that. <laughs> She's on to her next one. Oh, I'm on to Well, no, yeah. she's on to one five ahead of Five this. ahead is my next job. Uh, next. Okay, I'll do the um, I think that's an orbit. I think that's uh, like a yeah, yeah. planet going around. You think? I think. I bet I you were looking, were you looking at your engagement ring at the time? I haven't got one, darling. Oh, um, has he never bought you one? No. Did he ever ask you? No, but I told him not to. Oh, did you? Yeah. What did you spend the money on instead? I uh, bought a house. Oh. <laughs> Blimey, that would have been some diamonds. <laughs> not the whole house. <laughs> it's a comet. That one's a comet. Okay, then. There you go. Got the original drawings over there. <laughs> Charlie, forget the overhead. Am I in the right place? Poor there old Charlie, there you go. Not poor old Charlie, anything. Why well, I keep moving everything around, forgetting to stand he in the right place. He likes it like that. No, He's you're loving very good. it, is he? Uh, then I've got this one. Now, what are these meant to be? They are... Mm, watering cans, coffee cups. Satellites, I think. I think space. Satellites. Satellites, like a coffee percolator. I was upside yeah, down. Just a little, nice little doodle. And I drew that on the 12th of May 2020. Oh, just after we'd gone into lockdown, was and that? And you see, that's, that's, that's the new fabric, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And then, shooting stars. Oh, uh, yes. Charlie's had too many hay fever pills. He's wittering about Pajula Clark now. <laughs> I drew them straight and asked them to print them on the diagonal. Oh, dear. oh look. There you go. And why was that? Um, I think it had more energy. They seemed to be shooting. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. And then you could have them with that effect without doing bias. John Darling, did you say the same B book comes with patterns? Yes, Susie. Yes, Susie, they come in here. Look, 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 look. That's the book. Oh, crack, we've got no, no time at all. There's the patterns, there's the book. Right, very quickly then, let me do the Navy. Satellite Navy. Or coffee percolator Navy, whichever yeah. you want. Could be whatever you want it to yeah. be. And I got the orange colour by putting bleach on the inked paper and it turned orange. By accident. That's where the orange came from. I was playing, experimenting, yeah. Do you often experiment, play with bleach? Yes. Or like also the, the background's blotchy as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, so everything's got, got a texture yeah. to it. Yeah, I had a story about a Levi shorts and bleach. We won't go there, though. She wanted white shorts, so she put the bleach, the shorts in a bucket, went out, came back, thought I was all <gasps> with that later. Put the, got them out of the bucket, fine. Put them in the washing machine, washed it around to get rid of the bleach, came out, all it was was a waistband and the crotch seam. <laughs> How do I know that? I don't. Here you go. Shooting stars. nice in the blue beautiful 749 for half a meter I'll just move the label out there you go then last but not least Eclipse don't you be taking these home these aren't yours I know you better move them away from yeah. me eight meters this one left that's all that's it then can't get it again cannot get it again well done if you get these and we did have the quilt kit earlier, which had those fabrics in them. But now, how many have gone now then? We'll put the graphics in, we'll find out. Right, that's ours, that's yours. Here's the quilt. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? It's, it's not long that way. There it is, there it is, there it is. 174.99. Too many people got it in their baskets. Ah, oh, Too sorry. many have got it, so you need to check out. You do. 174.99, because you won't get it again. So, do you ever use the same quilt pattern with future ranges? Very rarely. Right. I tend to design something new. Um, sometimes we have, but mostly no, I like to have something new. Brilliant. Now, do you need me to make uh, up, because we've only got two minutes left. Do you the three prints, the three are of prints. One, two, three prints there. 
Sorry, have you been sitting there stitching I'm away? Down, I'm quite happy closer. sewing. I'm quite right happy then. sewing. So there's, there's three, three prints, prints saving from my original art uh, textile pieces Thanks. on Italian, very, very posh paper. And it comes in a hard-backed envelope, so it won't crease or anything when it comes to you. It's being sent by Janet, not by us. Yeah, we'll send them tomorrow. Are they already signed? Oh, yes, they are. Beautiful. And then the book, the Wildflowers book, also very popular. Oh, no, you need to take those because they're yours, aren't they? Wildflowers book. Fifteen ninety-nine. It's a beautiful, a gift. I'd buy this for somebody as a gift because it's such a beautiful book. Fifteen ninety-nine. Charlie's going to get one of those, he says. Right, Janet, thank you so much. It's been lovely it's morning. It's been so nice to see you. It's been lovely. But make sure I'm on when you come on next time. Yes, then. please. That's and if you message me, I, I will be no, I'm never, I'm never ever. my messaging. No, no. Is that the only way to get a hold of you then, by there? No, you can Instagram or... Oh, yes, I saw your Instagram. That's how I'm going to message you on yes, Instagram. Inst see how quickly it takes... I'm on Instagram more often. I've just thrown scissors at him now. He'll <laughs> never work with me again. He'll say that Meryl. Right. That uh, right, Meryl. Top. So what's your Instagram? <laughs> what's your, Meryl, what's your Instagram? At Janet E. Claire. E for Elizabeth. Janet E. Claire. Like an eclair, chocolate eclair. Yes, like a chocolate eclair, but not with the eye. But yes, Janet E. Claire. Okay, then. Thank you so much. It's been it's lovely, been lovely. To see you. Uh, I'll see you. Oh, God, I've got the thingy now. The thingy on the ribbon, on the feather, and I think that this thing, right? When Munch saw this at a craft fair, he came back into the office. He's going, Look, my name's on a feather. I've got my name on a feather. And he was so excited about it. We, Chris is here. We will see you in four minutes from now. Hello, I'm Emma Bradford from the Swift Quilting Company. I've been a quilter for 25 years. I began sewing and quilting by hand, but now I offer long arm quilting services and I run patchwork and quilting classes. You can see me regularly on Sewing Street demonstrating patchwork techniques. My top tip is there is no right or wrong way, only the way that works for you. There is no such thing as the quilting police. Outside of quilting, I am a qualified botanist and I enjoy riding my motorbike around the country. I hope to see you soon on Sewing Street. We've got a brand new product coming to Sewing Street, the Oliso Smart Iron. This is no ordinary iron with so many features where to start. The iron is made for sewists and quilters. With smart sensor technology, it automatically lifts and lowers with your touch so that you can prevent scorches and burns. It has a 30 minute auto shut off so you never need to worry about leaving the iron on again. This 2000 watt iron heats up in seconds, so there's no waiting around either. There are so many other amazing features to show you. So join us on Friday the 24th of June at 8am to hear what else this wonder iron can do. See you then. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day.
to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there!
you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. It do say here, design it, print it, make it. It do say there that that's Chrissy. Hello, Chrissy. <laughs> Hello. Um, and now I know I've seen you do a demo of this upstairs, oh. right? But I didn't take any of it in because <gasps> I was just sitting watching. So I'm going to start this whole thing, this whole demo as a why is it, what is it, and everything like that. So I'm going to pretend we don't know anything, Good. right? But I do want, at uh, some point, you'll have to do a feather for me. I'm going to do that first off. Okay, you, actually. We'll but, get but before that you do started. that, what exactly yeah. is it you've got? What is this? What okay, so the eMark Create, it's, the, um, it's an app-based mobile printer. So a little printer that you can hold in your hand and you can use it with iOS, so that's your iPhone, your iPad, with Android, with Android with Google Play, not Amazon tablets. You can use it with the Awawi, with the App Gallery, Windows 10 or 11. So basically, at all the devices that we have. Of course. And it has its own Wi-Fi, so it connects to the app and the app connects to the device. So it doesn't matter where you are, you can use this anyway. Oh, and so you don't need to go to somebody's house and say, I need your Wi-Fi code no, to do it. Not they at talk all. to each other. They talk to each other, absolutely. So this is what it is, and I'm connected. So I've got my little blue light on the right. back right there, and that green light means that I've got plenty of battery. So I'm good to start demonstrating. So the app is free to download, so you can go to the App Store, Google Play now and download those apps straight away um, and also we have a Facebook group it's called the Collop Hints, Tips and Ideas group and I do recommend that people join that I've got a lady Kimmy waiting back in the office ready to join you it's full of inspiration it's full of support and you can even contact me personally is it, pri is it a private group? Yes, it is. Once so, you've been accepted by... Correct, yeah. absolutely. And if you need to contact me personally, send me a personal message and you've got full support. OK, brilliant. Do I have yeah. to pay for that subscription? No, there is no subscription charges whatsoever. Perfect. Because so, with these things, you think, oh, I'll pay that money, and then it's yeah. like, oh, and you have to pay twenty nine ninety nine a month. No, or so no, there's no extra charge. Absolutely, and we have got um, lots of free uh, clip art for you. There's also additional online templates, all free for you to download. And also, you can download images from. There's lots of websites with free to download images as well. So, shall we get done? Yeah, yeah, because I have to get exactly. Okay. I, I just, I, so, uh, do you want to put it, can I just say we've got this bundle to start, do you want to put the bundle in? I've got the black one, can I have the white one if you want? Yeah, there's the white one. Right, sorry, go, go, okay, go, Okay, okay. So this is the app, okay? So I'm just going to wait till the, the camera's on the app and then yeah, I'm going to show go. you the app. Right, okay. So this is the Create app, okay? And you can do a one, two or three line imprint if you wish. Or you could use one of these categories. Let's say, for example, you want to do um, a little bit of something with food and drink. You might want to print on some muslin, you know, for the tops of for your jam jars, jam jars etc. Yeah. So you'd simply select one of these um, templates and then you can edit it everything that you have on this app is editable so i'm just going to change the color right okay and i'm going to then change um I'm just go back and change the raspberry jam by clicking on edit and i'm going to change that to it's red so should we call it raspberry yeah okay raspberry um, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for predictive text because oh. it has there. So, Raspberry Jam. Okay, yeah. so then once I've done all those changes, I simply send it to the Create. Oh, it beeps. It did beep and it flashes these lovely colours, and then there we go. Okay, so you can print that on your muslin. Are you amazed? I'm amazed. <laughs> but you're just doing it on paper, but you, don't, so you can do it on anything, like a piece, like a piece of muslin to yes, go on the top of it. Absolutely, whatever. absolutely. So I'm going to go into a new imprint now because I know that you are desperate for a feather. Feather. Okay. So I need to tell you, you don't get the iPad. You only get the app. The iPad is Chrissy's own. <laughs> it is indeed. So I've just popped your name on there, John. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now I will say that if you're using a phone, an iPhone, or even an Android phone, we have a zoom here, so it gives you that bigger screen. Option. Yeah. Okay, and you can adjust that 
um, as you so like. Uh -huh. So, John, I'm just going to increase your name. In fact, let me just make this slightly smaller. Okay, I'm going to increase your name and then I'm going to change the font. So we've got all these fonts oh, which are available word. to you, but also you can add your own font. So you're not limited to these. Uh -huh. These are just amazing fonts, really. Are you an italic? Do you like some? Uh, do you know what? I oh, God, I'll let you choose. I think, actually, you're a little bit cheeky. Oh. So I'm going to give you this one here, John, so make it slightly smaller. What's your favourite colour, John? Pink. Pink, okay. I love pink too. I hot can tell. <laughs> hot pink. <laughs> yeah, hot, hot pink. pink. Hot pink. Oh yeah, right, don't okay. wish you on, yeah. And I'm also just going to add an image. So this is our clip art range. As I say, we've also got additional online templates. Do you like food and drink, animals, love and celebration, nature? What would you like? I want a heart. I can see a heart, heart. on there. So I'm going to go into here. Okie dokie. And let's just, I'm going to add this yeah, one. Just heart. turn this right here. Move it over here. Yeah. But also, I'm going to change the colour. Okay. I'm yeah. going to change that colour to hot pink again. Okay. Lovely. Now I'm ready to print. So I'm simply going to send it to the Create. It beats. And I'm going to use I've my move feather. You move me to the right. There. If I moved there over. You go, there you go. Okay, so then this is where you see the magic. More to the right. I'm going to move more to the right. There you go. There we go. So, are we ready for this, John? Yeah. And you'll be able to save this forever and ever and ever. Of another. course. There oh. you go. So how does it not? How does it not get all the strong fronds of the feather and glue them up or anything? Because it's inkjet and it squirts the ink out. So the cartridge is an HP cartridge. Thank you very there much you go. Indeed. It's a HP cartridge. And the cartridge actually comes with the device. It's a tri-colour cartridge. And I'm going to show you, actually, if um, once John's finished, I'm actually yeah, going to yeah. show you all of the colours that are available. And if you have a Pantene colour code, you know, a number, yeah, 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 yeah. pop it in there and you can um, use that. Oh, wow. But you see, all these colours here are all available in that one cartridge. Right. And it comes with the create okay so it's yeah. not you can't buy the cartridge it's not like the one that goes in my printer at home is it it's no a it's made specially for, for the that. actual yes, exactly. create that's right it is so right okay now i know a lot of our sewers like to use well they use bias binding i was going to say that was my next question is I, yeah. I love the way this works and everything but how does it work for sewers and things like that okay well i've got that? lots of demonstrations yeah, for brilliant. sewers um, that's lots and lots of fabrics. You watch now, you don't fall off that block. <laughs> I did it. I'll I did it once before. Because look, that's how tall I am in real life, really. <laughs> anyway, I love on. it. Okay, so I'm going to just print anything on this bias binding, just to show you mm. that actually you can print onto it. Right. Now, if you're wanting to print lots of things on here, then we have the 25 mil ribbon guide. Does that and come in my, actually, in my bundle if yes, I buy the bundle? Yes, yeah. that's right. So yeah. you've got um, a 10 mil, a 50 mil and a 25 mil. So this would actually fit into here if you wanted to print lengths and lengths and lengths of it. So if, but, you're, doing Christmas, if you're doing a Christmas ribbon to do all of your Christmas, can yes. it go on to satin ribbon? Uh, the black pigment ink. So we've got a black pigment ink which is more of a permanent. I am going to demonstrate okay, that sorry, as well I'll, today. I'll, I'll shut up. That's okay. No. That's okay. So I'm just going to pop on here anything. I'm just going to pop keep smiling. Okie dokie, and then I'm going to go to, let me just increase that a little bit, okay, so because I'm using the tri-colour, I'll just, just select any colour I like here, let's use this one, and then I'm going to click on add, t um, A for text, edit text, then we're going to go to the emojis. Now, you can use these emojis. Every keyboard has them. And if I just click on this one here, you could select any of these. You can see the ones that I use all the time. So let's just do, let's do this one. I like the cuddly one. Everything goes over to the left-hand side. Okay, so I'm just going to move that across. Uh -huh. Make that bigger, okay, by going into scale. And you see, I'm going to increase that just like that a little bit smaller and then I'm going to print that onto here like I said if you wanted continuous you'd go into properties click on continuous and then it would oh print. I see so it just prints one each swipe but you can have it just keep going going you going, can going, going. indeed absolutely yeah. I'm going to show you that on yeah. ribbon in a minute it, so. I know we're going very fast is there yeah. a have you got a YouTube channel or something where people can go and look at all this how it works because I if I was at home now I'd be fascinated my Facebook my Facebook group 
call up hints tips and ideas please do join that group because it's I mean it's been going for some time now we have lots of members who are so inspirational and so much support yeah. on there and you'll fascinated see but I wouldn't be taking any of this in now you like I did when I came yes. to you the first time yeah Absolutely. So I'm going to print now onto this um, bias binder. Let me just move it over here and just move this piece of paper yeah. out of the way. Okay, so um, it's very easy. So I'm just using the ruler with this. Now the ruler is used with um, anything that, that is uneven. You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do it again because, you know, some people just don't believe it really. <laughs> uh, so, well, it's um, how a little machine like that can remember, do it, store it, ink it, everything. Absolutely. And you know, if you're left-handed, it doesn't matter because you can print from right to left as well. Ah. So we thought about everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's absolutely an amazing yeah, you think device. If you went the other way, it would get confused and print it backwards, wouldn't well, it? Well, that's what you think, but yeah. no, 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 no. Right, okay, so again, we've got lots of, um, so this is like a Hessian type yeah. bag. I think there's a bit of polyester mix in there. So I'm going to go back to the app. The app is really, really easy to use. And on the Facebook group, I've got so many demonstrations of how to set up, how to connect, how to do this, that, and the other. Yeah. But I'm going to go back and I'm going to go into my images clip art and I'm going to put some animals on here oh, okay. so bees are really popular aren't they and butterflies but I like the butterflies so yeah. now I'm going to print that but before I do it I'm going to go into settings because it's highlighted I'm going to duplicate it and I can duplicate it as many times as I like so I'm going to do three butterflies Let's click it on send okay and then, and I'm going to show you the black machine later because I'm going to print... Um, Brilliant, because we've got yeah. the black, with, with the white the bundle is going, now, and the black one, we're just going to put the graphics through Look now. at this. John, oh. I'm going to send you home with this. Isn't this lovely? And then you can, you can look at it and you can actually... I'm not going to put any sweeters or anything in it. Oh. <laughs> but I'm going to go to my imprint. Right. So, if I go to my imprints, there's your name, it's saved. Now, I could edit that, yeah. if I so wash, um, want, by clicking on it, clicking on edit, yeah. and then I'm just going to change that heart by clicking on change Im image, go to clip art, animals, and I'm going to change That's it a, oh, with that wow. butterfly. Now, you'll notice, actually, see what's happened, that we've got a purple butterfly yeah. come up there, a pink one, but that's absolutely fine, I'm gonna delete it, and then I'm going to add it from new. And I'll tell you why that happens again. It's uh, soon because it's actually, I've already changed the colour. Oh, yeah. yes, of course. So, so it's just thinking it's a different kind of heart. That's yeah. right. So there's the butterfly yeah. because it will match, all match up, won't yeah. it? So, and then it's beep, beep. Ready? Don't you just love that? When I first um, had this, my husband and my son said, we know exactly what time you went to bed because the last beep beep went off at half past two this uh, morning. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Isn't that great? So you can imagine, I mean, a lot of our sewers will make bags like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, I mean, I just think it's absolutely wonderful, this. Now, I tend to use the tricolour cartridges, you know, the tricolour inks on those fabrics that you don't tend to wash. Right, okay. If you're going to wash anything, then you'll use the black pigment ink, and I am going to be spending some time okay, on that. Brilliant. So Lovely. that's for you. Now, what about bunting? What about it? With pom poms? With pom poms, fabric bunting. Now, I actually printed quite a lot of this bunting for the Queen's Jubilee. Yeah. So I'm going to go into new imprint, yeah. a one line, A for text, edit text, and then I'm going to put in here Jenny's, um, Jenny's baby shower. Okay. Okay. You can put anything you want in here. Yeah. Anything. Right. So, and all the things that you can't get through your printer. So, I mean, you won't be able to get that through your printer, would you? So, let me just change that again. Shall we do Emily's candy? That's a pretty, particularly pretty one. Can yeah, you yeah, see yeah, that? Yeah. Okay. Select me a colour, something a bit neutral. A oh, neutral. Yeah. Mm. Shall we go for, I'll tell you what, shall we go for a tealy type of yeah. thing? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just send that to the eMark again, or the eMark Create. It will beep beep, yeah. just like that, and then I'm going to print on here. So, I'll just move this up across so that it's printing onto the flat surface. Yeah. Just like so. Okie dokie. And because it's inkjet, even though my ruler is raised a little bit, it will print. 
Oh, wow. There you go. Now, we don't know what sex babe, um, Jenny's baby is going to be. No. So, let's um, don't know who Jenny oops, is either, just come out of go. the app. Let me just go back into the app. That was a silly thing for me to do. So, actually, this is a good excuse to show you how to connect. I came out of the app. I was thinking I was going to go into another great to oh, get some okay. pictures. <laughs> so, let me just show you. Okay. So, that's my e mark in the on position. Oh, hang on I'll a just wait for you to get the camera on. It's just coming around now. There okay, you go. Okay, okay. So, that's my e mark. Okay, now waiting to be connected. So, I've got two e marks, two e mark crates on here. I'm just going to click on this here. Now, if you watch what happens to the blue, the light on the back right, that will turn blue, there it like is. so. Yeah. Okay, and then the app will catch up. So we'll get all the green lights. I'm connected. I've got 99% ink, and I've got 60. Oh, so when you battery. first get it, when you go down the app, you have to register that thing. You'll register. Yes. Yeah, so in the box, you'll get your little quick setup guide with your SSID and password. It's all explained for you. Perfect. And then you get you charge your device for three hours until you see two solid green lights on the back. Yeah. And then you're ready to connect to and the And how long will it work for if I, if it's charged this charge up? Between four and a half and five hours. Oh no, it's gonna be doing this for more than five loads hours. Loads and loads and loads yeah. of loads and loads of time. So I'm gonna go into my imprints because I know that in here I have got um, some um, little footprint. Actually, let me go into my new imprint and let me go into my images because you can download images into your own gallery and you can download them from there. So let me, here we go, look, I've got some little footprints there. Oh, okay. So I'm going to send those here. Now I know that they're blue and of course you could add, add pink as well. So the print queue will be cleared, proceed. Now I've got lots of things in my print queue. I can print things one after the other. If I had 25, 30 imprints, I just want to print one after the other. I can without having to put my device down. Oh, okay. So there we go. Oh. So that's how, I mean, normally I'd use my ruler on that because it's a little bit uneven. So well, you yeah, just you, use if your you ruler. Want it to be random, you don't have to have it. You know, no, you exactly. So that's how you'd print onto bunting. Now, I'm very conscious that we have got such a lot to do. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. actually going to show you this towel. So with anything like this, you can see that I've already made a label for this. What? Can you see this little label here? Tiny little label, yeah. It is a tiny little label. And what I've used is, I've used the textile labels on here. So I'm oh, going to okay. print onto these to show you exactly, exactly how they they work. So if you need to label anything, yeah. Um, I mean, if you're a quilter and you want to label your quilts, then of course you can. So if I just take this out of here, yeah. like so, um, this also, feeds through the 15 mil ribbon guide right. so I'm going to I'm going to demonstrate that right now because I'm going to do another imprint so let's say for example you're wanting to uh, label clothing these this will wash you can do this with the tricolor and it will wash oh, so like kids kids school uniforms and I'm going like to do that now okay. yes so let's do um, give me a name any name Hannah Hannah okay Hannah with an H yeah Okay, so there's Hannah, and I'm going to do return, and I'm just going to put Hannah's in reception. Okay, click okay. on the tick. Yeah. Then I'm going to make it slightly bigger. Yeah. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on font and center it. Okay, so that's just centered the wording. Okay, oh, now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, of course, you can change the color. Um, let's go for a different color. Let's go for Hannah, what's your favorite color? Orange. Oh, orange, right. Okay, so let's get an orange. There we go. And then I'm going to add something because you know, with children, if you add a character of their yeah. choice, orangutan, <laughs> they're more likely to look after their clothing, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So let's just add something from um, my clip art here. Let's go into the animals again and oh, look at all of these wonderful. Anteater, she likes an anteater. An anteater, I don't think we've got an anteater no, don't here. Worry. So I'll tell you what. Let's do let's do the lion's head because that's matching, isn't it? Yeah. So, okay. So now there's Hannah in reception and with um, the lion. lion. So I'm just going to move this over, and I'm going to show you why I'm going to do that. It's because I am going to click on edit text, and then at the end of reception, just put a couple of spaces, and then I'm going to click on the tick, 
go to properties, click on continue or marking, OK, and then I'm going to send it. Now, this will print continuously, if I get the 15 mil ribbon out here, ribbon guide, so simply feed it in. If you're left-handed, you'd feed it in the opposite all direction. All these accessories you're showing me, uh, they're all available, aren't they? They're all available on our website beneath us. Yeah. I'll show you the bundles in a second. Right, right okay. so are we ready? Can yeah. we see that? I'm going to literally just print now. Now, I would have oh, done this the whole longer. thing. Oh, I see. I've got a bump. There's a bump there. Let me just move my iPad out of the way, and then I'll go back. There's some bumps on here. Let me get some. I'll tell you what. Let, let me do a... Can we... That's it. Let me just... I'm going to do a bigger bit, but I'm going to move the... I'm going to move this mat out of the way. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, because there's a bump in there. The bump okay. could be on our table. <laughs> well, I did pick off some bumps when I was here once, and, um, oh. yeah. So, okie dokie. So, if I just move this out of the way, and then I'll do you a nice long piece. Okay. Right. Are we ready for Are this? Are you ready? Okay. Pop in here. Pop your finger on the end that you're yeah. not um, printing onto. There you go. Look at that. She hasn't got that many clothes. Oh, I think some of them have. Oh, and that Yes, and these come in eight metre rolls, so these are absolutely oh, wow. great. So that's how you print continuously onto the, um, um, you know, onto, well, this is a textile tape. So, yep. so you can wash this. Oh, you perfect. can iron this into your clothing or sew it into your clothing and you can wash it. And this is great if, if you're making bags, um, you know, anything, a mm. purse and you want to sort of put a little or label in it. Or labels or anything like quilt that. Quilt labels, I've got yeah. a question to ask you in a minute, but first yes. of all, I've got to say what's in the bundles. People are asking what's in the bundles. So I've got the white bundle here. So Hannah's going to tell you what you've got in, in the bundle. So I know it's, it feels like it's a purchase, but you get loads and loads of, and you're saving over £20. So... There, the portable printer, you get that. The e-make portable printer, you get that. Guide ruler, which is this, be this one. Oh. Uh, 15, there's your ribbon, that, there's your guide ruler. There's your 15, your 25 millimeter ribbon guide. Yeah. Oh, okay, so you get the 15 millimetre, the one's half empty, 25 metre roll of the cotton ribbon. There, cotton ribbon. Yours won't be used, yours be full. So that's the white one. We also have that in black, which is exactly the same, apart from the, your printer. And there's no difference between the white and the black printer, it's just a no, colour choice. No, it's just colour choice, that's entirely it. Does it, so it comes with the ink already in it? It comes with the ink already in it, you'll get your charging cable, and you'll also get your quick setup guide um, in there as well. So Brilliant. you've got everything that you need to set up. So they up. can get this home and start straight away, as Absolutely long as they've downloaded they can. the app. Correct. Right, perfect. There's the black one, 249.99. And you can get it on split pay as well, 49.99 five times. Right, all the other accessories, as uh, Chrissy's showing them, Hannah's putting them through here, or make a note of them and pop underneath later and check them out. Any questions to Chrissy, share for another 27 minutes. So please uh, get them in as soon as you can. Next. Okay, so while you've been explaining what's, what the bundles are, I've actually created a happy birthday, John. Oh, it which was I'm last going weekend. to. Yeah, what's it? Yeah. Well, I'm, well, how did I know yeah. that? Now, I'm printing this onto the water-resistant ribbon. So let's say, for example, you know, you're wanting to wrap flowers and stuff like oh, that. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, there's yeah. lots of things that sewers use water-resistant yeah, 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 ribbon yeah. for. Now, I've gone into continual marking, so, so that's all okay, and I'm going to send. So I'm go now going to send this. Um, there. There's just here. So you don't need to have a mat underneath, you can just do it on no, the table. No, actually, do you know I can? So this is ready. So yeah. are we ready to see this? Charlie is. Oh, hang on. There you go. And that will keep going and going and going. Fantastic. But, but if you want many, 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 many metres of um, ribbon, then we've got the ribbon station. And I'm going to show you how to use that as well. Yeah. So on the app, we've got a ribbon station feature. So you go into that and you would select a template that you um that you wanted so i'm going to be printing onto the 15 mil ribbon and then right i'm so going to say i think i've just shown you something wrong i showed you there's two ribbon guides in one box i showed you two boxes so sorry chrissy okay. so you get your machine 
you get your ruler guide you get two in that box there already i showed you a different box there plus your 15 millimeter ribbon that's what your bundle is there plus your ribbon there okay sorry i just had to clarify that right okay uh, yeah, so so this is the ribbon station tool okay um which you use with the ribbon station feature so i'll just go back so you can see so this is the ribbon station feature if you're using um the ribbon guys as i do then you can get the templates when using these from accessory templates but because i'm using this ribbon station tool i'm going to go into the ribbon station do we sell that as well we got that as well the ribbon station tool you do yes. yeah. you do yeah. yes okay so i'm just going to delete that and i'm going to put on here um let me just put in some text here um or oh, what should we put happy anniversary yeah. so happy anniversary mom oops i can't look at me i can't spell happy let's do um <laughs> yeah <laughs> anniversary it will come up yeah. mom and dad okay so mom and dad and again i'm going to select a different different um, fonts for this you see all these so these wonderful fonts that you can select uh -huh. let me do this there's a really nice one here okay and then I'm going to make that bigger okay change the color and I'm going to change it whoops sorry I'm going to change it to um, I'm going to use um, this color here and then I'm going to click on add image again back into the clip art and let's just put a flower yeah let's just use this one and i'm going to pop that on the end yeah. like so yeah. okay then i go into properties and then i've got a choice if i'm using the ribbon station tool with labels i could have a repeating length so you could do all your children's labels on here as yeah, well yeah, basically yeah, yeah. but i'm using the printing length so click done and then i'm going to select just 100 centimeters click ok send it to the eMark Create, the eMark Create will go beep beep, there we and go. And it knows it's only got to a metre now. It's going to do 100 centimetres, yeah. yeah. So, now I've popped it into the ribbon guide, just oh, like so. Oh, can you it towards you a little bit? Yep. Oh, are you right? Oh, no, we're going on two, there you go, there you okay. go. Okay, shall there. I move this yeah. forward, then you can... Um, no, you're in the perfect place I'm perfect there. place, yeah. right. Okay, so now I'm just going to print. Oops, hang on a second, there we go and it will print as many lengths as you want in there so you know if you want 25 meters of ribbon you can but i've only put 100 yes, centimeters yes, yes, in yes, there yes, yes, yes. so you get that idea yeah, yeah. okay so that's the ribbon station tool now i'm rushing through these because no, 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 i it's know good, it's good it's good it's good because i know that you know i want to do the black pigment as well because yes. i know that so is I, interested in that then. you can at the beginning you said you could choose one row two row or three rows yes and I don't understand what that meant. Does that mean you can do it thick and bigger? Or right. is it just three rows of talking? Let me demonstrate writing? to yeah. you. Okay, Sorry to so I'm back on the app. Yeah. We'll just wait till the Charlie's app comes there. up. Oh. There we go. There you so go, perfect. There's the app. So if I do a three line imprint, I've got three lines here. Okay, so right. I'm just going to fill it with images just for speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's just do, let's do a plate on there. And then I'm going to add another image. Everything goes to the top left and you simply move it. Yeah. So back into the clip art and I'm just going to pop something on here. So we're going to have a dinner for the bride and groom. Yeah. And add again <laughs> another clip art on here. Let's put <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay, so let's add a had even add some flowers yeah okay so that is my three line imprint and right. now I'm ready to send that and then I'm going to show you what that looks like when it's printed so beep beep now I'm just going to move my tablet yeah, out yeah, of yeah, the yeah. way to bring this paper in so on the underside of the device but Becky, oh. there's the, I'll just show you the print head okay so we've got the print head here, there's the sensor, and we have rollers. Now those rollers mean that you don't need to apply any pressure when you are printing. Oh, okay, so, so you're not pushing down when you're printing, you're literally pushing just down, sliding. Just yeah. literally sliding. Yeah. So, oops, have a turn tip. There's my first imprint. Now those beeps are important. That's the end of the first line. Right. Move it down. That's the be beginning of the second line. Yeah. Across. 
down and you see I've gone quite a way over it doesn't matter because yeah, yeah, it will yeah, central yeah. it so that's how you do it and you can do that whether you're left-handed or right-handed perfect right so, I just didn't know what the three was that's fine so if you're no. doing a wedding place settings or tables yes. you can do all three at the absolutely. same time absolutely right, absolutely okay back to okay your so right now then I'm going to print onto this little pencil case uh -huh. okay so this is um um Oh gosh, canvas. Ca yeah, it's canvas. canvas. Yeah, it yeah. is absolutely. I should know my fabrics. Uh -huh. So on here, this is going to be a gift for Miss Jones. Okay, yeah. so um, Miss Jones, um, these make great, great gifts. You know, if um, you've got children and um, you're going to sort of give them a a, a gift, yeah. Two, three. Let's use year three yeah. again. You know the app is really easy to use. It's very self-explanatory. Um, Miss Jones, she loves, absolutely loves um, this colour here. So I'm yeah. going to use that, and then I'm just going to pop her a bunch of flowers on here. Uh, again from the clip art, or even a butterfly. Let's do a butterfly. Yeah. Just here, and then I just want to show you how actually versatile this device is right, okay. so you can print onto practically and I'll just move it slightly out the yeah. way onto um, you know on any, any absorbent surface right. and it does love fabric and I'm going to go to the black pigment in yeah. a minute so okay. there we go now look how clear that is and, that's and do you know what you could put on the back thank you for letting or well, thank you for helping me grow from Joshua or yeah, something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah 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 lovely. Okay Aww. now also I know that sewers i'm a sewer myself and i've got lots of leftover fabrics this is do you call it ida or ada uh, ada ada see yeah. i'm an ida yeah. but anyway so don't waste it right print onto it and honestly you'd think it's not going to print onto that no, it's quite lumpy it's and bumpy yeah. but it is so back to the app which is i believe is still in shot so i'm just going to put um I'm just going to put I love you to the moon and back. Oh, blimey. But I'm going to go. Now. <laughs> I know. But I'm going to be a bit clever here. So I'm going to, um, hello. 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 <laughs> hello. Uh, if you've got it in your basket, oh, okay. please check out. Please check out lots you've got it in your basket. Okay, right. so I'm going to go right to the beginning of my emojis. Now, these emojis are great. I'm going to use that. So oh, let right, me just okay. move that to there. That's it. And then I'm going to go back to my keyboard you. and edit. Um, pop it in there and then just put it love you um, oh, I should have had that in little letters it doesn't matter, yeah, it matter. love you and then actually you know what I'll do well no I'm going to do this on here to the and then I'm going to Emoji make moon. that you know, in a minute in a minute and then I'm just going to I could select a, a oh, different okay. color for this so let's say for example we know that mum because um, I'm doing this for, for mom. So let's just use that colour yeah. just because we can. So I'm going to click on the E mark icon. Again, getting our little ruler out. These make great gifts. And I use these with cottons, all sorts of fabrics, even felt. Yeah. Because this little device will even print on felt. So, probably not the best colour for me to use. No, However, sorry. but I love you to the, and you said, let's use the moon now yeah, yeah, I yeah, know yeah. that I've got the moon in the emojis so and if you're looking for um, anything there is a search on here so I'm just going to pop here moon and it brings there up it the is. moon so I'm going to use this one here click on here wow, and I'm going to make so much work it on back. into the developing of this isn't it we've put a lot of work in yeah. we have a fantastic a fantastic development team yeah. and um, and I'm very proud to sort of you know yeah. work with that team so the moon and back Okay, and I'm going to change that colour. You see, it all goes over to the left. Yeah. Let me make that a little bit bigger. Click it on Zoom, remember. Even if you are using an iPad, you can still use the Zoom. Yeah. Okay, the moon and back. So let me just make that bigger. Okay, change the font. Remember, you've got all these fonts, and the app tells you how to change the fonts as well. You know, right. if you want to bring different fonts uh -huh. in, I particularly like that one. I'm just going to change the colour on that, make that blue, send that to the device. Uh, if the um, if somebody can't doesn't use Facebook, do you also have another place that they can go to, like YouTube, to see the yes, videos? Yes, yes, you can. There are lots of me on YouTube okay. all over the place. Yes, if if you do need help by YouTube, but also you can ring into the office or send me an email. So ring into the office and uh, they'll put you directly in touch with me, and I'm there to help you. I do lots of one to one. So if you really do need that one to one, don't struggle. I'm there to help. Brilliant. 
Okay, so also, you know, I, I won't print on this because I'm conscious of the time, but yeah, we yeah. can do that. But do you know what? We can also print onto pens. Oh, now, these wow. are great. Now, you know, if you've got your own business and, and you're sending something out, you want your logo on or something, yeah. then put it on a pen. I spent a fortune getting these printed up with my company name on and sending them out as presents and everything. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it really is. Now, I've actually prepared one here. Yeah. It just says Mrs. Jones, just because I want to show you that actually what I'm telling you is true. Right. I'm sure you do believe me. Yeah, so I do, I do. I'm using the ruler again, OK, if but you, you can see that. you need to buy that pink thing, do you, to put the, it in? The, the pen holder, yeah. yeah. It's a pen holder. This is a new accessory. Um, um, but do you know what I thought? It's everybody... We're looking, we're looking for something new. Yeah. And this is a fantastic tool, so... I just print up, so maybe get that lined up. Oh, that's my iPad's out of the way. And then I'm going to go straight on to the black pigmenting. So, here we go. So, does it smudge? Do you have to let it dry? No! Yeah, that's instantly dry. Oh, wow! Instantly dry. On absorbent surfaces, it's instantly dry. Right. The, the only things that you might need to sort of wait a few seconds longer is if you're using vellums and things. But on your fabrics, it's instantly dry. Brilliant. So, shall we go straight on to the black pigmenting? Yes, because I don't... Does this mean I can only use black? Sorry. You... Does it mean I can only use black when you say black pigment? The black pig... No, 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 you can use greys as well. Okay. You can use greys. But, um, because to save time, I'm going to yes. turn this e-mark off. Right. And I'm going to go to the black. Now, I love this black. Um, it's nice and shine, shiny. So, we've got... So, the cartridge comes in the bundles, remember, yep, but yep. you can buy them separately as well. Yeah. Absolutely. So, I'm going to just remove that, and then I'm going to go back into the app. So, when you open the app, this is what it looks right, like. Right, OK, brilliant. So, let me turn my lovely device on. Oh, yeah, you've got a different one now. got yeah. a different one. So I'm going to click on here because I've got two on here and right. I'm going to click on the right one. It's asking if I want to join, so I click yeah. OK. And again, we'll see that light appear on the back, just like so. So Now. Oh, and it came on the iPad. I'd say it's there as well, yeah? No, the iPad's coming up any second now. The iPad always takes a few seconds longer. Right. Now, it's warning me that I've got a black pigment in here, so I can only use imprints that are black or grey. Right. So that's okay. a warning for you. So okay. you can't make a mistake. So you can't make a mistake, absolutely. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the black pigment one, you yeah. have to buy that one separately, do you? You the buy black the black pigment, pigment separately, so yes. So whatever colour actual machine you've got, you buy the black pigment dark ink separately. That's correct. Yeah. So um, I'm just going to put on here. Um, now, so... Do you know, sometimes you just want to put something a little bit different that, that's sort of going to be relevant to the person that yeah, you are sending I can things think of to? Yeah, that quite often. <laughs> so, Grandad, best spud grower. And remember font, centre it, and then we can actually, because this is in black, we can change the font again. Uh -huh. You know, I quite like this one for that. It's quite yeah. nice. And then we can um, just send that. So, this is onto, you know, onto a handkerchief. I'm going to clear the queue again. Beep, beep. Oh, just love that sound. <laughs> really do. So I'm going to use the ruler on this, and I'm going to pop it over a corner, like so. Right. OK. There you go. So Grandad, great, um, great best spud grower. Right. So we've got that. Now, we've also got... So now, this, the black pigment, this yeah. is washable. You can wash this. Right. Yes, you can wash yeah. this. Now, um, with your first wash, you'll lose a certain amount of ink. That's quite standard. Yeah. But we're all, we're all being encouraged to wash at lower temperatures. Um, yeah, temperatures. So let me just show you, actually. This might be a good time to show you what I've done on here. Now, can you, can you see this? It, so um, this, these oh, bees were already on there, everything. sorry. Just turn around that way and then we could do the overhead. <laughs> yeah, there, okay. So the bees were already on here, but I thought, do you know what? It'd be lovely if I could print something like Be yeah. Happy on here. This has been hand-washed loads and loads and loads of times. Right. Right. Also, I have this. Now then, this one is one that I did for my husband. It's very okay. small, if that's his T-shirt. And this has been washed several times oh, as wow. well. Okay, so Never laugh at your yes, wife's choices. Remember, you are one of them. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> good sir. So yeah. you did. So you did uh, are, are you restricted to the amount of uh, letters you put in? 
one centre, one row, is it? Okay, well. so let me show you. All right, so this doggy banner, right? Yeah. Um, my ruler is 150 millimetres wide, and that's the the width of your first line imprint. Right. If you're doing a second line with it, then your second line would be 75. If you're doing a three line imprint, your third will be 50. Right. And that's how that works. So give me a doggy's name, any doggy's name. Spam. Spam. S P A M. Yeah. Spam the Bulldog. Oh, Spam the Bulldog. So let's pop that in there then. So Spam the Bulldog. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, the Bulldog. There we go. And I'm going to make that as big as I can. Yeah. Okay. So um, let me just make that slightly smaller. Now, the, another thing to mention, if you want things to really stand out, change your fonts. Okay. These fonts, so the bolder the font, the bigger it actually looks. So yeah. if I do it like oh, that. Yeah. So um, I have to make sure it all fits in there. Even though I'm making it smaller to fit in, it will actually stand out more. So spam the bulldog, and I'm just going to move that down like so. And people say to me, how do you know how to centre things? My Facebook group has all the details. And again, if you're not on Facebook and you want to know, just get in contact with me and I'll do a one-to-one -one okay, with brilliant. you. OK, so spam the bulldog. Oops, hang on a second. What am I on here? You I'll have got a that, lump here. The table. It will yeah, be you the have. Table, you've sorry. got an awful lump here, and I can't move over, can I? Because you won't you see. You move. I'll get Charlie to move. Right. Okay. So again, I'm going to pop on here some little footprints. Okay. So let me go into my clip art again, and then animals. Yeah. I've got some footprints on here. So I'm just going to put some little footprints on here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You have, you, you've got a it's bone where the here. It's because that's where the iron goes normally. So the iron will have. Um, Ah, oh, well the table, that's, that's it, it has, okay, yeah it has, it has definitely, yeah. so let me just see if I can do what, no it's not, it is, it's right there, oh. can I go, sorry, can I go on to the other side? Yeah, go to wherever you want. Right, then, okay, so let's see, let's see if I can get this on here now, um, that's why I tend to bring, you know, I tend to bring my um, graph pad with me, no, it's still bumpy, right. it's still bumpy, okay, let's go on to a bib. All right. Right, okay. Can I have my craft mat? You can indeed. Have that because um, it'll offer me a little bit of stability. So, okay. So, on a bib, we could put something like. So, let's put. Can I. Can we see that? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. So, I'm going to go back and I'm going to say um, Mummy's Little Dribble. Oh, no, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop a name on here. I'm going to put. Um, or oh, should we put Daniel? Yeah. Daniel. Um, what is name like so make that nice and big now it's black that I'm using but I can use greys as well so all these greys you know you can use oh, those okay. yeah so you still so choose the grey off the colour chart you then, do yeah. indeed absolutely let me just make that slightly smaller so Daniel click on here beep beep okay yeah. beep beep so let's just do this oh do you know what my print head needs wiping that's oh. what it is. That's what it is. So I'm just going to use this little cloth here. So every now and again, every now and again, just wipe your print head. Yeah. And I do say, yes, it is. It's quite dry, actually, this one. So I've not used it for a while. Now, ordinarily, I'd be using it with a, um, I'd be wiping it with a slightly, Oops, slightly damp cloth. Yeah. So let me just see. Let me just see if that's coming out now. No, it's still it's still quite. Let me just keep doing it. It's getting there. Yeah, it is. I could do with a little bit of water if I'm honestly. If I'm honest, have you got any water there? Uh, no, oh, lovely. Just pop a little bit on there for me. So sorry about this. That's this is right. live television. That's all right. Is that enough? Yeah, that's absolutely fine. So I'm just going to wipe that. Now, ordinarily, you'd do this when the device is switched off. There we go. Look, that's better. Right. So I'm just going to do it down here. So, Daniel, and then we would do, so you wipe your print head once a week basically to keep that yeah, ink yeah. flowing. So, and then I'm just, because I can, I'm going to delete that, okay, I'm going to pop on here, 50% um, mummy, you know what's coming, and mummy, 50% daddy. 100% perfect. Oh, okay. Uh, very quickly while yes. you're doing that, somebody's asked, how easy is it to change the cartridge? Michelle asked, how easy is it to change the cartridge? Very easy. I can show you how to change okay. the cartridge. Uh, it is very, very easy. Again, I'm just going to change the font on here. Let's just do that, like so. Click on here. So 
So as I say, you know, obviously when you're doing this, you'll do it a little bit better than me. And again, I do, I, I do apologise. That cartridge. Let me just yeah. wipe it again. Yeah. You can wipe it. Nice, quick, nice message. Just ordered the white bundle. Can't wait to start using it from Michelle. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic, right. So anyway, right, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you how to change the cartridge, Brilliant. okay? And then if we've got time, we'll go back to the colour one. So well, as I say, the, Yeah, the, we're pushing a bit now. We, we are pushing, aren't we? Because I've got to do the menu okay, as well. Okay, right, so this is the, the, obviously the white crate. I've got yeah. it in the off position. So we remove the top. This is the protective top that always stays on because we've got the little air vents there. Uh -huh. And then we remove the batteries by literally just clicking it off like so. Right. Then we open that little door on the bottom. Right. Always has to be open. That's the cartridge out. Now, when right. you've got your cartridge, it'll be on a little foil bag. You take it out, take the seal off that's on the actual. Uh -huh. um, like you have to on the ones. Yeah, that's right. Home, yeah. Then you simply just slot it in, flick it up with the nail to make sure that it's nice and flush. Close the door. Battery. Top. Okay, so now I'm going to go back onto this one. Yep, the so battery will last one. forever, will it? Well, we can't say forever, can we? The battery is long lasting. What we say, yes, the batteries are very long lasting. Yeah. So, what we say is, let me just disconnect from that one. If you, um, if you, if you make sure that you know the um, device is disconnected from the app at the end of your whatever it is you're doing, then um, and keep it nicely charged. It only takes three hours to charge for the first time. Yeah. So um, you know, and once everything's sort of um, once you, you know, once you're connected, and as I'm going to be in a second, let me just go into this one and change it because it's this one asking to join um, yes so the battery will last a long perfect, time perfect. so and when you're storing it store it away from extreme heat don't keep it in direct sunlight yeah. um, you know I mean well we do tend to don't we sometimes but we shouldn't yeah. so there we are so nicely connected so I'm going to actually just do a new imprint and I'm going to pop on here because this is a nice little spiller case I'll do it in black so as see I ordinarily I'd be doing this in black pigment so as when it washes yes. yeah. it doesn't yeah, come yeah, off yeah. so sleep um, oh, it's sleep tight no no what is it good night sleep tight isn't it good night can't Mine was, <laughs> night night god bless I love you sweet dreams see you in the morning is that what you that was say ours, but don't type all that no and then I'm just going to go into edit and then put a comma at the end of that there sleep tight it was always don't let the bed bugs bite have you heard of that one what have you heard of that one no good night sleep tight don't let the bed bugs bite oh yeah <laughs> I've spent in so many seedy hotels, it's <laughs> too true that. Okay, so I'm going to print that on the top here. Okay, now you can get a little bit clever if you want to put it on a curve, you can, but we don't yeah, have yeah, time yeah. for me to do that. No. So, have you got a curved ruler then? Or do you do it, no, do it, do it free hand. Yeah. So, um, good night, sleep tight, don't let the, the bed bugs bite. That's exactly. what I put I'm on. I've just looked at the Facebook, there's loads of questions there. I haven't had time to answer them, but if you get in touch with Chrissy Direct, she will answer them. It's all about sizes and all sorts of things like that. So, if you've got any questions, just get in touch with Chrissy after the show and she'll reply to you. Absolutely, I will. So, let's just put on it. And again, I would possibly do this in black however baby grows babies aren't in them very long either yeah. so if you want to use your colors you can oh, yeah, so yeah. Nana's little star and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a star from the emojis on uh -huh. here um, we do have look at all of these here and for actually I'll take forever looking for them there go so I'm the, gonna go going into to clip. clip art well done yeah. you are learning yeah. very quick so where am I going to find the stars I think the stars were going to be in hearts now then where's the stars well actually do you know what we can you know they're not in here no, no i know where, where they are, are. They? i know where they are they're on in here aren't they here we are look so nana's little star Aww. okay so move that over like so make that slightly bigger you're going to tell me i've got to go in a minute aren't yeah, you? less than a minute yeah oh right okay so let me just print that and i'm just going to add a bit of color for that let's do it in blue and then i'm going to send that and use this you can put it on an angle like so there we go. Gorgeous. Chrissy, that was brilliant. You can now draw a breath. She will be back. She will be back, I promise. And yeah. next time we'll have her for longer. I promise, promise, promise. Right, if you've got anything in your basket, you do need to check out because there's so many of you got it in your basket. Uh, the white bundle and the black bundle. The white bundle's this one. 
So you get the printer, you get the ruler, you get the two ribbon guides, and you get the 15 millimeter uh, cotton tape. Brand new one. Hmm? Brand new one. But yeah, you'll get yours won't be this one, brand new one. <laughs> We also have it in black, which is exactly the same. It's just the machine that's different. They both do the same thing. It's whether you want a yeah. black one or a white yeah. one in your room, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Right, menu for tomorrow. I'm on holiday from now. Here's the menu for tomorrow. Oh, the Iron Lords at 8 o'clock. Uh, it's it's uh, Vix tomorrow. Oliso Iron Lords at 8 o'clock. Bargella Quilt with Susie Duncan at 9. Oh, I'm sure Susie will come on at 8 to do the, the iron. X Ride backing at 10. Anna Maria Fly With Me Quilt with Susie Duncan. And then 12 o'clock, they've got sewing machines. I wonder what they've got. Uh, I've got a Hobby Makers one. Here's Hobby Makers for today. Craft Hut uh, now with uh, Joe Jarrett, Fantasy Dip. Oh, I fancy one of those. Hunky Dory Delightful Decoupage with Auntie Pauline. We've got three o'clock Hobby Maker Card Essentials. Plan, we've got loads. Four o'clock Dies and Stamp Bargains with Hunky Dory. And then five o'clock, the Craft Hut. Joe is back. Chrissy, it's been a delight. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, it's been lovely working with you. Uh, well, we'll do it properly next time. Yeah, lovely. And uh, I'll see you on July the 5th. Have a lovely, lovely time. We've got to go. Bye.